you've probably heard of the word dropshipping, a simple business model that's incredibly rewarding. And there's a massive wealth shift happening right now. Just imagine making more than a lawyer's salary every month. But here's the thing. What worked in the past won't work today, and what's working now won't last forever. We're at a unique moment and you've got to jump at this opportunity before it slips away. And what I've got for you is a roadmap, your guide to making your first 1000 to 10000 50000 and even $100,000 every month, all from the comfort of your own home. Now here's the real deal, it's not a quick fix, success comes with your effort. This isn't some magic trick. It's a legit plan for success. And there are plenty of roadblocks if you do not have the right knowledge and experience. And that's why I put together this six hour course to teach you everything that I learned in my seven successful years of dropshipping, still doing it to this day with new and updated strategies for 2024 and beyond. I'm going to cover in depth all of the best places to sell on today, including Shopify, Amazon, eBay, and Etsy, the best places to find and source winning products, fast private dropshipping, suppliers, order fulfillment, branding, product optimization, and so much more, as well as how to put everything on autopilot with the help of automation and artificial intelligence. And I guarantee you that this is the only dropshipping crash course you will need to be able to start and actually succeed after copying my working methods and strategies. And believe me, you're already ahead of 99% of the people who want to achieve their goals, but don't take the time to learn the right way and take action. Now remember to save this video, take breaks, and use the timestamps below to jump back where you left off. So grab your favorite snack or beverage, and without further ado, let's take the first step towards your success. So to start off, what is dropshipping for all of you who are new here? So dropshipping is a business model that simply allows you to fulfill orders and have an online store without holding any inventory or any stock. So it comes with a minimal upfront investment. You simply have an online store, a customer purchases from your online store, you forward the order details to your supplier and your supplier will ship the product to your customer so you won't have any physical contact with the product and you will keep the profit between the source price how much you paid your supplier to the selling price how much you sold it for on your selling channel now dropshipping has been around for a while and it's not gonna go anywhere so if you're asking yourself is dropshipping still worth it in 2024 the answer is not just a yes it is a big big yes and you can just take a look at this little graph right here by globe newswire as you can see this is the dropshipping market size over a span of 10 years and right now we're right here in 2024 these are all of the previous years, so as you see, it's gradually growing year by year. And what we have coming up ahead of us is much bigger than anything we've ever seen, witnessed, or experienced in the previous years. So if you're asking yourself, is there still room to enter the dropshipping scene? The answer is definitely a yes. Now is the best time to start. If you haven't done so yet, watch this video, get all of the information and resources that you need, and then go ahead and take action. And as we can see in this Google Trends chart right here, the dropshipping term is being searched for more and more each year. So again, it's not going anywhere. The market size is increasing year by year. If you ever wanted to start, now is the time. So what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of the dropshipping business model? Let's start with the advantages. First, it has a low startup investment. You can start anywhere from $0, and I'm gonna show you how, all the way up to around $500 so that you can get a store up and running and start marketing your products. But again, you can also go with the free methods, and I'm gonna show you again everything in this video. So it's actually a low risk and high reward business model where, again, you don't have to have that much capital to get started. And once you see the sales and profits start to roll in, that's when you're gonna invest it back into your business and continue to grow until you start making substantial profits. Next, it can be done pretty much from anywhere. All you need is a computer, an internet connection, and the knowledge that I'm passing on to you in this video. There are no limits with the scalability. You can scale as high as you want to go. And once you've got all of the knowledge and experience, you can go on to create a network of business assets that will work for you even while you travel and even while you sleep. Now, some of the cons or disadvantages of the dropshipping business model is that sometimes it's difficult to build a brand, especially since we're dropshipping and we're only purchasing a product once someone actually buys from us. So that's why sometimes it's difficult to brand a product when the supply 
supplier doesn't really want to brand the product if you're only going to purchase one each time, but I'm going to cover that and I'm going to show you how you can still brand your business in this video. The second is finding winning products, products that are actually in demand, products that people are actually looking to buy. This is one of the most difficult parts when starting your dropshipping business and I'm going to tackle this issue to the core pretty soon. The next is finding high quality suppliers to work with. There are the conventional suppliers that many dropshippers are using like AliExpress and Amazon and other retailers, but then where are the private suppliers, where are the wholesale suppliers that every dropshipper is looking to work with? Again, that's something I'm going to show you in this video. Knowing where to sell, how to start, and having no control over stock prices and stock changes that are happening on your supplier's website that need to also happen on your website. And this exactly is where automation comes in. So those are some of the pros and cons. Now I really want to get into the action. So let's continue. Now, before we go on to how do we actually create a dropshipping store and what all the rules are, I want to share with you some of the best winning products that you can sell on your stores. And I have all of these products in the 2024 cheat sheet that I will send to you. Once again, you comment hashtag dropshipping in 2024 let me know what you learned in this video what was your top takeaway and i will send you this sheet with everything that i'm talking about and all of the links inside so check out this product right here this mini portable printer it's being bought for less than 19 dollars, and it's being sold for over 50 dollars. let me click on the link to show you exactly what it looks like so here inside the AutoDS winning products hub we can see this printer and we can add it to our stores by just clicking on this import draft button right here but more on that later this is the ad copy that the seller is running he's got over 33 000 thousand likes over 4,000 comments and this is what their website looks like I can even get to their website by clicking on this link right here so you can see their website right here this is a website that was created on Shopify this is one of the selling channels that we can sell on and here's the supplier the source where they're getting it from in this case from Aliexpress they're buying it for $19 they're selling it for $50 and now I'm gonna show you three ad copies three different competitors who are selling this product on their stores so this is competitor number one 240 likes 70 comments comments. This is competitor number two with 6,000 likes, 400 comments and 1,300 shares. And this is competitor number three with 18,000 likes, 1,200 comments and 2,400 shares. Now each of course are linking to their own website. So in this case, I can click here to go to this seller's website and this guy's selling it for $65. And there was the other website that I showed you that is selling it for $50. And they all have a lot of success selling this product. I can tell not just by the amount of engagements that they're getting, anyone with 18,000 likes is getting a lot of clicks to their website and these people are purchasing, they're checking out. We're looking at around a two to two to 5% conversion rate, which means around 2%, at least 2% of the people who are clicking are actually purchasing the product. And another way to see that is simply by downloading the similar web extension. And this will give you an indication of how many people are entering this website on a monthly basis. So I'm just going to click on the extension right here and we can see that this website doodledash.com has over 31,000 visits per month. And if I go to the second website, PrintPod, we can see that this one is getting over 46,000 monthly visits. That's because they ran good ad copies as I showed you. And I'm going to share the links to all of that in this video. And if we just take around 47,000 monthly visits and get that 2.5% conversion rate, that's over 1,000 thousand one hundred and seventy five purchases per month and this means that this store right here who's buying it for less than twenty dollars and selling it for sixty five dollars they're making over forty dollars in profit so if we take one thousand one hundred seventy five multiply that by forty dollars profit per month they're making about forty seven thousand dollars just by putting the right product on their website and marketing it the right way and showing you three different competitors selling the same product comes to show you that there is no such thing as product saturation. Make a better offer to your buyers. It can be cheaper. You can also add an extra gift when they purchase that product. So they will want to buy a product and get a free bundle that comes with it rather than pay another competitor around the same price and not get that free gift. There's many things that you can do to outshine your competition. And of course, I'm going to touch up more on that later. But this is just one product example that you can see that there is no such thing as product saturation. There will always be someone else who's selling a similar product. You can sell the same product. You can sell a product that looks the same, but has different variations, maybe different colors, different dimensions. There is always something that you can do to stand out and make more sales than your competitors. So once again, some of the things that we can do to outshine our competition is doing things like adding free gifts 
gifts like this free gift add to cart app for Shopify. If you're selling on Shopify, you can make offers to your buyers or get offers from your buyers and also add promoted listings if you're selling on eBay. And you can simply win the buy box if you're selling on Amazon. Those are just some examples and I've got links on more information on how you can do all of that inside the cheat sheet. Now, next, I've got some of the best winning products for you to sell and I wanna share this with all of you. And all of this has the information that I showed you. What ads people are running for these products, how popular they are, their websites, their suppliers, where they're getting it from, how much they're making, how much they're profiting so that you can really take these examples and sell these products on your stores and do a better job than what you're seeing out here. So some of these products include this headrest pillow with an integrated massage, neck and back stretcher, reusable LED balloons, a four in one high speed USB flash drive, which of course there are many variations for you guys to resell, fast charging retractable car chargers, portable picnic tables, bathroom kitchen gap cleaning brush, 1080p HD wireless camera and more that I'm not going to go over in this video. But this cheat sheet is packed with them. And again, hashtag dropshipping2024 in the comments below. Let me know what you love about this video, what you learned about it. And of course, do not forget to like and subscribe if you guys appreciate the value. So those are some of the winning products. Soon I'm going to show you exactly what you can actually do with them. But I started with that because I know that many people are having a hard time understanding what products to sell before they even get this whole party started. And if you create your dropshipping, store, add products, make your homepage look really good, choose the right selling channel, market your product the right way, but you're not selling a product that's in demand right now because you haven't done that research and you don't have that experience yet, your dropshipping store is simply not going to get anywhere. So we want to start with the right products and that is what this cheat sheet is going to offer. And of course, we have all of these products and more inside the AutoDS winning products hub. So if you're a member of AutoDS, enjoy all of these products. I'm going to talk more about that later, but you can find all of that and then some there. We've got hundreds of new products being uploaded every day with all of the information that you need. Now let's talk really quickly about what dropshipping products not to sell. We can talk about what we can sell. We've got years and years of data and analytics and a huge database of winning products. But what about products that we cannot sell because we can't just sell anything that we want, right? There are things that we are simply not official resellers of. For example, big brands. If it's a brand that you probably heard of before, like Nike, Sony, Apple, and more, you can obviously not resell their products. However, what you can do is resell aftermarket parts or aftermarket accessories made by third-party manufacturers, and you can and will be able to resell those products that fit the iPhone, like cases for iPhone, screen protectors for Samsung Galaxies, and so forth. So all of that is not a problem as long as the manufacturer is not a big brand. So we cannot sell copyright and trademark products. We cannot sell age-restricted products like pornography, alcohol, tobacco, and we cannot sell dangerous goods. This one should go without saying, but no guns, no ammunition, no flammable liquids and anything of that sort. And no medicines, no supplements. We're not doctors. We cannot sell these things. And again, if you want to learn more about what products you need to avoid reselling, just click on the link in the cheat sheet and it'll take you to a full article on how you can learn more about that. And this way you'll know that what you are selling in your store is perfectly fine. Now let's go over the best dropshipping suppliers to use in 2024. There are new suppliers that are coming out all the time and they're looking to work with dropshippers. And here I kind of want to split the suppliers into two. We We've got retail suppliers and we've got private suppliers. Now under that, we also have wholesale suppliers. We can have retail wholesale suppliers. We can have private wholesale suppliers. And this just brings us one layer deeper inside. And by finding suppliers that don't need to go through middlemen to find us. So this means we're actually getting a much, much better price. Now, the difference between retail suppliers and private suppliers is that retail suppliers can be found anywhere and any dropshipper can work with them. For example, AliExpress, Amazon, Walmart, The Home Depot, and all of those types of examples, those are retailers. Now, some of them may not want you to dropship from them. It doesn't mean that dropshippers are not doing it and that it's not possible. But some retail suppliers are simply not as dropshipping friendly Whereas on the other hand, we have private dropshipping suppliers who are looking to work with dropshippers like us and make our jobs much, much easier. Another difference is that usually retailers have much more products for us to resell. So it's easier to work with retailers. While on the other hand, private suppliers have 
special products, unique products that retailers usually don't have. So for me, a combination of both is usually the winner. In any case, we don't want to work with just one dropshipping supplier. It's good to work with multiple and also from different locations around the world. This way we can not only target the worldwide audience, we'll have more products to sell. We're not putting all of our eggs in one basket. So if one supplier ever fails to provide, we can always lean on the other suppliers that we're working with. So we want to work with multiple suppliers. And some of the things that we want to look for in a dropshipping supplier is to make sure that they have global warehouses. As I mentioned, we want to be able to reach out all over the world with our products. It's good to target only one place in the beginning, but as we get more and more used to it, we want to open up our stores. This way we're going to get more traffic and more sales. Many people like to start selling in the USA or in the UK. In other words, to the US audience or to the UK audience. And it's okay. You can do that from anywhere around the world. You don't have to reside in the same place that you want to sell to. However, you do need to understand how it works with the sales tax, income tax, and all of that, all of which you can learn by simply hiring an accountant and asking them how all of that works. More info on that later. Let's continue. So we want to look for global warehouses. We want to look for suppliers who can quickly ship out our products and that have fast delivery times simply because customers do not want to wait 30 days to get their products. It's not six years ago. It's now. It's 2024. Nobody wants to wait a month. Next, we want to find suppliers with good return and replacement policies. Now, check out the difference between offering no returns on your store to offering 14, 30 day or even 60 day returns. If our suppliers can offer that to us, of course, we're going to offer that to our customers. And once we offer our customers returns, most of them are not going to return their products. But the fact that we gave it to them in the first place did give them the confidence that they need to proceed with the checkout process because they know that they can always return the product if they don't like it. Next, we want to get suppliers that have fast and reliable customer service. The better service you get from your suppliers, the better you'll be able to offer your buyers. So we want to reach out to our suppliers, see how fast they can answer us and see what types of solutions they offer us to the problems that we give them. And this way we can really get a good understanding of the type of service that we'll be able to offer our buyers. Next, we want suppliers with a wide product range so that we can sell more trending products as they come in. And we want high quality products to reduce the amount of returns that we'll get. Lastly, we want a supplier with competitive product prices. This should go without saying, but the better the prices you're getting, the better the prices you'll be able to offer your buyers, meaning you'll be able to be more competitive and make more sales and profit. And now that we understand what to look for in a dropshipping supplier, here's a list of the best dropshipping suppliers for you to work with. Now, remember, we haven't talked about selling channels yet. We haven't talked about where to sell these products and how to work with these suppliers. Right now, I'm just giving you all of the resources and tools that you'll need so that you can slowly narrow down and start building your store. So we understand what to look for in a supplier. Now I'm going to go over the best suppliers that you can work with in different niches, different regions, different types of suppliers. Check out this list that I prepared for you. So the first supplier that I want to talk about is AutoDS that is now a private supplier. This is all happening inside the AutoDS marketplace where now the system has private suppliers meaning other suppliers who are signing up to the system, adding their products to the system, and you can easily take those products and sell them automatically on your stores. And AutoDS also is a private supplier inside the system with a warehouse that ships really quickly and has trending products that are ready to ship out every single day. Now, not only that, but the private suppliers in AutoDS can also offer customized branding. So we talked about the branding issue when it comes to drop shipping. And I mentioned how it's not really possible to brand your products and ship each one out with your logo if you're a drop shipper and you're only purchasing one product each time. No supplier is going to create a customized logo for you for only one order each time. And we don't want to purchase inventory in advance because that's not the drop shipping business model. But now it is possible with customized branding inside the AutoDS warehouse. Here's a brief overview of what it looks like. So we've got the marketplace, the AutoDS marketplace right here. And here under suppliers, I'm going to choose AutoDS suppliers, which has the private suppliers. And as I scroll down, you can see like this backpack, for example, has a customizable branding text attached to it coming from the AutoDS warehouse. So this means that this product, not only can we add it to our stores by just clicking on this button and in, in, in just a couple seconds, it'll get added, but we're going to talk more about that stuff later. This product can get sent out with your customized logo on it. So I clicked on it really quickly just to see what it looks like inside. And we can see here that we've got different different variations, different colors of this backpack that we can add to our stores. And we can also send a private message to the private supplier. So I just clicked on send a message. And here I'm just going to write, Hey, this is just a test message. How are you doing? So here you can start communicating with your suppliers, 
check out their products, check out their shipping times. You can even try to negotiate a better deal for these products. But that's just another example of what you can do inside the AutoDS marketplace with the private suppliers. And as I mentioned, since it has customizable branding, this means that we can add our brand to this product simply by going to the store settings on AutoDS and uploading our logo right here. So this is the logo that I've uploaded right now and every product that I sell from that private supplier that offers customizable branding, the product will get sent out with my store logo on the product and that is simply amazing. So that is why the AutoDS marketplace and private suppliers is my top go-to for dropshipping suppliers. But guys, there are many more suppliers on top of that. One example is simply by heading to the AutoDS suppliers page. And here you have a list of over 30 dropshipping suppliers that you can start working with today. Not only are these suppliers super important, but you can also automate every aspect of your dropshipping business with them. So you'll have price monitoring, stock monitoring, automatic orders, quick product importing, and so much more. You can also filter these suppliers by different regions. So as I mentioned, it's important to work with suppliers that can ship to different locations around the world or that are based in different locations around the world so that we can ship quickly to our target audiences around the world. And here we can simply filter the different types of regions or we can search for a specific supplier. But here you've got over 30 suppliers that you can work with, which is already a huge list of suppliers with tens of millions of products that you can start reselling today, not only reselling, but also automating your business with them. But on top of that, if you want to work with a supplier under a specific niche, like let's say you want to open a jewelry dropshipping store, you have this blog article right here here with the best jewelry dropshipping suppliers that you can work with. And as I scroll down, you can just see that you have the list right here and you have an explanation about each supplier, what they can do for your jewelry dropshipping business. And we've got the same for different types of niches. For example, pet dropshipping suppliers, clothing dropshipping suppliers, dropshipping gifts from the UK, dropshipping clothes from the UK, candle dropshipping suppliers, print on demand, dropshipping suppliers from Australia, medical supplies, which you need to be careful with because we talked about medicines and supplements, but this will help you understand exactly what types of medicines and supplements you can sell lingerie dropshipping suppliers, Australian dropshipping suppliers, Florida, Canada, UK, USA, 30 free dropshipping suppliers and wholesale dropshipping suppliers. So all of these blog articles are packed with information with how you can connect with these suppliers, how you can work with them, who they are, what types of products they have and how we can dropship them successfully. So this is my list of the best dropshipping suppliers to work with in 2024. And believe me, it's more than enough. Now, one more important thing that I want to add on to suppliers. So let's Let's say you're working with these suppliers, you're adding products from their bestseller sections and you're testing them out on your dropshipping stores. Of course, I'm going to get to all this stuff later, but if you've done this before and you've been making sales or you're about to start making those sales because you listed those products. And by the way, you can all invest just $1 into your business. Sign up for AutoDS with your $1 trial and you'll get all of the automation things that I'm talking about in this video. It's definitely worth the investment. And of course, I've got a link to it right below this video. So another thing that you can do is also source for products. So let's say you're already working with a supplier. Let's take these dog chew toys right here. So I'm going to open up the item editor for it. Okay, so this is just one of the products that I have on one of my stores. We can see all of the information right here. But here I can click on these three dots and I can request sourcing. This means that I can tell the system, the AutoDS system, hey guys, I just sold this product and I'm looking for a cheaper source. I don't like my supplier, which in this case, I can click on the supplier right here. It looks like Walmart's logo. Let's see, yeah. So I don't wanna buy from my supplier at Walmart. They're a retailer and I actually wanna get a cheaper supplier that has faster shipping, or a cheaper price. So can you please source this product for me and find a cheaper supplier and the system will do that for you. So that's another way to not only help you get more profits for your order, it's gonna help you with your product research because you're gonna be connected to better suppliers, but it's also gonna help you, once again, find better suppliers to work with for your dropshipping business, find those private suppliers and start to scale your business from there. So that's another quick tip when it comes to dropshipping suppliers and sourcing your products to find better suppliers for the products that you're already selling on your stores, whether from retailers, wholesalers, private suppliers, and so forth. So we talked about working with multiple suppliers. We talked about private suppliers. We talked about AutoDS suppliers and AutoDS as a supplier, but I'm also gonna add more methods if that is not enough to find the best suppliers to work with in your dropshipping stores, in your dropshipping business. So another way to do it is to simply conduct a Google search for private wholesale dropshipping suppliers. And that's gonna give you a list of 
other wholesale dropshipping suppliers or private suppliers that you can work with. However, this is the manual method. You're going to have to reach out to them. You're going to have to negotiate with them, see what the requirements are, make sure that they don't have a minimum order requirement. Like, for example, if you go to Alibaba, you'll notice that they're selling a lot of products. They support dropshipping. But on the other hand, they do require an MOQ or in a minimum order quantity for many of their products, not all, but for many of their products, which again, takes us away from the dropshipping business model, which we don't want to do. So we have to contact those suppliers. We have to negotiate with them, pricing, payment options, and all of that. And once we find someone that looks like they're going to work well with us, we can go ahead and start working with them. Also, we won't really be able to benefit from automation when we're working with these private suppliers that we found off of Google. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult to scale our business, but it's still a possibility and I'm still going to throw it out there. And when we start to negotiate with these private suppliers that we found from search engines, make sure that they comply with the things that we're looking for in a dropshipping supplier, which I mentioned earlier in this video. And now let's actually understand how we can start a dropshipping business after we've been over product research, suppliers, and all of these important aspects that we need to understand that we need to take advantage of before we jump in and start to create our stores, which is what I'm going to show you how to do right now. So how do we start a dropshipping business in 2024, a step-by-step -step tutorial. So this is the right way to start a dropshipping business in 2024. And the first step, once again, is product research, learning how to find the right products to sell. Now, not only am I going to offer you the 10 products in this cheat sheet, again, hashtag dropshipping2024, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you learned in this video. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to this video if you appreciate the value. It'll mean a lot to me, but not only am I going to share with you the cheat sheet with the top 10 winning products, of course, you're going to need more than that. So how can you actually find these products yourself? Here are some of my favorite methods for product research. And again, this is going to provide you with more than what you need to find these winning products for yourself and start selling them and make those sales and profits. So for product research, finding winning products, the first place is the AutoDS winning products hub. Now I already mentioned this before, so I'm not gonna go over it too much, but again, inside the AutoDS system, you've got the winning products hub and here you've got tons of products, many more that are being added every day. So you can always check out the freddish hottest products that are trending right now. And inside every product, we share all of the information with you, along with the seller's ad copies, how much engagements they're getting, their websites with a link to their websites, target audience so that you can market this product the right way to the right people and get them to buy, how much it's being sold for, what is your profit potential, and of course, add all of these products to your stores by simply clicking on import draft. But first, of course, you need to add your stores. I'm going to get to that soon and also what types of stores you can create. But the AutoDS Winning Products Hub will give you a huge shortcut into easily finding and adding the most trending products on the market right now. And of course, all of these product research methods that I'm going to talk about, they're all going to get you to the point where you can easily do what these sellers are doing that I showed you in this video. For example, this portable printer, buying it for $19 and selling it for $65. Here are some more examples, buying this treat dispenser for dogs on Amazon for $53 and selling it on eBay for $88. Here's another example, finding this product, this dog button recorder on AliExpress for $25 and flipping it on Amazon for $70. This is what I love about the dropshipping business model. You can take a product from one place, sell it on another, and you will make those sales and profits when you're selling products that are in demand, those that people are actually looking to buy right now. And this is what you're gonna find from these product research methods. So the AutoDS Winning Products Hub, number one go-to. The second is product finding blog articles. These are are absolutely free methods. You do not have to spend a dime. Just click on the link in the cheat sheet that I will send to you in the comments below. And here it will direct you to the product finding section of our blog articles on autods.com slash blog. And here you've got the top winning products to sell, whether it's on Facebook marketplace, whether you want to drop ship drones, whether it's the best Shopify niches, the best dropshipping products to sell on your Amazon stores, gaming products. If you want to go with the gaming niche, UK dropshipping baby products, and so much more. The blogs are being updated at least twice every week with new blog articles, including finding hot winning products with all the information just being given to you. And we ask for nothing in return. Just start automate and succeed with your dropshipping business, this is how you're going to be able to make it in the dropshipping game. So product finding blog articles, you've got tons of articles with the best winning products inside. 
The third method, and this is another freebie, is the sell these now YouTube playlist. So if you're the type that likes to watch videos, I dropped the link to this playlist in the cheat sheet, and here you have videos of trending products to sell. So if you're the type that likes to read articles, go ahead and read inside the product finding bestsellers. But if you're the type that likes to watch videos, you can also watch the videos. In any case, we also embed them inside the blog articles so that you can easily win from both worlds. Now, the third place for product research is by leveraging Google Trends and Google Lens. These are two services that are being brought to us for free by Google. So it's another free product research method. And I've got links to blog articles and how you can use Google Lens as well, of course, as an embedded video or how to use Google Trends in order to spot trending items that you can start selling on your stores right now. Right now, the next product research method is learning to spy on social media trends. For example, we can do the conventional method of opening TikTok and writing hashtag TikTok made me buy it in the search field, as well as Amazon finds. Try also hashtag gadgets. You'll find a lot of trending products that people okay. created organic videos around them and they're selling them. Lots of people are clicking. Lots of people are buying them. So you can get an example of those types of products there. Plus, I left a link to the AutoDS TikTok spy tool. This is another tool that you can use to find winning TikTok ad copies that will lead you to the product pages. I have a quick example right here inside the AutoDS system. So I can simply click right here on TikTok spy and I can filter all types of things like I want to find the types of videos that got more than 20,000 likes so I can really narrow down on the popular ones. And as I scroll here, I'll be able to find some great products that other dropshippers are selling like this. TikTok shop jewelry product right here that's got over 30,000 engagements. And as I scroll, I'll find more and more. So this is another way to be able to spy on the competition, see what people are doing on social media, what's working well for them. And of course, we can replicate that success with the dropshipping suppliers that we found. The next method for product research, again, absolutely free, costs $0, is going to your suppliers' websites and checking out new products, new arrivals, and bestsellers. And one of the new best suppliers on the scene is Timu. And we've already got content on how you can leverage Timu for your dropshipping business. You can also automate them, add products in a second, and you'll have price and stock automation. All of the automation going on with AutoDS, we also support Timu. And here you simply want to click on new arrivals and see what are some of these products that you simply haven't seen before. Like this cute bat shape novelty bag. I've seen all kinds of bags, but I haven't seen this cool bat shape one. And you can continue narrowing down on products that you simply haven't seen before. Now, if you're new to the dropshipping scene, almost every product is going to look new to you. But the more you look into it, the more you research for products, the more you check out what other competitors are doing, the easier you'll be able to spot new items that are coming out that people simply haven't started selling yet. Now, again, I said that saturation is not an issue, but it's much easier to sell products that are not being sold by too many competitors out there. And you can do that once again by going to the new arrivals and testing out those products. Another one is simply by clicking on suppliers bestseller sections. So Timo, of course, also has a bestseller section. You can do it with other suppliers that you're working with, but these are proven trending products, what we see right here. So this is another place where you can easily find hot sellers to market to your audience. Another place to conduct product research and get it again absolutely for free is leveraging the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. So I left a link to it with a full blog article and a video on how to use the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. And this simply has it all. It has all kinds of trending products. You have a smart filter system and you can easily find so many new winners using the AliExpress Dropshipping Center, which AliExpress created just for us dropshippers. So go ahead and read about how you can use the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. We all have it for free inside our AliExpress accounts. More info on the content that we have below. And lastly, once you use all of these methods or one of these methods, you'll find more than enough winning products for you to start your dropshipping business from and start to learn from those products that actually start to sell on your store. On top of that, I'm also going to provide you with this product research dropshipping spreadsheet where you can easily start to narrow down on your winning products. So this means, for example, that you're going to add the product's name right here. You're going to add the source, the supplier's link, and you're going to answer all of these questions like, are you passionate about this product? Do you even care about it? Because it's more difficult to sell products that we don't really understand or you, we don't really have any passion for them or we don't know what they are. Is it hard to find in stores? Is it hard to guess the price? Is it safe to sell? Does it solve a problem or stand out? This is one of the most important things 
One of the most important questions that we want to ask ourselves is if the product is not a problem solver, then we can't show the audience why they need it. Talking about a product's features is not going to do the job. You need to make the customers or the online shoppers understand why they need this product. So what problem does it help them solve? And does the product cost less than $30? We don't want to start with really expensive products. It's easier to sell cheaper products in the beginning. And once we answer all of these questions, if we have no on some of them, we'll move on to the next products. And the ones that we answered yes to all of them, those products have a much higher chance of selling on our stores. So use this product research dropshipping spreadsheet. I have a link to it again in the cheat sheet. All you got to do is click on file, make a copy so that you can start making those edits yourself. And again, more freebies for product research. This is how you're going to find winning products and you don't have to spend a dime doing so. So we talked about product research. Now we're going to talk about selecting a dropshipping supplier. Now we already talked about the suppliers. We talked about the AutoDS marketplace with private suppliers, customized branding and the AutoDS warehouse. We talked about the 30 plus dropshipping suppliers that you can automate your dropshipping business with today, including Timu, Shane, Etsy, AliExpress, Amazon, Walmart, and more. And you also have niche and region specific suppliers in the list that I showed you above. So once you choose what supplier you want to work with and take everything into consideration, everything that I showed you in this video, next you want to choose a selling channel. And now it's about time to start talking about this. Most videos out there that you're going to see are going to try to get you to sell on one selling channel because that's mostly where they have their experience. But we have much more experience than that here. And today, the best selling channels for you to sell your products on are eBay, Shopify, Amazon, Etsy, Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Shops, WooCommerce, and Wix. So those are the selling channels that are really popular today. Some are marketplaces and some are customized websites. I'm going to go over each and every one of them so that you can narrow down on the one that suits your business the most. Starting with eBay. So the first selling channel that I want to talk about is eBay. I've been dropshipping on eBay for years and years now, and it's one of my favorite selling channels to sell on. So I'm going to show you my screen soon. I'm going to show you my eBay store and some of the things that I'm doing there, as well as other selling channels that I'm going to talk about. But for now, here's one of the reasons why I love eBay. For one, it's really easy to get started. You don't need to create a whole store from scratch. You can simply register for an eBay account and start selling at zero expenses. Today, eBay offers over 200 listings that you can list absolutely for free without spending a dime. And you'll only have to owe them something only after you make a sale. So you can really start to scale your business once you start making sales and profits. And if you're not making any sales with those 200 products, you can always replace them with other products until they start to sell. And then with those profits, you'll start to invest it back into your business, as I mentioned before. So it's easy to get started. It's got millions of online shoppers with intent to purchase. Now, eBay's got millions of online shoppers with an intent to purchase. What this means is when someone opens up eBay, as opposed to opening up a Google, on eBay, they're opening it because they're looking to buy something. And when they're opening up Google, they can just search for something like, I don't know, how to get rid of acne. So on eBay, you've got millions of online shoppers entering every day with an intent to buy something. They're going to search eBay search field for something that they want to buy. And if your title is similar to what they're searching for, they're most likely going to see you on the front page. And that is how you can get free organic traffic to your store. You can do it without any marketing techniques and without spending a dime on marketing. And I'm also going to go over some free marketing methods that you can use for eBay as well as for other selling channels. Another thing that I love about eBay is that, well, I already mentioned this, but it's got a $0 starting budget. I already explained why, and that's one of the things that I love about it. Also, you've got seller and buyer protection. For us, what's good is the seller protection. So of course, for example, if a buyer reaches out and opens up a case on eBay and says, hey, I didn't get my product, the seller, you, you didn't send the product to me. So why don't you just give me back a refund for my money? And because you're a smart seller and you're working with suppliers that supply tracking information that's actually trackable and readable, then you can prove to them that they actually got the product. Hey, here's your, your UPS tracking link or USPS or FedEx or whatever shipping carrier you got from your supplier. Here is proof that your product was delivered to your address. And this way, eBay is going to side with you, the seller, instead of just saying, oh, if a buyer said so, then it's probably true. So that's you, the seller, getting seller protection. And this is one thing that eBay offers, seller and buyer protection. And it's also easy to spy on the competition. It's easy to just open up eBay, search for a product that you want to sell, and see how well other competitors are selling them. eBay will easily show you how many similar sellers are selling that product and how many sales they're making from it. So it's really easy to spy on the competition and see what they're doing. Some of the cons of selling on eBay is 
selling limits. So if you don't have an eBay account or, or if you haven't sold anything yet on eBay before, then you're gonna start off with around 10 products that you can sell. And even though eBay tells you, hey, you can list 200 products for free, only if it's a new account, we're only going to allow you right now to list 10 products. That's not a lot, not enough to conduct product research and see what's working well for us. So for this, we're going to have to learn how to raise our selling limits. And I'm going to provide you with all of those resources soon. The second is competition. Now, competition isn't the end of the world, but it will cut from some of ourselves and some of our profits. And that's why we're watching this very special video to understand how we can overcome all of that. It's difficult to build a brand on eBay because it's not your own store. It's eBay's store at the end of the day. And you're simply selling on their marketplace. So while you do have a storefront and you can create your own billboard and your own logo and stuff, it's not your URL, it's not your store address, it's eBay. So it's more difficult to create a brand around that product. And also there's no customer email list. This is a great marketing method to be able to send email marketing campaigns to our buyers and send them some promotions, send them some offer so that they will want to go to your website and of course purchase or repurchase again. On eBay, we're not collecting any email addresses. eBay is gonna keep that information for themselves. So on the one hand, they're giving us millions of online shoppers free organically. As long as we're selling something that people are looking to buy, they're gonna find their way to our listings. But on the other hand, they're gonna keep the customer information so that they can retarget them and they can resell to them. But you can also target customers who are taking interest in your products. I'm gonna to get to that soon. So here are some of the best resources that you can have so that you can start selling well on eBay. The first is how to start dropshipping on eBay a full beginner's guide and this blog article and video that's embedded inside will take you step by step on how to create an eBay store from scratch and this has it all including how to sign up for it to eBay how to list your first item how to conduct product research on eBay selecting suppliers to work with calculating your profits importing your products fulfilling your orders upgrading your selling limits and all of the extra things that you need to know about so this full guide has it all it's again completely free a to z how to start Start a store from scratch with no experience to actually making your first sales and profit. The next resource is how to find top selling items on eBay. So this blog article and video will help you with your eBay product research. Next is the 20 best eBay dropshipping suppliers so you can connect with the right suppliers to work with on your eBay stores. How to increase eBay selling limits. We've got a full article detailed only on increasing your eBay selling limits, which is really important, especially if you're starting a new eBay account. Now, if you're a seasoned seller and you already have some accounts and you've been selling for a few years, there is a lot of marketplaces where you can buy ready-made eBay stores or people who have been selling for a while and now they're selling their stores because, I don't know, they moved on to other things and you can take advantage of those stores and those selling limits also. So you can either start your own or buy a working business. And you've also got a free A to Z eBay dropshipping course. Everything, of course, is linked inside the cheat sheet. Again, if you want it, just drop a comment below. Hashtag dropshipping2024. Let me know what you learned in this video. What was your top takeaway? And I will share this cheat sheet with all of the links inside. So here's that free eBay course that I was talking about. Again, absolutely free. Just click on the link and start watching all of these videos that you have for this course. This course will take you through a full tutorial every step of the way. This again is more than enough to start a successful dropshipping business on eBay, which is one of the selling channels that you can sell on. So again, you've got your list of suppliers with tens of millions of products that I showed you that I talked about in this video. You can take those products and sell them on your selling channels, which is what I'm going over right now. So eBay is one of those selling channels where you can sell all of those products from your suppliers. Now let's take a quick look at one of my eBay stores. So you can see right here, I'll even refresh the page so you can see it's not some screenshot or or whatever. So here's some of the traffic that I'm getting on my eBay store. And you can simply see they're giving out to you everything with full analytics. You can see how many people are coming in organically, how many people are coming in from promoted listings, which is one of the marketing methods that I'll talk about later when we get to the marketing part. But again, I'm not paying a dime for marketing only after I make a sell on eBay, my top 20 search spot impressions and so forth. So you can see my total impressions, how many of them are organic, how many page views and sold listings. But I'm going to show you that in a different screen. And this is just looking from September to October. October, so just one month of data. Now let's look at some of the performance and sales so we can see some of that right here. Again, this is just in the last month and this is just one of my stores. Uh, I have multiple stores. I don't have enough time to show you guys everything, but this is just one of them. So we can see the total amount of sales in the last month, the quantity sold, average price per, per product, uh, how many sales in total, how many total buyers we have, how many of them are one-time buyers, how many of them are repeat buyers, 
and sales by category and more information that they offer. And we've also got the payment section. So I can just refresh this again. This is the total funds that eBay owes me. So at the moment they owe me around $500 and they process some of those funds. Some of them are available. I have my payouts set on a daily basis, but still sometimes it takes them a few days to send their payouts, but that's okay. I've got enough cash flow going on to process my orders, get my payouts, and of course send the profits, withdraw them to my bank account. This eBay account is connected to one of my Payoneer accounts. So eBay sends the funds to my Payoneer account and I use my Payoneer account to either pay for my orders, pay my suppliers, or withdraw the funds, the profits to my bank account. So that's mainly how it works with eBay. Again, this is just off the top. There's much more that goes to it and that's why I left all of the resource links right here. So eBay is one of my favorite selling channels. Number two is Shopify. Now Shopify, unlike eBay, is your own customizable website. This means that you're going to have your own www.yourstorename.com. And even if you don't have any technical experience, you can still create a complete store from A to Z. So first things first, use this free Shopify trial signup link. Otherwise, Shopify is not going to give you a free trial. And it's important to start off for free. Start off with a budget of zero. Use the link that I have in this cheat sheet to get your free Shopify trial and really try it out before you buy. Some of the things that I love about Shopify is once again, it's a fully customizable website. You have no selling limits. Unlike eBay, Shopify won't tell you, hey, you can only list 10 products on day one. You can list a thousand or even 10,000 products on day one. Hey, it's your store. It's your business. You can do whatever you want with it. Third, it's easier to build your brand because again, it's your store and you can make it look however you want. It's not inside a marketplace. Nobody owns your store except for you. You can collect, of course, your customer's email list. So this time when customers are leaving their email addresses because you're sending them some promotion or they purchase from your website, you're collecting their email address. And once you have a few hundred email addresses, or a few thousand, you can start sending them email marketing campaigns. Again, I'm going to talk about marketing soon, but this is another really important thing to have because once you have the customer's email address, they're yours and sending out an email doesn't cost any money. So this is free marketing for your customers, but it does take a while to build it up in the beginning. Again, no technical skills required and you have access to the Shopify themes and app store. So you have a huge list of themes to make your store more visually appealing and you have the app store that can help you make more conversions, help you with marketing, help you with better better pop-ups, help you with email marketing campaigns, help you make good offers for your buyers, free gifts, and so many more things that you can do there. Some of the cons about Shopify is that it actually requires a marketing budget. Now, there are some free marketing techniques that I'm going to talk about soon, but mainly if you want to start running ads for your products so that people can actually see it, you're going to have to spend a budget on marketing. Whereas in marketplaces that have free organic traffic like eBay, you don't really have to spend anything on marketing. You can list a product and if somebody is searching for it, they're most likely going to find it in your store. Only on Shopify, there is no Shopify search engine. They can search on Google, but Google is going to have so many other types of results. So this means that you're going to have to spend a budget on marketing to get your product in front of the target audience. Another is that it has a more difficult learning curve than other methods, even though I'm going to solve this for you soon. It takes time to build a store, especially if it's your first store or your first couple of stores. And it comes with a monthly subscription. You have to pay a monthly subscription in order to get your store up and running on Shopify, even if you haven't made any sales yet. That is why it's crucial to start with the free trial signup link. And right now, Shopify is also going to offer three months for $1 using this link. So again, use it, take advantage of it, try before you buy and make your business work the right way by investing the minimal amount and getting the maximum results. Some of the resources that I have for you to start the right way on Shopify is a full free Shopify. Shopify dropshipping course, just like the eBay one that I showed you. So this is the same for Shopify. You have all these lessons here and it has everything that you need on every topic. And here side by side, I create a store from scratch with you, whether it's the logos or the homepage and the product page and everything that comes along with it, navigation menus and so forth. Next, we have a how to start dropshipping on Shopify full guide, again, embedded video inside if you want to watch the video, but you have the whole walkthrough of how to start a Shopify dropshipping store, just like the course on here it's broken down into sections in a blog article and you have more content like how to start dropshipping from aliexpress to shopify if you want to use aliexpress as your supplier top shopify dropshipping stores examples and their secrets so there we have a lot of examples of shopify stores that are making it they're successful and we gave you all of their strategies and everything that they're doing there how to spy on shopify stores so you can spy your competition even better and the top 17 shopify dropshipping suppliers so i'm not going to open those links now but that is some of the shopify resources that you're going to get inside the dropshipping 2024 cheat sheet. And here's one of my Shopify dropshipping stores. Let me just refresh this dashboard really quick. 
So these are the stats from the last year. We've got almost a million dollars in sales, an 82% increase. Most of it that's coming from the online stores rather than the apps that I'm using. Over 610,000 online store sessions, online conversion rate of 2.5%. As I mentioned, it's mostly between two to 3%. So I usually take 2.5% because that's what's happening in my stores. That's also what's happening on other stores that I see. And again, this is the average conversion rate in the dropshipping industry. So we've got 38,000 add to cart sessions. We've got over 17,000 total orders, average order value of $65, which is pretty good. That's medium ticket. We've got the top selling products, returning customer rate of 16%, which is great. I've got a lot of returning customers on this online store. And again, the Shopify dashboard is full of analytics of everything that you need. So use the resources, learn exactly the steps that I took in order to create these successful dropshipping stores so that you can replicate the same success for you. Now, the next selling channel that I want to talk about is Amazon. We can all sell on Amazon anyone can create an account there and start dropshipping products right now and this goes by entering a buy box and making a better offer than the sellers who already have their products listed on Amazon and the reason that we want to do this is because we can completely automate our business connect our Amazon store to AutoDS and have everything automated for us Here's an example of one of my Amazon dropshipping stores. So I have a couple of products listed here. And again, you've got access to the Amazon Seller Central where you can take a whole bunch of actions on your store, even though most of it can be done through AutoDS. And one of the things that I love about Amazon is just like eBay, it's easy to get started. Just sign in, verify your seller account and start adding products. Millions of online shoppers with an intent to purchase. That's why they enter Amazon because they're looking for something that they want to buy. And again, not how to create arts and crafts or whatever. They have free organic traffic, so they're gonna give you, they're gonna bring the customers to you. Simply add products that people are looking to buy and they will find their way to your listing. It's easy to spy in the competition, just like on eBay. Search for the product that you wanna sell on Amazon, see how well it's going there for other sellers, or maybe you'll notice that there's not much competition on it so that you can easily enter that buy box and kill the competition. Enter the buy box and win, that's what it's all about. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, do not worry because of course I've got all the links to the resources below. But let's talk about some of the cons. This does come with a monthly subscription, especially once we start to automate our business. But again, in the long run, it's worth it because we're going to make much more sales and profit this way. But there is a professional monthly subscription that we need to pay Amazon so that we can start selling. There is a bit of competition, which of course we can definitely outcome. And again, it's difficult to build a brand because it's a marketplace just like eBay and there's no customer email list just like eBay. That's a marketplace. It's one of the cons that we have there. But we have the other pros like free organic traffic, easy to get started, and they just simply have millions of customers who are looking to purchase products day by day and they can make it to your listing. So one of the resources that we have here inside the 2024 cheat sheet for dropshipping, again, hashtag dropshipping 2024. And I'm going to send this cheat sheet to you with everything that I'm going over in this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you appreciate the value. So here is the free Amazon course and you can see all of the lessons right here. And of course, we've got more info like a full video that many people seem to like over 240,000 views as I'm recording this video. So it's a full walkthrough on how to start your dropshipping business on Amazon. Of course, we've got a blog article that's also gonna take you step by step, hand in hand, as you start by registering your account, choosing your selling plans, starting to look for products, looking for good products that are selling so that you can enter the buy box and be the first seller on there so that every time someone purchases from Amazon, they're gonna purchase from your listing, even though there's other sellers on Amazon who are selling that same exact product. It's called winning the buy box and I show you everything on how to do it in that blog article, in that video and in that free course. And you've got more content like how to dropship on Amazon without money, the 10 best Amazon dropshipping courses, free and paid, the best dropshipping products to sell on your Amazon store and Amazon product research, a good guide to finding trending niches. Check out Amazon. I highly, highly recommend it. Next is Etsy. Etsy is a unique marketplace where artists usually sell their handcrafted, handmade or arts and crafts and also craft supplies, tools and party favors. Those are the main categories that you can sell on Etsy. That's what makes it a unique marketplace, easy to get started. It's another marketplace that has tons of buyers that are entering every day with an intent to purchase. So again, these marketplaces are gonna get you free organic traffic, just sell the right products and you will get customers to see your product and also purchase them. It's also easy to spy on your competitors because again, you just need to search for whatever product you wanna sell on Etsy in this case and see how well it's going for other sellers. One of the things that I love about this as opposed to the other marketplaces or most other marketplaces is that this has no monthly subscription. Etsy doesn't want any money from you on a monthly basis. However, there is a 20% listing fee. So every time you list a product, it'll cost 20 cents. Now there are also no monthly selling limits. You can sell as many products as you want 
However, again, since every product, every listing is going to cost you 20 cents to list, you're probably not going to list 3000 products in one day. You're slowly going to start to test different types of products that you can sell in the handmade categories and other categories that I'm also going to show you in the content later. But if you're selling the right products, again, doing the right product research, selling from the right categories on Etsy, then you will slowly start to build your business because there's a lot of shoppers and there's a really low competition right now when dropshipping on Etsy because there's simply not a lot of dropshippers there. I, however, am, of course, one of those drop shippers here's one of my etsy stores and you can see right here and i did start the store recently so only got about 2500 views 1300 visits just about 27 orders 730 dollars uh, revenue because again i just got started with this etsy is relatively new but i'm still experiencing good sales and i've only got 11 active listings that's not a lot it's actually not good at all to have such few listings and i wish i had more time but i'm sharing with you all of the strategies that i know in the content that i add inside that cheat sheet but again as you can see right here i've got an order that i need to ship tomorrow i can open the orders page and see the rest of my orders the ones that were completed so i can scroll here and just see more products that i sold and of course i can go to the finances i can do some marketing but as you can see right here on some of the notifications that i got recently they lifted the payment account reserve that they put usually on new sellers especially when you don't update tracking information that's actually trackable on etsy but in time they're also going to lift that as they did for me right here because they see that i am a good seller and i'm getting good reviews and there's no problems with my transactions and i'm also making sell from offsite ads and more marketing methods that i'm going to talk about soon but again one of the things that i love about etsy is that it's one of the new kids on the block that you can start dropshipping on with minimal competition at least while i'm recording this video so take advantage of that we are now at the golden age at the golden years of dropshipping on etsy some of the cons is that it's restricted only to specific niches and categories as i talked about so you can only sell inside the handcrafted handmade or vintage items niche arts and crafts and craft tools and supplies as well as party favors those are the only things that you can actually sell on Etsy. And if you start to add products that are not related to that, Etsy is slowly going to start taking down your listings and eventually also suspend your account. So nobody wants that to happen. That's why you need to learn how to sell on Etsy the right way. And that is why I added these resources to the cheat sheet, a free Etsy dropshipping course, just like the other courses that I showed you, how to start dropshipping on Etsy, a full beginner's guide article with a video inside, how to dropship jewelry on Etsy and the top 20 Etsy dropshipping suppliers. So Etsy again is more of a niche store whereas in other selling channels that i talked about you can decide whether you want to open a general store or a niche store however my recommendation right from the start is to begin with general stores this way you can broadly test the market different categories different products and see what starts to sell and once you start to pinpoint and cherry pick those winners you can consider making a niche store around that product so if you're wondering if you should start with a niche store or a general store that is your answer right there and i want to quickly answer another question that many many people are asking what happens if I'm using, let's say, uh, Timu or Amazon as my supplier and I ship out the product to someone who bought it on my eBay store, for example, they're going to get it in, in Timu branding or in Amazon branding, you know, logos all over their packages. So isn't the customer going to be mad that they ordered from eBay and they got a package from Amazon? The answer to this and everybody who ever tried dropshipping before can back me up on this one. The customers do not care about the packages and where they came from. All that matters to them is that they got exactly what they ordered in the right time frame that you showed on your product page. Once they get it, they're going to be happy that they got the product. So put this question on the side. Do not worry about it. Start dropshipping and you'll see exactly what I mean. So Etsy is another great selling channel to work with. Another is Facebook, Facebook Marketplace and Facebook Shops. Let's go over the pros and cons really quick. You can easily promote your products for free on Facebook groups so you don't have to spend a dime on marketing it's easy to get started anyone with a facebook account has the marketplace and can start selling there however there are some cons to this that i'm going to get to soon so you can get free organic traffic of course customers who are looking to buy things they click on the marketplace because they're looking to buy something so then they can find your listing there is no monthly subscription no monthly fees and no selling limits. These are the top pros, the top advantages of selling on Facebook Marketplace. Facebook wants you. They're looking for e-commerce store owners. They're looking for people who are looking to sell their products, whether new or used. And in order to get as many sellers as possible, they need to bring down their fees. Now, all of the marketplaces, all of the selling channels that I talked about in this video, they will charge you with transaction fees, marketing fees, with payment processor fees, and Facebook will too. Only Facebook has the lowest one. 
and they won't charge you anything before you actually start making sales and profit, which I personally think is great, especially for beginners who don't have much of a budget to begin with. Now, some of the cons of dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace and take this into consideration, you need to be a US citizen because you will have to provide SSN social security number for verification once you reach $500 in sales. Not only that, everybody in the US, because on Facebook Marketplace, you can pretty much dropship only to the United States audience. But if you want to be able to do that successfully, you're going to have to have the shipping options available when you're adding a listing to the Facebook Marketplace. And in order for that to happen, you have to be connecting through a US IP address. In other words, you need to live in the United States and you need to be a US citizen if you want to dropship successfully on Facebook Marketplace. Otherwise, there are some ways to go around it, but I'm not going to go over that in this video. So it's more difficult to build a brand on such marketplaces. And of course, you're not collecting the customer's email addresses because Facebook is going to keep that for themselves. Besides that, it's a great, great marketplace to sell on, especially if you meet the prerequisites that I wrote in the cons. Now, you've got a lot of resources for Facebook Marketplace. One, again, is a free course split by sections by lessons like I showed you in other courses. Everything, again, completely free. How to start dropshipping on Facebook, a full beginner's guide, article, and a video. And we've also got a case study on Paul Lipsky, a popular dropshipper YouTuber who made over $600 profit in one week dropshipping on Facebook from Amazon, as well as more content like product research on Facebook, how the fees work, how to calculate your profits, the best Facebook marketplace categories, and a full case study, how I went from zero to 35 sales in one week, full transparency. I showed all the products that I sold, how I sold them, how I reached out to the customers, how I marketed it, and everything else. So everything that you need to know about dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace is inside the resources below. Next, we've got Wix and WooCommerce. I put these two together because they kind of go hand in hand. It's kind of like Shopify where you can create your own customizable website where there are no selling limits. It's easy to build your brand. You're collecting your customers' emails. So it's really important for email marketing. There are really no technical skills required, even though it is more technical than other methods that I showed you. And it has a themes and plugin store, which is kind of like Shopify's app store and theme store so that you can create your own themes and add all kinds of plugins that can help you make your store look better and make more sales. Now the cons, kind of similar to Shopify, is that it requires a marketing budget because once you add products to your stores, again, nobody knows that it exists just like Shopify. You're going to have to market your products either in free ways or paid methods to get people to know that your products and stores actually exist. It has a more difficult learning curve than the other methods that I showed you. It takes time to build a store and both of them require monthly subscriptions. More information on that on the resources that I sent below, how to start dropshipping from AliExpress to Wix, the 10 best Wix dropshipping apps, the top 15 Wix dropshipping suppliers, how to start dropshipping on WooCommerce and WooCommerce versus Shopify if you're looking for that side-by-side -side comparison. And by the way, these tutorials really give you a full walkthrough on how to create your stores from zero from scratch up until you have a store up and running that looks really good and selling profitable products. All right, so now that we have an extended overview of the selling channels that we can sell on and we talked about suppliers and product research, here's how everything can now come together. So what are we going to do with all of this information? We've got the products, we've got the suppliers we want to work with, we've got the selling channels that we want to sell on. How does it all come together? So check it out. This is exactly where AutoDS comes in. Now AutoDS is an all-in-one automation platform and this simply helps you connect between your products, suppliers, and everything that goes in between for full automation, including price and stock monitoring. In other words, when the prices change on one of your suppliers' websites, it'll also change automatically on your dropshipping store so that you don't really have to do anything about it. When the supplier goes out of stock, it'll also go out of stock on your store. It also has automatic order fulfillment. We haven't touched up on orders yet, but we will soon. So all of your orders can be fulfilled for you automatically, whether it's using your buyer accounts or AutoDS's buyer accounts. Again, more information on all of that later. And that also includes automatic tracking number updates. As soon as tracking information is available, it'll also be updated so that your customers can always know what's going on with their orders. And all of this is happening automatically. Product sourcing, which I touched up on earlier in this video, an automatic product importer, making it really easy to add products to your stores, an AI title and description rewrite tool, which I think is absolutely great, especially now that we're entering the generation of artificial intelligence. And here's an example of how that works. So I've got this product right here, this fluffy cloud for your bum. So this is a memory foam uh, mattress topper product. And here next to the title are all 
also next to the description, I can click on optimize description with artificial intelligence. And here I can have the title, the description, or both the title and description being rewritten for me automatically because when we add these products from our suppliers to our stores, usually the writing is not going to be that good, that professional. And, I, and we still want to have something different than what other people have. And this is exactly what this tool is going to offer us. So we can simply click here on AI rewrite and it's going to re rewrite the title and a description to make it more eye catching, to make it more professional, to make it more sellable for our buyers. And this way we can really stand out from the competition. So we've got the AI title and description rewrite tool and so much more, including automatic price optimization, like raising our prices on products that are selling well so that we can profit more, decreasing the prices when they don't sell all up and down to a certain limit so that we will find that sweet spot in the middle and be able to make the most sales and the most amount of profit full inventory management with so many filters as we can see up here this is the products page so these are some of the products that i'm selling on my stores i can add a filter and i can easily filter it by the the profits the quantity the item location the monitoring that i have the profit percentages by how many times the product sold and so many other filters so this way you can really analyze how well these products are selling and one of the things that i love here about the system is that you can see right here i can continue adding more stores so here i've got some ebay stores i've got an amazon store I've got some Shopify stores, some Facebook stores, Wix and WooCommerce all inside one AutoDS account. And I can have all of the products showing up here and I can see everything on the dashboard to see how the business is working. And I can easily analyze the products by all of the filters that I have. And all of these stores or selling channels, in other words, that we talked about earlier, we can add all of the products from the suppliers that I mentioned, tens of millions of products into these selling channels and sell them all with full automation. And we also have, of course, the marketplace and the winning products hub, which are already talked about. So that's just some of what AutoDS can offer you as a full automation software for your dropshipping stores, for your dropshipping suppliers, with everything included inside, including product research, the marketplace, the private suppliers, the winning products hub, automating your orders and so forth. Everything under one intuitive dashboard. Okay, so once we connected our stores to AutoDS and it's very, very simple, just go to AutoDS and click on add store and click on the next store that you want to add. And then you can start adding your products. So choose the selling channel that you want from the selling channels that we talked about add that selling channel to your AutoDS accounts. And the next step is to add products. So you have your store connected, then we're gonna start adding products and that's it, you're gonna start selling. So here's how simple it is to add products to AutoDS. Now, again, if you guys need the link to register to AutoDS, you can either use the link inside the cheat sheet or just go to autods.com and register for your $1 trial. Now let's talk about adding products because we already went over product research, we went over our suppliers, we added our selling channel, we went over selling channels, we added it to AutoDS. Now we need to start adding products. So how do we actually do that. So there's a few ways to add products to your stores. I'm not going to go to all of them now, but you can easily just head over to autodscom slash suppliers, see what suppliers you can work with, what suppliers you can automate your business with. This is going to give you your first indication. So let's say, for example, I'm going to choose Timu. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to timu.com and I'm just gonna click on one of the products right here that I'd like to add to my store. Like let's say this cool looking trendy chest bag right here. So I can just go to the product, hover over the URL, copy it, head over to AutoDS, click on add products. And here I can add a single product. I can add multiple products. I can do so many different things, but let's keep it simple. I'm gonna go with single product, paste the URL right here. It automatically chose Timu because it knows that that's a supplier. Then I'm just gonna publish it to my store right away or click on edit now quick so that I can do some product optimization before I actually add it to my store. And that's just one way of adding products to your store. Another is simply by going to the marketplace and seeing what products we have from all of the suppliers that I mentioned, from private suppliers, wholesale suppliers. If you don't wanna work with one of these suppliers or if you wanna add more suppliers to your list, you can simply go to the marketplace or the winning products hub, choose a trending product from there. And of course you can click on it to read more information on the product as I showed you before. Or you can simply hover over import draft from outside the page or from inside the page and add this product to your store. So in just a few seconds, this product is gonna be sold on the selected stores that I have. So this one just took a couple of seconds. Let's go to the drafts and here it is right there. Now we can enter the product optimizer and I can optimize the title. But again, I'm going to use optimize title with AI for that. It's just much, much better. Same goes for the description and the rest of the things got automated like the tags, the country location, the variations, all three of them got added as well as all of the product images. And of course, everything was added in just a couple of seconds in just the click of a button. There are more ways, of course, to add products to your stores. But again, I don't want to make this video longer than it has to be. There's more info about that through autods.com. Just hover over our features, or you can simply click on the automatic importer right here inside the cheat sheet. So there's the manual way of adding
providing products by just going to your selling channel and clicking on, I want to list a new product. But of course, this is going to take a long time. It's going to consume a lot of time because you need to copy and paste the title, copy and paste the description. You can use ChatGPT to do your AI rewrite. But again, this is just going to take more time because you're doing everything manually. Download all the images from your supplier, upload all the images to your selling channel, item specifications and everything else. So it's going to take a lot of time, especially when you want to add multiple products. You don't want to spend all day doing that. So that's why automation is king. So we talked about the AI product title description generator, so I'm not gonna go over it now. Now that you have products in your stores, okay, we went over product research, we added trending products to our stores, we added, we connected with AutoDS, we added our selling channel to AutoDS, and we started adding products to our selling channel from the suppliers that we can automate our business with. Everything so far has been automated, but now it's time to market our products. And again, it depends on what selling channel we're using. We have different types of methods, and I'm not gonna leave you alone here because marketing is super important. So I broke down marketing to organic marketing. By the way, this is that printer tool that I talked about. So you can see that it's also very trendy on TikTok. I found this one seller who has lots of viral videos on this product. That's one of the marketing methods that we can use. Let's go over that right now. So we've got organic marketing methods that don't require any budget, like recording and publishing product videos on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts and reels, just like we're seeing right up here. So you can order the product to your house. Of course, that's going to set you back a few bucks, however much the product costs. But now you can shoot as many videos as you want on that product, upload it to TikTok, upload it to Instagram, upload it to YouTube Shorts, and watch the organic traffic start to roll in. Just make sure that inside your bio, you have a link to your website and your product page so that they'll know where to go to purchase this product. So this one requires no budget or at least a budget just to purchase the product and send it to your home. You can, of course, create a blog page. You can use email marketing. If you want good ways to create blog pages, I highly recommend watching our chat GPT video, which shows you how you can do, well, many things for your dropshipping business using chat GPT. We have a link to it right here in the cheat sheet, but it also shows you how you can write effective emails for email marketing and creating good blogs that will work well on Google so that you can get free organic traffic that way. Then we've got the paid marketing methods where a budget of course is required. For example, 2014 is the year for artificial intelligence and we can also use that for our marketing efforts. There are many tools that can help us. One of my personal favorites are HeyGen because you can actually start for free by creating product videos for your products. You can use your own voice. You can use artificial intelligence voice. You can use whatever avatar you want. And here, for example, I can show you one of the quick ones that I created for a product that actually came with a template so you can choose your own text. You can change whatever product you want inside the video. And of course, change the text around, change the speaker, write whatever text you want her to say or him to say. And you have a timeline right here where you can completely edit the video. And of course, once you submit it, you can actually watch it in action. Okay, like this one right here, I created it. I didn't show the product, but I created a quick video AI copy for an electric garlic masher tool. So I just entered the text right here and click on play. And I just think that that's simply amazing. Again, I'm not gonna get too much into it. You can have AI create a video for your product if you don't wanna create one yourself, or if you don't, of course, wanna use the video that you got from your supplier, which usually isn't good enough, and other dropshippers are already using that method. Then we've got pay-per-click ads, and I've got a full ebook on how to run ads on Facebook. We also have the same for TikTok. Everything is in our resources section on the AutoDS website. But again, this is absolutely for free. Just click on unlock your ebook, write your name and your email address, and that PDF will be yours to download with all of the sections, basics, how to set up your account, your Facebook ads account, installing the pixel, audience research, targeting, creating the video ads, setting your campaign goals and ad sets, launching your ads, analyzing and optimizing everything absolutely for free in an ebook. We've got Facebook right here. We've also got it on TikTok. So everything that you need on how to run pay-per-click ads so that you can show your ads in front of your audience today and start getting them to purchase those products. You can run ads on Google, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, and YouTube. Those are the best places to run ads on today to actually get effective results. And we've also got influencer marketing. Again, I've got a link to it in the cheat sheet. Guys, if you fast forward to this section of the video, I have this cheat sheet up for grabs with all of the links, all of the resources that I'm talking about. Just drop a comment below, hashtag dropshipping2024. Let me know what you learned in this video. What is your top takeaway? And of course, do proceed to like and subscribe to our channel if you appreciate the value. I will send you this cheat sheet with everything inside. So influencer marketing is another 
great way to get people to see your products. So you're hiring influencers to create shout outs for your product. And with this article and video on influencer marketing platforms that can hook you up with the right influencers that have a, an audience following or that's relevant to the product that you're selling, this way you'll be able to narrow down to the right influencers to negotiate a price with them, get them to create a shout out for your product, maybe even send them the product, have them do a quick review on it, and they're gonna get you a lot of traffic to your stores. This is the newer way of marketing. It's newer than email marketing. It's newer than pay-per-click ads. It's as new as AI-generated videos, a little bit older, but these are the top two new methods of marketing that's really making a killing today for other sellers. Now, here are some of the marketing tools that we have that are selling channel-specific marketing. For example, on eBay, we've got also PPC ads that we can run. I've got content on that on how to run effective pay-per-click ads for eBay, a video and an article. So all the information that you need is right there. And I showed you my campaigns that I ran and I showed you also the results, my keywords, how many sales and so forth and how to start this from A to Z. But of course, pay-per-click ads require a starting budget because you need to give a daily budget, $5 per day, $10 per day, so that your ads will start running and you may or may not get sales right from the start. Whereas in other methods like eBay promoted listing standard, here, eBay will promote your products and you won't have to pay a dime for it until only after you make a sale from those products. Now, there are more ways to market. You can also create coupons, volume pricing, and run sales events. All of these methods do not cost you any money except for the advanced promoted listings, which is pay-per-click. So you can start with this, start to make your sales and profit. And once you start to make those profits, invest it also into pay-per-click if you don't have the budget to, for it right from the start. That's the right way to market on eBay. Next, for Facebook Marketplace, you can run Facebook promotions and you can also promote your products in buy and sell groups that are relevant to your product. Of course, I've got the link right here to show you exactly how you can do those things. TikTok, how to use TikTok marketing to promote your products so that you can create videos that look like this and other conventional methods that are working really well today on TikTok being the new social media kit on the block. So again, a full blog article on how you can do that inside the cheat sheet. For Etsy, you can run sales and discounts, pay-per-click ads, and also run offsite ads. All of these methods worked. I showed you on my Etsy account, on my Etsy store, how I also got sales from offsite ads. And for Amazon, we've got sponsored ads, or in other words, pay-per-click. So Amazon also has that going on. And additional marketing resources like marketing strategies without using Facebook or Instagram and upselling strategies for Shopify. This again has all of the information that you need to market your products the right way, no matter what selling channel you are using using everything is covered here with the top newest and freshest methods for 2024. Now, after you marketed your products correctly, it's inevitable now you're gonna finally start making your sales. And this is where order automation comes in. Now, of course, you can do it the manual method. So you get a sale, all right, cool. You go to your AutoDS account and you can just check out this screenshot right here, or I'll actually show you what the real deal looks like. So I'll just go to the order screen and here you can see your dropshipping orders. Now, one way to do it is simply going to your supplier's website. You got the supplier link right here under, under item ID. It'll take you to that product page and all you have to do is check out on your supplier's website and ship it to your end customer. You've got the buyer's details also right here on AutoDS or you can just go to the selling channel if you're doing everything manually and process each and every order. But once you make it to five orders per day, 10 orders per day and so forth, it's good news. But if you haven't automated your business yet, do it now because you do not want to spend all day processing orders. You do not want to spend all day adding products and you do not want to spend all day on manual product research. This is going to consume all of your time and you won't really be able to automate, grow and scale. And if you want to make it to the big numbers, you're going to have to start implementing these strategies. So again, there's the manual way to do it. Just go to your supplier's website, purchase the product, ship it to your end customer, or you can hook up with Fulfilled by AutoDS or Automatic Orders. Automatic Orders uses your buyer accounts and Fulfilled by AutoDS uses AutoDS's buyer accounts. But either way, the orders are being processed as soon as they come in, even while you're outside, when you're not sitting in front of your computer, while you're dreaming at night, while you're traveling with your family or spending time with your loved ones, everything is being automated for you in the background. So as soon as an order comes in, it'll get processed and sent out to your customer with automatic tracking number updates. Of course, all of this information is being shared with you. You can just click on automatic orders or fulfilled by AutoDS and learn more about that. All of the links, of course, are inside the cheat sheet. But this is what it's going to look like. You're going to get an order on your orders page and it's going to start off in pending status just like this one right here okay and from pending status if you have automatic orders it's going to get sent to auto order automatically and then it'll be in the ordered status once it was ordered with the buy order id from your supplier 
and once it's shipped, it's gonna switch to shipped status with the tracking number and with that shipping carrier. Once it's delivered, it'll move over to delivered and that is pretty much all there is to it. Get order automation, start automating your business and this is gonna make everything a whole lot better, allowing you to grow your dropshipping empire and not just getting stuck with a small store with no ability to scale. Guys, from this point on, you learned about product research, you learned about dropshipping suppliers, you learned about the best selling channels, you learned about the best marketing methods, we learned about how to automate our orders and so many more tips that I added in between while also showing my dropshipping stores from different selling channels. As I mentioned, I've been doing this for a long time now and I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon. Dropshipping is growing year by year and the best thing to do is to jump in now and take action. Get this cheat sheet again, hashtag dropshipping2024. Leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you learned, what you loved about this video and I will share this cheat sheet with you. And again, guys, like and subscribe. We appreciate it and we'll have much more valuable content just like this to help you understand how to start, run, and manage a successful money-making machine. I've helped tens of thousands of other dropshippers make money with their business, whether they're at the beginning of their dropshipping business or if they're in the middle and struggling to make more sales. And from here, once you start making your sales, provide great customer service to your buyers. I believe that this is one of the main things that helped me sustain and continue building my businesses for over seven years now. And these online assets are some of the best things that you can have because at the beginning, it does require a lot of work, but in time, it's going to start working for you passively and automatically, especially once you've got automation in, and then you can continue opening more stores and having a network of online assets working for you in the background. Provide excellent customer service so that you can get repeat customers to your store. Check your messages every day from your customers. If there are any open returns or cases, take care of them right away. Do not argue with your customers. Don't make them mad for choosing to purchase from you. Those return customers or the ones that refer their friends and their family to purchase from you are simply a gold mine. And we want to reach as many customers as we can with that. And with great customer service, that's exactly what we're going to get. Now, there are many more things that I didn't talk about, like the AutoDS wallet section that combines all of your finances in one place. And what this does is it simply connects to your Payoneer account so that you can withdraw funds from Payoneer to the AutoDS balance and fulfill your orders from that. So it makes it much easier. So this way I get paid through Payoneer and I also pay my suppliers through Payoneer. And this way, all of my finances are being done from one place. And of course you can connect multiple accounts. Like I've got $413 right here. I can see all of my history log right here and I can open up the second one and you can connect again as many accounts as you want. So I've got more money here, more transactions here and more things happening. And of course you've got the Academy, which is absolutely free. And in the Academy, you have so much more information on top of everything that I added onto this video, like all of the free courses, eBay, Shopify, Facebook, Amazon, Etsy, and more, as well as selling channel specific courses and selling channel specific videos like eBay, Shopify, Facebook marketplace, general videos, technical for the platform on how to use AutoDS, product finding on the best products to sell, everything that you can watch from within the AutoDS system. And again, this is just some of the stuff that's waiting for you inside this great and wonderful automation platform. How can thousands of young entrepreneurs go from zero to making millions of dollars online? Despite what you may think, it's not because they're super smart or anything like that. They all took advantage of a simple idea. They built a business that does not rely on their time. Once it was built, their business started making money for them and they continued scaling their success. And as of 2024, Shopify dropshipping is the best business model that requires no upfront investment. So in this video, you're going to learn everything there is to know on how to dropship profitably in 2024 so that you can make your first $10,000 selling online and scale it from there. And if you're wondering, why am I doing all this for free? It's because I know that if you're going to make money from this, you're more likely to use AutoDS and the more money you make, the more we make. It's a win-win formula that simply works. So let's start with the first step of making your first 10K, finding a winning product to sell. Now, product research is probably one of the most important parts when starting your dropshipping business. And that's simply because if we're not selling the right product, then, well, no one's gonna buy it and we're not gonna be making any sales. So it won't really matter how much time and effort we put into building a really good looking store. It's not gonna make any sales if we're not selling the right products. So with tens of millions of products that we can resell, how do we know exactly what products are actually going to sell? Here is everything I consider when finding my winning products. First of all, it needs to have some wow factor or solve a problem. So either it's a problem solving product, for example, a neck massager solves the problem of feeling pain around 
to your neck area, or it needs to have a wow factor like some cool electronic walking dinosaur toy that you haven't seen before, and that will also do the work. The second criteria of finding a good dropshipping product to sell is to make sure that it's actually in demand. And one of the ways to do that is to use Google Trends. And I'm gonna open it using this link here. You can also just type Google Trends on Google search. But as you can see right here, I created a cheat sheet for you that you can use with all of the tools and links that I'm going over in this video. And soon I'll tell you what you need to do in order to get access to this cheat sheet. But remember to stay until the end of this video so that you'll have a full explanation of how to take every step the right way. After watching this video, get access to this cheat sheet and start following it step by step after this video explanation. So how do we check if a product is in demand using Google Trends? We're simply going to search for that product. Now I'm going to show you how to find these products, but here's a quick example. Let's say you did some research and you found that cat caves are selling pretty well. So you want to see if there's any trend for this. So I search for cat cave and I'm going to make it in the past five years and worldwide. I want to see if the world is interested in this product. And here we can see that there is an upwards trend for cat cave. So this is one of the ways to validate that it is a product that's actually in demand. We also want to make sure that the products sell for over $30. This is simply because really cheap price products have a harder competition and they're simply not going to be so profitable because of their low price point. Next, we want to make sure that these products are evergreen. So we don't want to start with seasonal products on our first stores with our first products. For example, if you know that Christmas is coming up or winter or summer is coming up, you don't want to base your store around that because after the season is over, your store is going to stop selling. Now, this doesn't mean that selling season products are not good. It's actually very good to mix that in because you're going to get a huge spike of sales once that season starts. However, in the beginning, we want to make sure that we're making consistent sales all throughout the year and the way to do that is by selling evergreen products those that sell all year long and are not conditioned on certain seasons and we're also going to be starting by creating a general store this means that we're not going to narrow down on one product or a specific niche so that we can broadly test the market see which products are selling and then start to narrow down on them now keep this in mind there is no such thing as product saturation product saturation only applies to the way a product is sold in other words you can sell the same product that other sellers are selling with a better marketing angle with a better way to advertise this product to your buyers and you will make those sales now i've got two examples to show this to you inside the cheat sheet here we've got a link to two facebook ads advertising the same product so here's the first ad copy for this retractable car charger product. Here is the second ad copy. And as we can see, the first one got 5,500 engagements, about 600 comments, 1,800 shares. So pretty popular, it went pretty viral. But the second ad copy got 23,000 engagements, 1.7K comments, and almost 3,000 shares. So this one worked a lot better. Let's try to see and understand why that happened because they both have a different marketing angle for this video. Here is the first one, let's click play so I can see someone putting it in their car taking out the cable then I see other cables that they're grabbing then I see them unboxing the product and then connecting it to the phone so I had a whole bunch of information thrown in my face the structure wasn't really well if I move over to the second ad copy let's start this one from the beginning so we can see the product we can see the cable being pulled out and then back in again so that simply shows the product in action we don't see any unboxing we don't see the normal cables that the person had we simply see the product in action exactly what it does and this of course is a problem solving product the problem here is having cables all around your car and of course that is not convenient it's not practical and this product solves that problem problem by simply having the cable inside the product and that is simply what it does cable organization inside your car we all have cables in our cars and we do not like to see the wire sticking out everywhere so this video here is the winner this is the one that the audience resonated with because it simply wasn't as messy as this one that got only 5,500 likes which is still successful this seller still made sales but this does come to show you that a better marketing angle will attract your audiences more but you can still sell the same products as other sellers and saturation will not exist unless your ad copy is exactly the same as others and you're not coming with a better angle so those are the important things that you want to keep in mind 
And here are my favorite product research methods in 2024, starting with the AutoDS Winning Products Hub. So if you're an AutoDS member, you can get access to this Winning Products Hub. And if you're not a member, you can either sign up. It's the best $1 investment trial that you're ever going to spend. And if not, just stay with me because I'm going to show you some other methods soon. But let me show you exactly how this works. So here on AutoDS on the left side, I'm going to click on Winning Products. And here I can see a whole bunch of products that are trending right now that are selling really well for other sellers. For example, let's click on this cat toy ball right here. And once I click on it, I'll get more information inside, including what other variations we can sell here, where it's being shipped from. You've got the shipping time here in which, don't worry, we also source your products and we find faster suppliers with cheaper prices using our product sourcing feature. And we can see here that it's being sold for $31. It's being sourced for around five or $6, leaving you the seller with a potential profit of $25 per order. And here we can see an example of the ad copy that another seller is using to sell this product. Here we can see their website and audience targeting tips so that you can target the right audiences when you're going to market these products. So this winning products hub is giving away all of these trending products that are selling really well right now. Let's take a look at another example. Check out this inflatable air travel pillow right here. So again, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to get more product information. For example, this one is going to leave you with a profit of about $40 per order. And we can see the seller's ad copy right here or TikTok posts in this case. You can see that he got almost 50,000 likes just for this TikTok post. And here we can see again the seller's website. You also have a link to their website so you can click on the link, go to their website and see how they're advertising this product. And the best part out of all of this is that you can easily add these products to your stores by simply clicking on this import draft button right here. It's that easy to find winning products, add them to your stores and start selling them in seconds. I'm going to show you how to do all of that soon, including how to create your store and everything else. But let's continue with the product research methods. The second is the TikTok ad spy. So just like how we have winning products in AutoTS, we also have the TikTok ad spy. And here we can spy on other TikTok posts, other TikTok videos, other TikTok ads that are trending for other sellers right now. Let's take a look inside the system and see what it looks like. So this is the TikTok ad spy. And here I can filter things like I want to see posts that got over 20,000 likes and that have a call to action button of let's say shop now because I only want the posts that are actually trying to sell a product. And here as I scroll through, I can see a bunch of trending videos with winning products that people are selling on their stores right now. And I'm getting more information on the screen, for example, how much likes they have, the comments, the shares, and the text that they used in this copy. Here I can click on shop now on their call to action to get more post information, including their interactions, the interaction rate, when the ad was first and last seen, the video duration, the country, and so forth. I can also click on see original post to actually see this post on TikTok, but this is another way of finding trending products to sell. So from here, you're getting the the ad copy, you're getting the seller's website, and the only thing that you'll need to do is find the supplier who's selling these products, all of which I will get to soon. But if you're using the winning products hub, you can simply import it to your store. We're already going to connect you with a supplier and it's going to make your job much easier. So TikTok ad spy is another way of finding trending products to sell. Next is using the AliExpress dropshipping center. Many beginner dropshippers like to use AliExpress as their go-to supplier when starting their businesses. And while it's not a really bad idea, AliExpress does have some really long shipping times. And today, customers do not want to wait more than a week to get their products. That's going to be really difficult with AliExpress. So you can use them for getting trending product ideas. I'm going to get to all of that in this video. But here is the new and improved AliExpress dropshipping center. We can find products to sell and we can also do a product analysis to see how well a certain product is selling. And here, as I scroll through, I've got some recommended products. I've got some winning products and I can go to a specific category. For example, I can click on jewelry and accessories and see what types of jewelry is trending right now. We can see the number of times the units have been sold, the reviews that they got and so forth. Now, we've also got a full blog article on how you can take advantage of the AliExpress dropshipping center, of course, which will be linked inside the cheat sheet. So this is a good free product research method to use. My next favorite method of finding winning products to sell is simply by going to my suppliers websites and checking out what's 
trending on their platform. So it's similar to AliExpress's dropshipping center, only here you're just entering product categories and see what's selling well. For example, you can start with Amazon's bestsellers page, only here you do need to understand what products you can sell and what products you cannot resell. However, we are just going to use it as a place to get resources, insights, information on what products are selling well. I also like their movers and shakers, which shows you the biggest gainers in the last 24 hours. So this shows you products that are trending right now. For example, this Trell camera here looks pretty cool, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to sell this product and it's actually going to make me sales. So I can search for Trell cameras on Amazon and see how the whole category, the whole niche is actually selling. And one of the things that I like is that Amazon recently added this thing where you can see how many times a unit was sold in the last month. So here we can see that this Trell camera sold over 1000 units in the last month. So as this one over here, this one here sold over 4,000 units in the last month. This one over a thousand, a thousand, five hundred and so forth. So with all of these people buying trail cameras in the last month, I can definitely get the idea here that there is a high trend for this winning niche right here. So that is another product research method that I love to use to find winning products to sell. The next is simply by searching social media platforms for popular hashtags and trends. For example, you can go to TikTok and search for hashtags like gadgets, Amazon finds, and TikTok made me buy it. Let's see a quick example. So let's go to TikTok and search for hashtag gadgets. And here I can see a whole bunch of gadgets that people are trying to sell. Like this one right here, it's the same product with even the same exact video sold by two different people. And you can see that this one got 3.3 million views, this one got 2.1 million views. So something is pretty interesting about this product. Not even sure exactly what it is, but as long as people are looking to buy it, I'm definitely in the market to sell. And here we can see other products, more and more products. And if we click on one of these products, we can go to the link inside the bio to get to the seller's website and see exactly what their website looks like and how they're selling it. So here, for example, I clicked on this product that got over 2 million views. And you can see that this person knows what they're doing. They got another video here with 17 million views, 520,000 and so forth. And here I've got their website. So it's asiangadget.com. And again, I can enter that to see exactly what they are selling. And as you can see, they are dropshipping a whole bunch of different products right here. So this is a general store for all types of gadgets. Here we've got a heating mouse pad, a portable two-in-one pillow blanket, car motorcycle wheel reflector stickers, toilet seats, faucet adapters, and so forth. So this is a good example of a dropshipper that knows what to do, what products to sell, and they're doing a good job on TikTok posting organic videos to get free traffic to their stores and make sales with minimum marketing effort. Another method of finding winning products is simply by using AI tools like ChatGPT. I've got a link to a video that will show you how to do that by simply knowing what prompts to use, what commands to run to get insights on what products are trending right now. So after you did all of this product research and you found some winning products that you wanna sell on your stores, remember that we're all here to sell for a profit. Making a sale is nice, but we actually wanna profit doing so and in order to do that we need to price our products at least 2.5 to 3 times the source price. This is the only way that we can actually make a good profit on these orders and that is what the dropshipping business model will allow us to do. So sell at 2.5 to 3 times the source price or at least a $20 minimum margin. Now before I move on to the next section, I've also included a product research dropshipping spreadsheet that will help you narrow down your winning products. So once you start doing your product research, add all of the products that you're finding to this spreadsheet. For example, the product's title, the source link where you found it from, and then answer these questions like, are you even passionate about this product? Do you understand it? Do you like it? Is it hard to find in stores? Is it hard to guess the price? Is it safe to sell? Does it solve a problem or have a wow factor? Does it sell for over $30 and so forth? If you answer yes to all of these questions and in other products you answered no, go to the ones where you answered yes to all of them. Those will have a much higher chance to sell on your stores. And that way you can narrow down 50 products to 20 or to 15 and start selling on your online store with narrowed down proven winning products that passed your product research validation that these products are going to sell well on our stores. Now remember that the best part about this is that we can keep testing products. That's what I love about the dropshipping business model. We can sell products on our online stores without holding any stock, without putting any money into inventory. Once a product sells, we'll forward the details to our supplier 
who will then ship the product directly to the end customer. We don't have any physical contact with the product. And now I'm going to build my Shopify store so that you can learn how to do it and show you how to market these products so that you can actually build your store and make your first few sales right after watching this video. Now, if you want access to this Shopify dropshipping cheat sheet with everything that I'm going over and more than I'm going to also throw it into this video, just comment hashtag Shopify 2024. Let me know in the comments below what was your top takeaway from this video? What did you learn? And I will send you the link to this cheat sheet. Now let's move on to the second step after we're done with product research. Now it's actually time to create our Shopify stores. So I use the AutoDS winning products hub to find this winning product right here, this wireless thermal printer. Now don't be afraid by the high ticket price, $350. You don't need to start with high ticket prices. As I mentioned, any product that will be sold for over $30 is fine, but I'm going to start with a high ticket because this one is super profitable. Let me show you the stats. So this wireless thermal printer has a wow factor and it also comes to solve a problem. First of all, wow, I can get a thermal printer that can actually print tattoos, of course, temporary tattoos that I can actually use or sell to other people. And second, it's a problem solving product because now I don't need to go to the store to buy temporary tattoos that come in designs that were already generated for me. Here I can generate my own ideas, my own designs and turn them into tattoos. So this website is for tattoo supplies. That's the main niche. So he's got all kinds of tattoo supplies, medical supplies, piercing supplies, and so forth. That is what this seller is going for. And as we can see, he's selling this wireless printer for $350. I can scroll through the product page. We can see this whole black and white theme. Didn't put too much work into the product page. And that is fine. You don't really need to. Just make sure that everything is in the right place and everything has a simple, clean look. So this is the product that I'm going to go for. I can see that he's sourcing this product for just $134.36 on AliExpress. Press, and that is the same exact wireless tattoo printer. And here I'm going to do a better job than this seller. That is how we're going to differentiate ourselves from the competition and have a higher chance of selling these products and make more profit than what these sellers are already making. And here is how we're going to do it. So if he's buying it for $134 and selling it for $350, let's see how much profit potential that leaves the seller. So $350 minus $135, I'm just going to round it up to there that's $215 profit per order. Now that doesn't include selling channel fees. Like when you're selling on Shopify, your fees are going to be around 12%, maybe 15%, depending on where you're selling from and where you're selling to. But even if you take that into consideration, that's a lot of profit to make. But how do you know exactly how many units this seller is selling every month? One indication is by checking out their ad copy. So of course, you've got this information on the AutoDS winning products hub, but I want to show it to you face to face. So you can see the ad copy right here. It got over 9,300 likes, 2,800 comments, 2,000 800 shares with a pretty simple ad copy so you can see the video of you know the tattoo being placed on someone's arm and you can see how the wireless tattoo printer works so you choose a design from your mobile phone and the wireless printer will print that design the ad copy here is pretty simple you can do a much better job but this one says thermal printer also works for printing stencil tattoo worth it now here is where i would use chat gpt to create a much better ad copy for this product even though we're not in the marketing section yet i can still copy the title of this product and ask chat gpt create an engaging ad copy for this product paste the product's title and here we can get a much better copy to use for this product now in this case chat gpt made it pretty long so of course i can tell them to make it shorter for a facebook ad copy but this line right here unleash your creativity with the ultimate portable thermal tattoo printer will already do a much better job and will look much better than what the seller did here and you really don't need all of these hashtags into your ad copy it's not really going to get you much results so there is always something that you can learn on how you can do a better job. But like I mentioned, if you're selling the right product that's in demand, that shows the product in action, that shows what problem it helps you solve or has a wow factor, it's still going to be successful. And that is more than enough to get started. So out of over 9,000 likes, almost 3,000 comments and so many shares, you can be sure that a lot of people are clicking on the ad copy to get to the seller's website, which looks again like this. Then I can use extensions like SimilarWeb to understand exactly how much traffic this seller is bringing in every month to his store. So we can see right here 
that the visitors are increasing every month. So this seller is able to put in the work and get the results. And we can see the monthly visits right here about 11.9K. So let's round that up to 12,000. And we can also see where most of the traffic is coming from. So what are the top five countries that are visiting this website as well as the traffic sources? So what's actually bringing traffic to this website? And we can see here that 50% is coming from searches. So someone is searching on Google for something and they will find this website. You can do that if you have a blog page. We're going to go over that soon. And you can also see referrals. So this can be another person sending a referral to this website or from the ad copy and others. So we have things referring to this website and that's bringing half of the traffic. So anyway, out of 12,000 monthly visits, we know that the industry average of sales conversion rates is about 2.5% of your visits. So if this website is making 12,000, or let's keep it exactly at the number, 11,900 visits per month. So 2.5% out of that is 298. So let's round that up to 300, 300 sales per month. And we know that the seller is making, what was the number? 350 minus 135 is about $115. So $350 minus 134 is about $215. So 215 times 300 sales per month equals a total profit of $64,000 in profit after one month of selling this successful product. That is a lot of profit to make off of just one product. And you can be sure that this seller is making that much by the amount of visits that he's getting and a 2.5 sales conversion rate, which again is the industry average. This is what people are making, especially when their products are going viral, they're making these sales and that is the profit that they're making. And that is a perfect example of what I've been doing in the last seven years and what I want you to do after watching this video. So we found our winning product. Now let's go ahead and create our Shopify store around that. The first thing that we wanna do is, well, sign up for Shopify. So if you do not have an account yet, use this sign up link inside the Shopify cheat sheet so that you'll get your free Shopify trial. And the reason that we want to start with a free trial is so that we can have time to build our stores before we'll have to pay any money to Shopify. And after the free trial, we're also going to get three months for just $1. So that's going to give us plenty of time to get our stores ready before we start making sales and before we have any expenses. So again, use the sign up link inside the cheat sheet. You'll land on a page that looks like this. And here, as you can see, you'll get Shopify for three days with no credit card required. After that, just three months for $1. That's the best deal Shopify has had in a while. And you'll only get it by using this link. Now, it is an affiliate link that we have with them, but it will give you the upper advantage of being able to have enough time to build your store before launching your product. So we're just going to enter our email addresses right here, start our free trial. Then in the next screen, we're going to get a series of questions. We can go ahead and click on skip all because we can get to all of that later. Choose your country where you're located, click on next. And that is pretty much all there is to it. In a couple of minutes, Shopify is going to create your account and get you to your Shopify dashboard. And here is our Shopify dashboard. Congratulations, you've registered your first store and you're already ahead of 99% of the people who ever dreamed of having their own online business. So now we started our three day trial and we can turn that into the next plan for three months at just $1 a month by choosing our plan right now. But you can go ahead and do that now if you wish to do so. So I'm gonna run through this really quick. And now that I filled in all the information, I can see that I'm going to get three months for a dollar plus my three free days. I'm going to click on subscribe and that's pretty much all there is to it. So back to the dashboard. The first option that we'll have is to customize our theme, but we don't need to do that just yet. The first thing that we want to do after registering our store is changing our store currency to USD. So depending on where you're selling from, you're going to have a different store currency. So what I'm going to do is click on settings here on the left menu at the bottom, and I've got my store currency right here. I'm going to change that to US dollars. Then I'm going to click on save. The next step is to purchase a domain. Now you can do this through Shopify and it's better to do it this way because then the connection will be seamless and automatic. Now, if you're not sure exactly what to name your website yet, you can skip this step and come back to it later. But getting a domain is pretty simple. We're going to click on domains right here. Now, right now we've got this temporary store name 012.myshopify.com. 
But of course, we're going to want to have our own domain name. So www.mystorename.com. So we're going to choose buy new domain. And in order to come up with a good name for our business, we can use free tools like this business name generator. So here, for example, we can give it a simple idea of what type of store we want to create. So since I know it's going to be a general store, I just want to have like a good general name, best deals or best deals online, then I'm gonna click on generate business name. Now it's gonna give me a whole bunch of names that I can use for my business. Not only that, it's also gonna do a domain name lookup for me. So I can see exactly what types of names I can actually connect to domains and connect that to Shopify. So here, for example, I can see Dapper Deals, Fabulous Finds, Trendy Threads, Fashion Frenzy, Elegant Elegance, and all of these types of business names. Now I can click on one of them, like for example, let's go with Dashing Discounts, and here I can see that I've got domains like dashingdiscounts.co, .store, .io. .com is not available here, but I can make an offer, but we're not going to do that. And as I scroll down, I can also get some nice logo ideas that I can have with these names. Now I can create these logos. I'm not going to use this tool because it costs money. I will show you guys how you can create free logos for your websites. And that is why I like to use free tools like Business Name Generator to get a nice name for our stores. So let's take a look at another example like this one right here stunningcell.com so that's a pretty cool name and i do have the dot com here you see how it says register so here i can go to shopify and write stunning cell or stunning cells cells is not available maybe just sell is available so we can see that stunningcell.com is available for 15 dollars a year so what we're going to do is we're going to click on buy domain and that's pretty much all there is to it we're going to click on buy domain here and our website will be connected to stunningcell.com. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I've successfully registered my domain after I got help from Business Name Generator to find a nice name for my store. And now it's connected to my Shopify website. And now Shopify is asking me to verify my email, which I already did. So in a few minutes, we shouldn't see this message anymore. And as we can see right here, stunningcell.com right now is impending. So it's going to be activated soon. And we can see right here that under my store, I have stunningcell.com. So my domain has been successfully registered as we can see right here at a custom domain and the next step before we add our winning product is to connect our shopify stores to AutoDS using the AutoDS shopify app so we have a link to it inside the cheat sheet again if you want access to it just comment hashtag shopify 2024 in the comments below let me know what is your top takeaway from this video of course do not forget to like share and subscribe if you appreciate the value that you're getting here but as long as you succeed with your store i'm totally happy about that so again we can connect to the AutoDS shopify app by clicking on the link inside the cheat sheet or simply on the Shopify dashboard, I'm going to click on add apps and I'm going to click on find more apps in the Shopify app store. And here I'm simply going to search for auto DS. So here it is right here. I'm going to click on it. Then I'll click on install. Here's the connection process. So I'm going to go ahead and click on install app. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Welcome to auto DS store added successfully, as we can see right here in our Shopify dashboard. And here on the left side, I can see auto DS under my apps. And now that we have that ready, we can easily import our product to our store and get all of the automation working. Now, besides the advantage of being able to go to the winning products and click on import draft so that we can import this wireless thermal printer and make more profits than this proven seller, we're also going to get more things like price and stock monitoring. So if the price or the stock level changes on the supplier's websites, the same changes will be made on our websites. So we do not have to worry about the product going out of stock or if the supplier suddenly increases or decreases the prices it'll also change on our websites accordingly. We can quickly import the products just as I showed you by clicking on the import draft button from the winning products. Or let's say you're not using the winning products. You can simply hover over the products URL, click on copy, then go to the AutoDS platform, click on add products, single product. We can also upload multiple products by just adding one ID here, another here, another here. And there are more ways of doing it. I'm not going to get into all of the import methods here, but I can simply go to single product, add the URL right here and publish it to store or edit now in our drafts page so that we can optimize it before having it go live. So that's another way to do it. doesn't matter which method you choose, as long as we're going to get all of the automation by adding it through AutoDS. So price and stock monitoring, quick product importing, which as you can see, it got imported to my store in less than two seconds after clicking the button with all of the product information inside. I can also automate my orders and so much more. So I'm going to get to all of that soon, but we can see the product right here on our drafts page. We can see that the store name right here is stunning sell. And if I go back to it and I click on domains, we can see that it is now officially registered. So I'm going to click on domains and you can see right here that it's not pending anymore. It's now actually connected to my Shopify store. And if I go to stunningsell.com, I've got this 
this nice little opening soon. Be the first to know when we launch and email address. So that's pretty cool. Nice little landing page, even though I haven't started working on my store yet, but I can see that the domain name works. It's connected to my Shopify store and I can go ahead and get started making a nice looking store for this product. So now that our product is in our drafts page, we can completely optimize it and make it look good through AutoDS before we publish it on our Shopify stores. But before that, if you're still not sure which dropshipping supplier to use and you're not using, for example, the winning products platform to quickly import the products to your stores, then go to step four inside the cheat sheet. And here you'll see find a dropshipping supplier. This will help you find a good supplier to use for your business. And when you're dropshipping on Shopify, you can dropship from anywhere to anywhere. This means that you can handle your business no matter where you live around the world and you can sell to any target audience, any market around the world. For example, you can live in Australia and sell to the US market, for example. The thing is, when looking for a dropshipping supplier, you want to look for a supplier that ships quickly to your domestic audience. So if you're mainly trying to target the United States, you want to look for a supplier inside the US, or if you still want to drop ship from China, you can still do so, but find a quick agent or source a fast supplier from China that can ship really quickly within a week to the United States. So where can you find a good dropshipping supplier to work with? For one, if you're using AutoDS, you've got the AutoDS marketplace, and this is full of private retail and wholesale dropshipping suppliers. So this is your first go-to if you're using AutoDS, you have access to the marketplace. And here you can find tons and tons of products that you can resell. And of course you have the quick import draft button to quickly import these products to your stores. And as you can see, you have some fast shipping times like two business days and three business days for some of these products. And I've got the smart filter system up here. So I can say, I wanna look for all the products that can ship to the United States that ship from the United States because I wanna ship quickly. And under supplier, I I can use retail suppliers like AliExpress and Amazon, or I can use AutoDS suppliers, which is full of those private suppliers that I talked about. And one of the best things about this is that some of these suppliers come with customizable branding, as you can see right here. So this means that we can ship out this product with your store logo on it. This means that you're getting customized branding, even if you're drop shipping. Now, most suppliers will not allow to brand your products. And that simply is because if you're only going to ship out one order each time, it's not really cost effective for the supplier to create your brand logo on just one order. Most of them will require a minimum order quantity. And then that means that we're not dropshipping anymore if we have to purchase our inventory in advance. So again, I'm going to choose AutoDS suppliers. And here I have a whole bunch of private suppliers that I can work with, some also being the AutoDS warehouse. So we also have our own warehouse with the most trending products in them. And of course, you've got the customizable branding feature here too. So this means that you can simply go to your store settings, scroll down to upload your logo. For example, here I've got my AutoDS logo. And this means that every time I I sell a product with customizable branding, it's gonna ship out with my logo on it, which is great. I've got the branding effect and customers will remember my brand and come back to purchase more. And one other great thing that I love about working with private suppliers, not only the fact that you're gonna have access to unique products that most other dropshippers simply do not have, you also have an option to contact these suppliers and message them one-on-one. -on -one. For example, let's open up this cat scratcher bed right here. So inside, of course, we've got all the product details and the different types of variations that we can sell. This one ships from the United United States and from China, and it ships within two to four business days with free shipping to the United States. So that's absolutely amazing. And I can click on message this supplier. So this will open up a chat between me and the supplier. And I can say, hey, how are you doing? I'd like to drop ship your products. Do you have a list of trending products to sell? And what are your best prices? Right, so I'm gonna send this message and here you can start negotiating with these suppliers, have a one-on-one -on -one chat with them, get to know them, get better products, get better deals. And that is why my first go-to for finding a dropshipping supplier is to use the AutoDS Marketplace. The next supplier that many dropshippers love to start with and I've mentioned this in this video is AliExpress. Now do take into consideration the shipping times that I talked about. So make sure that your products can ship out quickly to your domestic audience and also make sure that these are actually good sellers on AliExpress because AliExpress is another retail marketplace where other sellers or other Chinese dropshippers are there dropshipping products to you from the actual stores. So that means that there's a whole bunch of sellers on AliExpress and we want to be able to filter the best ones for our business so that no mistakes will be made. We'll ship out our products quickly. So some things that we want to look out for here 
is to make sure that the sellers have a lot of followers, over a thousand is great, and a 95% positive feedback and above. For example, this cat toy ball that I showed earlier from our winning products hub, we can see the seller who sold it over 200 times. And if I hover over his store right here, we can see that he's got above average rating. So we're looking for 4.6 and above and also make sure that they've been on the platform for at least one year so we'll know that they're not new sellers that don't have too much experience. Then we can see up here that they've got almost 99% positive feedback and over 2,000 followers. So this seller fits the criteria of a seller that we would want to work with if we want to use AliExpress as our supplier. And the next thing that we want to do is message these suppliers just like you can do so on the AutoDeals Marketplace. So you've got the message button right here. You want to open up a chat with the supplier and create a similar message like the one I just showed you on auto ds hello i'm a drop shipper i'm looking to sell your products can you send me a list of some winning products that are working well for you as well as what are my best prices and discounts and here you can solve a few problems one the language barrier that we usually have when working with chinese suppliers so do they speak english well do they reply quickly to our messages and these two things of course are very important you can also ask them what are their return policies how fast they can ship if they have faster shipping options and so forth so message your suppliers get to know them do your background checks on them before you select a seller in aliexpress the next go-to supplier is using any one of AutoDS's 30 plus dropshipping suppliers. So I'm not talking about the marketplace right now. You can use any of the suppliers that you can see right here. So we've got over 30 of them, including Banggood, CJ Dropshipping, Walmart, Etsy, eBay, Overstock, Shane, DHgate, Timu, which is one of my recent favorites. And the reason behind that is because they offer free 90 day returns for any one of your products. Shipping is free on all of the products. And this is what's known as the next AliExpress killer. So they're looking to make their mark. They've got lots of trending products, lots of reviews, and they've also got a price matching guarantee. Meaning if you purchase a product in the next 30 days, if the price drops on a product that you bought, Timu will refund the difference to you. So we've got price adjustment, free 90 day returns, free shipping on all orders. And by using any one of these 30 dropshipping suppliers supported by AutoDS, you're gonna get a full business automation that comes with that when it comes to importing your products, price and stock monitoring, automatic orders, and other automation features. And these suppliers will give you access to tens of millions of products that you can resell. And my least favorite method is using 3PL or third-party logistics. And the reason I don't like that is because it kind of takes you out of the dropshipping business model. Third-party warehouses or third-party suppliers will require you to work with them on a minimum order quantity. So if you want to sell a product, they're going to want you to purchase 50, 100 units in advance, like Alibaba, for example. Even though Alibaba also has ready to ship products, most of them are manufacturers who will want a minimum order quantity. So that means that we can't really drop ship from them, but they will offer us better prices because we're buying them in bulk. But again, not recommended for beginners and definitely not recommended if we're looking to drop ship, which is the much better business model with a low risk and a very high reward once we find the right products to sell and market them the right way. So that is more than enough suppliers that you can work with to get you access to more than enough products that you can sell. On top of that, I also added some more resources inside the cheat sheet if you wanna learn a little bit more about suppliers and what other suppliers you can work with, including the top 17 Shopify dropshipping suppliers, top 15 fast dropshipping suppliers, and 25 plus best USA dropshipping suppliers. All of that content inside, not gonna get into it now. You all have it in the cheat sheet. Again, hashtag Shopify 2024. Let me know what you learned in this video. Video and I'll send you a copy to that. So after you found your supplier, whether it's from there, whether it's from the marketplace, you added it to your store using the quick product importing options that I showed you, and you'll have the product right here, ready for optimization before you go live. So here we can change things like the product's title, the collection that we want to add it to, the tags that was automated for us, but of course we can add more tags like electronics, consumer electronics, maybe wireless printers, and other tags that you can add now. So later on, when you'll have a whole bunch of products on your store, you can go to the products page and see all of the products that you have and filter the products by the tags so that you can see exactly how well each tag is performing instead of seeing all of the products all at once. And more things like country location, all the automation settings that we wanna have on, the products description, which we will want to optimize. So of course, we've got everything here that was moved from the suppliers page in this case here we've got the title and we've got the description on aliexpress so all of that moved 
to our product description and product title inside AutoDS. So we didn't have to do any of this manually. So this saves us a whole bunch of time, but we're still going to optimize this. And we've also got the variations right here. So all of the variations got uploaded, all the variations that we can see right here on AliExpress got imported also to our stores. We can see that they're all in stock. They've all been priced, even though we will be changing the prices. Our break even on Shopify is anywhere between 12 to 15%. I'll also leave you a link to Shopify selling fees inside the cheat sheet if you want to get to know that. But in any case, I showed you how to price your products. So we're going to do that soon. And we can see here all of the products images from AliExpress got imported, of course, to our product page on AutoDS. And we can play around with it. We can select other main images. We also have a professional image editor where we can add text, add watermarks, and add logos to our images. And we've got item specifications. So again, all of this was automated for us. All we had to do was click a button to import it from our supplier to our stores, all by using AutoDS. Now, one good way to optimize your product title and description is to do it using artificial intelligence it's the next best thing and it's helping us save so much time and creativity even though we're still going to mix in our own but again here we do not want to have the same titles and text as our suppliers and as our competitors so i'm going to use optimized title with artificial intelligence i can go for either the title the description or title and description i've got the type of tone that i can use the tone for the description and I'm just going to go ahead and click on AI rewrite. So right now it's rewriting my title in my description, making it better, making it unique and making it more sellable. OK, so that's pretty much all there is to it. I've got a new title right here. I've got a better description, as we can see right here. Professional thermal tattoo printer with Bluetooth connectivity. And here in the description, the portable thermal tattoo printer transfer machine is a professional device that allows you to easily create tattoo stencils and print line drawings and photos with its compact dimensions and so forth. So this already looks better than this title right here with random relevant keywords being thrown into the title, but the title doesn't have any type of logic into it. And of course, this description simply does not look good. They jump straight to dimensions. There are no explanations on what this product is. There is nothing that makes it sound good and sellable like the description that we've got right here. And all of this was done automatically using the AI rewrite tool for the titles and product descriptions. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on save. And that is all there is to it. I've got my title here and I've got my updated description here. Now, of course, we're still going to play around with it. We're still going to make it look better, but we already have a really good rough draft for what we need. So I'm going to go ahead now and click import to import it to my store so that you'll see what it looks like on my Shopify store. Now that I have my first product uploaded, the product has been imported to your store. OK, cool. So I can click on here to view the details. I can see that this professional thermal tattoo printer was imported to my stunning sales store on Shopify. So I'm going to go back to my Shopify store and here on the products page, I'm just going to go ahead and refresh that to see my product. And lo and behold, here it is with that optimized title that I got using the AI rewrite tool. So I'm going to click on it to go inside the product listing. And here we can see the title and the description, which we will optimize soon. We can, of course, also do that through AutoDS. And here we've got all the images, all of the different variations, everything that was completely automated for us. So that is going to save us hours of work. And now everything is going to be automated with this product. Now I'm going to go ahead and make this product page look good, because if I preview it right now, you'll see that it's starting to look good. It's starting to have some type of form. However, it still doesn't look as professional as I want it to look. I want to add some images here in the description. I want to make it more readable. And I also want to add this video that we have from our supplier. This way we'll make a product page that looks really good. And if you want to get more info on how to do that, you can read about the 10 ways to increase your Shopify product pages, as well as the eight best Shopify dropshipping review apps so that you can learn about some of the best review apps that you can use to also import reviews to your product page and make your product page more sellable with social proof on other customers that bought this product. So you can add the reviews to this page and make it look even better. But in any case, I'm going to go ahead and optimize this product page now and show you the results. So I finished doing a quick product page optimization and this is what the product page looks like now. So I've got the title here, even though I do think it's a little bit too long. So let's go back and edit it. We can do it from Shopify. We can do it from AutoDS. It really doesn't matter. However, it's best to do the changes on AutoDS so that it will be synchronized better on both platforms. So I'm just going to remove the whole high quality line drawing and photo printing. 
Everything else we can keep includes 50 sheets of A4 paper. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And here on Shopify, I can see that the title was already refreshed without the long title. So let's go ahead and preview the page. Okay, so professional thermal tattoo printer with Bluetooth connectivity and stencil maker includes 50 sheets of A4 paper. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the website that's actually selling this product that's making crazy sales is only selling it in one variation. However, we're a little bit smarter. We have everything on automation, so it's much easier for us to create more variations for this product. So when we imported this product, it imported with all of the suppliers variations inside. So we're not just selling the black machine. We're also selling the black kit that comes with more thermal paper, the white kit. So we've also got the white color, black machine, white machine, black kit, white kit right? So the kits come with the thermal papers and the regular ones just come with the printers. Whereas he's selling only the printer without the actual thermal papers. So this is one of our advantages. We're already going to create a better offer by giving our customers more options to choose from. And one of the things that I like about here is that you can continue adding more variations through AutoDS using any one of the 30 plus supported suppliers. So this means that I can go to Timu or Amazon or any other supplier and add more products, more variations to this product page and this way you're going to get a product page that no other dropshipper has giving you a huge advantage over the competition so if he's selling the regular version for 350 dollars we're going to sell it for $340. We're still going to make over $200 in profit, which is absolutely crazy for just selling one unit. And we're going to sell way more than that. So back on AutoDS, we're not in the drafts because we already imported it. We're now in the products page. And here we can see the product. We can optimize it. So let's sell the regular version as we can see right here, the regular machine without the extra thermal paper for $340. So $339.99. Now here, what I want to do is also have a compare price. This is pretty cool because it creates that price slasher effect on Shopify which also looks good so I'm gonna make it a 30% price drop so it's going to increase my price by 30% then lower it back to $339.99 after the price slasher and we also want to include the shipping price inside so this means that if our supplier is gonna charge us for shipping we want AutoDS to take that into consideration take the shipping price add it to the source price so that we can still offer free shipping to our customers. Even though we're paying for shipping, we're still going to make the same amount of profit. So $339.99 with a 30% price slasher. We're going to also do the same to the second variation for the white color. Okay, so $339.99 with 30% compare price. And now the kits that actually come with thermal paper, just so that if the price changes on my supplier's website, it'll also change on mine. I still want to keep that 0.99 or it can also be 0.97. Okay, so whatever trick you want to use, to just make it look better next we've got the kit so this one obviously needs to sell for more because it comes with the extra thermal paper so the price difference with the supplier is about 18 dollars so let's raise it by another 30 dollars this means that we're going to sell them for 369.99 we're going to round the cents and we're going to make a, let's put a 40% price drop on this one. And same for the second variation. So 369.99 rounding the cents and comparing 30% price slasher and you, you can just see the substantial amount of profit that we're going to make here once we sell these products. Okay, so the prices are set. I'm just going to go ahead and click on save. Then we're going to head back to Shopify and I'm going to refresh the product page so we can see the old prices for the variations here. And here we've got the updated prices, so 370 and 340. Now, I want the customers to see the $340 variations first, because as we see here on the product page, we can see that the kits are first and they have the more expensive prices. I want the regular ones to be first with the cheaper prices, but you can already see the price slashing feature here. So the price dropped by 30% and the slashing feature simply looks better. It also gave me this sell icon here. But again, I want these variations to be seen first because they're cheaper. So on Shopify, I'm simply going to go to the variant section here. And I'm going to click on edit and make sure that the white and the black are first. I'm not going to call it machine. I'll just call it white and black and the black. I'll call it black and thermal paper. And same thing for white. Let's call it black kit with thermal paper and white kit with thermal paper. Okay, I'm going to click on done. I'm going to click on save and let's go ahead and make sure that it looks better now. Okay, so it looks pretty good. The only thing is something happened with the image for the variation for the black variation. It doesn't have an image. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. So this is how we compromise and continue optimizing our product pages to make them look good. So here I've got the black one and I can see that there really is no image to it. So I'm just going to select an image. I already have the image right here. I'm going to click on done and I want the black one to show first because it has the white background, which makes more sense since I'm going with a white background too. 
too. So on the variations, I'll just make sure that the black one is first. And instead of calling it color, I'll call it color and kit. Okay, so we're gonna click on save and let's preview it one more time before we move forward. Okay, so we've got the black one first, and then the white, then black with thermal paper, and white with thermal paper. Color and kit is the name of the variations. We've got the price slashers. Everything is starting to look better. Now, what are some of the things that I did to edit my product page? Before I start to scroll, we've got a better product title. It's shortened, it's professional, it's right on point. We've got the variations as I just showed you, the price slasher, add to cart buy now, which was added automatically by Shopify. And then we've got the product description, which was redone for us using the AI title and description generator, as well as I added some product images in between the text to make it make sense and make it simply more visually appealing for the viewer. So as we can see, we've got a small description here with the dimensions. So because there's dimensions here, I added an image with dimensions. So everything, of course, makes sense and has a logical flow. Then we've got some more technical specific features and benefits that this wireless thermal printer has and then what I did was I downloaded the video from my suppliers website by using an extension called Save Plus that was added as a link inside the dropshipping cheat sheet which I will provide to you so that allowed me to download the video to Aliexpress then I uploaded it quickly to YouTube so that I could embed it inside my product page so you can see that I can click on play here and I've got the products video right here so here you have a video showcasing the product You've got images and as I continue to scroll, we've got more text, more images, more text, more images, as well as the video here on the left side and more gallery images here on the left. So here, of course, we can do more things to make our product page stand out, like adding the review apps here at the bottom, adding some really good Shopify apps, which I'll talk about soon, like the sticky add to cart at the bottom of your product page so that the customer will always be able to check out and add this product to their carts instead of this button right here. So if they scroll down, they don't see it anymore. They'll still be able to add it to their carts and more ways to optimize your product pages, all of which I cannot add to this video because I simply don't want it to be four hours long, but you have all the information and everything that you need. So we already have a product page that looks pretty good and it only took me a few minutes to do it. So let's do a quick recap. We're creating a Shopify store using the dropshipping business model to make ourselves a nice little passive income. We started by product research, finding winning products to sell and learning how to validate these products to make sure that they are going to sell, that they are trending, that they are in demand, that people will actually buy them. Then we went ahead and registered our Shopify store using the free Shopify trial link inside the cheat sheet so that we can get a long trial from Shopify so that we'll have enough time to build our stores before we have any expenses. Then we did some basic store setup like changing our store currency, generating a nice business name and connecting a domain, our own www.rstorename.com. Then we imported the product to our stores and learn about how to find the best dropshipping suppliers for our business. Now, even if you found those suppliers, I still haven't talked about product sourcing, which I will also talk about soon. So even if you think you found the best suppliers for your products, that's great add them to your stores, and soon I'll show you how you can source even better ones, even if you already found your suppliers and your products. Then after importing it to our store, we learned how to optimize our product page and make it look really good, make it ready to start making sales, and make it stand out from our competitors by adding more variations, a better pricing system, having a professional title, a good looking description, and simply making sure that we're better than our competitors, making a better offer, giving our customers more options, making sure that we have the upper hand. And all of this only took a few minutes to do. Now the product page is really important because when we start to market our products, soon we're going to talk about marketing methods, free methods and paid methods. You can use the free methods to see what works and then start using paid methods to scale the ones that work from your free methods. But remember that all of your marketing efforts are going to send traffic to your website, to your product page. That is why the product page needs to look good. It needs to provide the right information. And once that's ready, it's time to start working on our home page. So our home page is different from our product page. What some online shoppers are gonna do is they're gonna go to your product page and they're gonna wanna see what other products you have on your stores for sale. So they're gonna click on the main link to go back to your website, to go to your homepage and see what other products you have for sale. That's why we need to have a good looking homepage. The product page is great, but it's simply not enough. Now the homepage isn't very complicated. Let me show you all the steps to create a good looking homepage so that you can go ahead and start marketing and selling your products. So the first thing that we wanna do is choose a theme for our store. Now the theme is the whole 
full visualization. How does our store look? What brand colors are we using? What is our logo? What is our cover image? What other products do we have for sale? Now, in this case, I'm not going to add more products because you understand how to do that, but I want to show you how to create a good looking homepage. So we've got the Shopify themes. I'm going to click here on online store and here we can see the themes. So right now it has the Dawn theme. It's a free theme and we're not going to go further than free themes. You're going to start with a free theme on your store. There's no reason to spend hundreds of dollars right from the start for another theme. That's because the free themes are more than enough to start making your first few sales. And even more than that, you can continue using free themes because they simply work. However, once you do want your store to start looking a little bit different, you can use the profits that you're making from your sales, reinvest that back into your business by selecting expensive themes and other Shopify apps that can go along with that. However, again, it's more than enough to start with a free theme and I do not want you guys to put money down where you really don't need to. So here I can go ahead and click on add theme. And then I'm going to click on visit theme store because I want to see all of the Shopify themes that I can use and of course filter it by the free theme. So I'm going to click on view all themes. Then I'm going to click on free up here. I've got 12 free themes, which again is more than enough. Then I've got these themes here like ride, refresh, dawn, sense, origin, a spotlight. And honestly, I think that all of these themes look pretty good, but let's just choose one of them like this one right here. It's called studio. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to click on try theme. So this theme is called studio. Of course, it's a free theme. And right now it's being added to my store and we can see it being uploaded right here inside our theme library. Once it's ready, I'm simply going to click on publish so that it will take over instead of the Dawn theme that I have up here. So now it's ready, just added. I'm going to click on publish. Okay. And now I'm using the studio theme. Now you can see this message, your online store is password protected. It means that other people cannot enter my website yet, but once it will be ready, I will remove the password and start to make my sales. So now let's click on customize theme. Now let's start with the announcement bar. So instead of welcome to our store, I'm going to use a different text. So here on the right side, it opened up the text field for it. And I'm going to write free shipping, free worldwide shipping on all orders. Okay. So just make it a little bit more interesting for people to want to actually click and buy. So I'm going to click on save. Okay. Then we've got the header section. So here I can work on the header, this whole section up here, what it looks like. And then I'm going to move on to the body of the homepage. And as you can see, it's already featuring the product that we uploaded as we upload more, it's going to show them here. And we've got more things down here that we can simply remove at this point. We simply do not need them. So I'm going to remove image with text. I'm going to also remove this image with text. Okay, we're going to keep it very nice and simple. This slideshow here, we also do not need it. So here I've got the important things that I want to see, but it still doesn't look as good as I want it to. So I'm going to continue working on this and I'm going to show you the results and exactly what I did. So the homepage is pretty much ready. It took me about 15 minutes and here's everything that I did. So as we know, we've got the top announcement bar, free worldwide shipping on all orders. We've got stunning sale, which is the store name. And if you want to edit your store name, just go to your Shopify dashboard, click on settings. And here under store details, we're going to click on edit right up here. And you've got the store name right here. So that is showing up here. Then we've got the navigation bar here, which soon I will get into so we can create the right pages for our website. Then we've got this text right here. So we've got this rich text under the template, the best deals online at your fingertips. Then another rich text block, check out our new arrivals. And I added this as a featured product. So of course you can continue adding sections, removing sections. I can add more by just clicking on add section here. So I added this featured product section and removed the rest of them. So of course I only had one product to choose here. And here we've got the products information. So we've got the title, we've got the prices, we've got the different variations, making us one step ahead of our competitor. We've got better prices. And here where it said subscribe to our emails, I simply changed it to let's keep in touch. Just sounds a little bit better, more personal than subscribe to our emails and be the first to know about newest arrivals and discounts. So emails, of course, are really good for sending out email marketing promotions later on. Once we have enough email subscribers that we can send email promotions to, which is one of the best marketing methods that we have today. The only effort is actually getting that list of customers. That's why we really want to try to get them to leave their email addresses by offering them some type of 
incentive. So this is our homepage, looks pretty good. Of course, we can continue adding more things. We can add a store icon up here. We can add a banner up here. It's not a must. We're still gonna make sales without it, but that's one of the things that we can do later on to make our store look even better. And I've added some nice links that will help you with that, including Canva and Hatchful, which are great free online logo makers. So you don't have to spend a dime to get a nice unique looking logo. As well as for the banner, you can use stock image websites like Pexels, Shopify Burst and Unsplash, which will allow you to use their stock images on your website. Just look for something that is related to your store, to the products that you're selling and use that as your banner image. But I'm not gonna add them now because it's not a must in order for us to start getting our first sales. So let's see what the website looks like so far. I'm gonna click on view your store. So here we've got the homepage. This is what it actually looks like. So everything that I just went over. And of course we can click on catalog, which is the products page. We can change the link later on. And we've got that one product so far that we uploaded. And here is the product page. So when we market our products, we're going to direct traffic to this product page. However, when they click on our front page, they will get a nice looking homepage, even though we still have only one product, but it still looks good. It looks professional. We've got all of the important things. And that is more than enough to set up our homepage, our product page. And under our homepage, we chose a free Shopify theme. We have an announcement bar. We can create our store logos. We can create our banners and we have a featured product, all of which I showed you. And here are a couple of tips before we move on. So tip number one, always look at the mobile view of your website because most of the online shoppers today are coming through their mobile phones. And if your website is not mobile friendly, if things are not in place and don't look good, you're not going to get any checkout. You still need to make your store proportional for PC users, but more importantly, mobile users. So in order to do that, you have the option right here on Shopify on the top right. Right now we're looking at the desktop view. We're just gonna click on the mobile button right here. And here's how our website looks so far on a mobile view. So again, the announcement bar, the store's name right here, the best deals online at your fingertips, check out our new arrivals. Then we've got our main product right here. And we've got the variations, so the customer can actually check out directly from our homepage. Once we have more products, it's not gonna make sense to keep using this. You can show the catalog of products and you can show other sections as you add them here on the left side. But for now, the mobile view looks really good for our website. Everything is in place, everything looks good. And now let's click on the product to go inside the product page. So I'm gonna click on the menu, then I'm gonna click on catalog, which is from the header menu. And here is what the product page looks like. So let's go ahead and enter this product. Okay, so here I can see that we can swipe left and right for the product images. We've got the title, we've got the variations, everything is in place. Everything looks good, text, explanations, images, videos, everything that we set up looks really good for mobile. So it's already mobile friendly. And we know that mobile users are not gonna have any issues when browsing through our website and checking out with these products. So we talked about having your website mobile friendly. The second beginner's tip is, I already mentioned it, but I'm gonna mention it again. Don't put too much time and effort into making everything look perfect. First, validate the product, make sure it's a winner before investing more time and resources. Once we said that it's a winning product, we did add it to the website we did optimize the product page we did optimize the home page but to a minimum so that it would look good enough professional so that we can start making our first sales and continue to build and optimize and scale our way from there so more resources to help you out on that is linked inside the resources section in the cheat sheet so how to create a professional home page on shopify go ahead and check out this video for a more detailed explanation on how to do that but everything that i showed you in this video is enough to make your first sales now the seventh step is store policies and shipping zones. And don't get bored on this one, it's important to have it. Our customers need to know when our products are gonna ship out, they need to know if there are any returns, if we allow returns on our website, how long the shipping and delivery takes, and everything else. So how do we actually do all of that? How do we get all of those pages like frequently asked questions and contact us and terms and conditions and all of that legal boring stuff? We still need to have it and here is the fastest way to get it done. For one, we can click on the top 10 Shopify privacy policy generators linked inside the cheat sheet and here you have a full overview on how to create these pages but to make it even easier we have links ready right down here under the 10 best privacy policy generators for Shopify. So the first, you'll know that Shopify does have a free policy generator. However, they don't cover all of the pages. You have the links below. And here you can see that you can create a privacy policy for your Shopify page. Besides that, you can also create a refund policy and a terms of service policy. They'll create the page. Then you can simply copy and paste the 
text into your Shopify website where you can create pages. That is done here under online stores, click on pages, and you can already see that you already have one page that was automatically created by Shopify. It's called the contact page. By the way, let's just remove the password. There's no reason to continue having a password. Let's remove the password from our website and click on save. Okay, so now my online store is open. Congratulations, even though it's not completely ready yet, but I'm not gonna have any traffic to my store until I start my marketing methods. So under pages, I've got the contact page. I can click on that and here I can see that the theme template is contact. Okay, so I already have a template ready here. And if I view this page, you can see that there is this contact page where the customer can leave their name, email, phone number, and whatever message they wanna send to us. We'll see it on our Shopify messages dashboard or send directly to our emails once we add our email addresses inside our Shopify store set. Settings. But of course, we can change the things here, like let us know what's on your mind. Sounds a little bit more friendly than contact. And you can write some text here before the text field. Of course, it's not a must. And here I'm just going to save that. So I already have this page inside my Shopify header menu, but we still need to create more pages for our Shopify menus. So we can do so by clicking on add page right here. And here we need to create our next page. So what are the pages that we need to create and the information that we need to have inside? So back to the blog article that I showed you, we're going to go down to number two, which is auto DS. And here I have ready-made templates for you for your store. So you have a privacy policy about us, frequently asked questions, shipping policy, returns and refunds, and terms of service. So I opened all of those pages pages and here you see that you already have these texts ready to use on your Shopify pages. So this is the about us, the frequently asked questions, the shipping policy. So let's start with the shipping policy. For example, I'm going to create a page called shipping policy. Then I'm simply going to copy and paste all of this information and then simply change what's inside the brackets. For example, the first bracket is thank you for visiting and shopping at insert website address or business name. So I'm going to change this to stunning sell. So thank you for visiting and shopping at Stunning Sell and continue to change this. For example, shipping charges for your order will be calculated and displayed at checkout. US two to six business days change and add more as needed. So for example, to the US you'll ship within two to six business days. You can also add, of course, for example, worldwide up to 30 business days, just as an example, and continue creating these pages as you go along. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And now I have a shipping policy. Now the same goes for other pages. Like for example, let's go with the privacy policy. So we're going to create another page, call it privacy policy, copy and paste the information, click on save. And again, it's that easy to create your pages. So as boring as it is, that's how quick it also is to get these pages done. And once they are all done, you simply need to add them to your navigation menu, which is either the top menu on your website or the bottom menu. And the way to do that is to simply click on navigation here on the left side. Now I'm going to click on the main menu. So this is the top menu that we have on the website. First thing I want to do is I'm going to change catalog to products because it's going to lead to our products page. Then we're going to click on add menu item and I'm going to write shipping policy and it's going to link to I'm going to click on pages because it's a page that I created and it's called shipping policy. Then I'm going to click on add and I'm going to save this menu. Now I'm going to go back and in the footer menu, I'm going to add the other policy pages that I created. For example, we already have a search down there. That's fine. I'm going to click on add menu item and we created a privacy policy. So I'm going to call it privacy policy. Then under pages, privacy policy, click on add, click on save menu. And now let's check it out on our website. So let's go to stunningcell.com. And here on the top menu, you can see that catalog changed to products and we've got contact, which I can change to contact us. Let's do that really quick. So I'm going to go back to the main menu and here on contact, I'm going to change it to let's call it get in touch. Okay, let's refresh the page. So get in touch. I'm going to click on that. Let us know what's on your mind. Name, email, phone number. You can remove things, fields that you don't want, like phone number if it's not a must, but that's how you do it. And we've got the shipping policy up here. So it only took a couple of minutes to create this and we have our legal pages up and ready. So that is how we can quickly create our navigation menu, whether it's the menus on top or on the bottom, whether it's the main menu or the footer menu and all of the legal pages that can get done in just a matter of minutes. So again, you have the links to all of these policies, the about us page, frequently asked questions, terms of service and others that we haven't added in this video because you get the point, which of course is all linked to inside the resources section on the cheat sheet. Now, the next two things that I want to go over is the payment settings and shipping zones before we move on to marketing. One of the most exciting parts when it comes to running your e-commerce businesses. So payment settings is how our customers are going to pay us and shipping zones simply lets the customers know where we ship out from and how long it will take to reach them. And of 
course, that is different than the shipping policy, which is the shipping policy page that you have, which we created. The shipping zone is actually embedded inside the product page. When the customer checks out, they can see what shipping methods they are using. So let's set those up really quickly before we move on to marketing. So I'm going to click on settings to open up my store settings. Then I'm going to click on payments. Now here you need to choose a payment provider that will collect the customer's credit cards and of course, transfer it to your bank account. Now other customers can choose PayPal. A PayPal account was automatically created for you when you created your Shopify website. And inside the product page, if you add the product right now to your cart and check out, you'll only have the PayPal option. But you do want to give the customers more options, more ways to pay. For example, even if they don't have a PayPal account, they can do a guest checkout using PayPal, but some simply do not like PayPal and simply want to swipe their credit cards. So for that, we're going to have to choose a payment provider. Now, the payment provider that you can work with depends on where you live. And here you have a list of all of the payment providers that you can use. Another way to do it is to simply click on Shopify payment gateways inside the cheat sheet, and it'll take you to this website right here, where you can simply type in where wherever you live. For example, if you live in the United States, right, United States, and here you can see all of the payment gateways that you can work with. So for example, you can see this uh, BitPay, so you can go to their website, contact them, let them know, hey, hey, I want to integrate you with my Shopify website. What do I need to do? And they'll walk you through the process. It's actually pretty simple, but this is something that you will have to do in order to drive more sell conversions on your website, because like I mentioned, not everyone wants or likes to work with PayPal, which is the default method that you'll get. So set up your Shopify Shopify payment provider. One provider, of course, is more than enough because they'll be able to support all of the credit card methods that your customers will want to use. And then we've got shipping and delivery. So this is where we're going to set up our shipping zones. Now, if, for example, you do not live in the United States, but you want your domestic audience to be in the United States because that's the main country that you're going to target, then you're going to have to change your ship from address, which is usually your default store address. So here, for example, I can see that I have automatic general shipping rates that were generated for me. And if I click on that, I can see that all countries are considered international, including the United States, which is simply not right. First, I'm going to delete the shipping zone that was automatically created, and I'm going to create my own. Next, on the left menu, we're going to click on locations. Now, here is where we can choose a different ship from location. So I'm going to click on add location, and we're going to call this USA warehouse. And this, of course, is for the example, if the product is being shipped from a US warehouse, if it's being shipped from a China warehouse, you can write China warehouse. I'm only doing this for example purposes, so it really doesn't matter what we choose. But when you're doing it, make it right for your product. Then we're going to choose the location. So, of course, it's going to be the United States. And we're going to write an address inside the US. So you can just use a random address generator. And we're going to fill in fulfill online orders from this location. So now I'm going to click on save. And now that location is set up. Next, we're going to go back to shipping and delivery. And here I'm going to create a new shipping profile. So I'm going to click on create new profile and it's going to be called USA warehouse. And I'm going to add the products that are going to be relevant to this. So of course, it's going to be the product that we uploaded. And under shipping origins, I'm going to make sure that that USA warehouse is selected. Now under shipping zones, we're going to click on create a zone. And this is what countries we can ship to from that USA warehouse or from the China warehouse or wherever we're shipping from. So here I want to open up shipping to the whole world. So I'm going to choose all of the countries that I can ship to and I'm going to give it a name. So worldwide shipping is the zone name and I'm going to click on done. Then we're going to click on rate because I want to add rates or in other words, what is the shipping price? In this case, I'm going to give it free shipping. Okay, so we're going to add free shipping and I'm going to click on done. Now you can add additional rates. For example, you can say that if you want to ship to the USA, it's going to be for free. But if you want to ship to other countries like the United Kingdom or, or Europe, then you want to charge them a certain price. So you're going to create another shipping zone for them and you're going to give it a rate. Another thing that you can do to make some more profit is to make another rate called expedited shipping, even though you're going to be using the same shipping methods. And for this one, take another $4.99. So that's just another $5 extra profit in your pocket. It, the customer is going to see the free shipping as the first option and then the expedited as an additional shipping method. So once we're done, we're going to go ahead and click on save. And now our shipping zone is ready. Our payment settings are ready. Our product page is ready. Our home page is ready. Our legal pages are ready. And the last thing that there is to do is to start marketing our products, get traffic to our online store and get our customers to start purchasing. But because my pace is pretty fast in this video, if you want, of course, more information on store policies and shipping zones, 
I've added the links inside the cheat sheet, how to set up Shopify checkout settings and shipping zones, and of course the Shopify payment gateways page. So marketing free and paid methods, how can we finally bring traffic to our stores and start making sales? That is what we're all here to do. Let's figure out the best ways to do it in 2024. So my favorite method, and today we have a huge opportunity with the rising of short videos, with TikTok, with YouTube shorts, with Instagram reels and so forth. So today with short form video content, we can get our products to be seen in front of a large target audience. And this is the easiest way to make sales nowadays. So the way to do this is to create organic short form video content on those social media platforms. The only budget that this requires is purchasing the product so that we can actually shoot some videos on it. Now in this example, I did go with a high ticket product. And I told you that for your first product, you don't need to start with a high ticket product. I simply like to profit and I already have experience in this field. But you're going to start with a product that costs, let's say around $30. And that is going to be your expense for getting the product to your home. But hey, look at the bright side, at least you get to keep the product, right? So what you're going to do here is start creating videos for your product, show the product in action, like I showed you in the beginning of this video, where two competitors were competing over the same product. They both had viral ads, they were both making plenty of sales, but one did do a much better job than the other. However, what you are going to do here is create lots of videos for your product. Try to create even 100 videos for your product and I guarantee that you will find some winning organic video copies which you can then use to invest back into your business and run marketing campaigns pay-per-click ads for these products, which I will talk about in a minute. We're going to start with the free marketing methods, see what videos are working well. Then we're going to add our budget into those videos to scale them even further and show them in front of our specific target audience by running pay-per-click ads. But we're not going to start with pay-per-click ads right from the start, which is what we had to do up until the point where we got the opportunity today to use short form video content to bring organic traffic to our website. So today we don't have to spend a dime on marketing. And here's an example on how we can do so. So for example, I'm going to go to TikTok and I'm going to search for wireless printer. This can get you an example of what videos are working well for this type of product that you are trying to sell. Even though these might not be tattoo printers, they're still wireless printers that look relatively the same. So you can see that this one right here got 6.9 million views and these are organic videos. Nobody put money into marketing these videos. This one right here got 7.9 million views, this wireless printer, and they all look pretty similar to our products. So let's just click on this one right here. Amazon Favorites. This is a wireless printer that doesn't require any it to print images and text from absolutely anywhere. I find it super convenient to have for forms or when signatures are required. It's also lightweight and easily fits in my tote bag. That's it. That's the whole video. So 14 seconds of this girl that ordered the printer to her home and simply showed it in action, showed what she loved about it, showed how it works. And that did the work. 7 million views, 350,000 likes. You can be sure that she got tons of traffic to her store by just this one video. And if I click on her profile page, you can see that she's doing this for tons of other products. So she's ordering a whole bunch of products to her store and she's simply working with Amazon affiliate links. So she's just getting like a few cents for every order as an affiliate sale. You're going to make much more when you are doing it on Shopify and you'll make 100% of the profits instead of just an affiliate. So let's see another example. Let's see this guy that got 7.9 million views. I'm just going to click on his TikTok profile profile and you can see that he's been doing this for a while. So this wireless printer here got 20 million views. This one got 21 million views. This one here got 2.5 million. This guy knows the work. He ordered a few different wireless printers to his home and you can see that these videos are simply going crazy for him. And what he can do is choose his winning videos like these ones right here and run paid marketing campaigns on them. So you can do that through TikTok. Just open a TikTok business manager. It doesn't cost any money. And I'm going to provide links to you on how you can run ads on TikTok step by step on how to do it on Facebook and other platforms that you might want to use. And again, what you're going to do is put a budget into the videos that are working well for you. So again, organic short form video content is the way to go today. Create organic videos on your products, find your winners, and then use that to put a budget on marketing so that you'll have lots more traffic to your stores and you already found your winning video copies. So the required budget for organic short form video content is simply to purchase the product because it doesn't cost any money to start filming and posting organic videos. The next way to get organic traffic to your website absolutely for free is simply by creating blog pages. And this is actually very simple. Here on your online store, you're simply going to click on online store. Then you've got blog posts and here you're going to create a blog post. And this is actually pretty simple. So if you're selling, for example, a wireless printer, 
then what you want to do here is write a nice blog article about a wireless printer. So I'm not going to do it now, but I will walk you basically through the steps of how to do that. So one thing that you want to do is search Google for wireless printer blog. Okay, so everything to know about wireless printers. Why do you need a wireless printer? Choosing the perfect wireless printer. We're gonna open the top three blogs on Google and we're going to read around them a little bit and get the important headings that people are actually looking for. Okay, so we're gonna take notes of that. Then we're also gonna ask ChatGPT to help us summarize these articles and turn it into our own blog article. Now there is more information on how to do all of that inside the ChatGPT video that's linked inside the Shopify dropshipping cheat sheet right up here on the best product research methods, you have a chat GPT video, which will not only show you product research, but also how to create blog articles that are going to be unique and that people are actually going to be able to find through Google. And from that, they're going to get to your website. And that is another nice organic way to get traffic to your website. And the third is email marketing. So these are the top three free marketing methods that you can use. And it's more than enough to get traffic to your website and start making your first few sales before you even spend a dime on paid marketing methods, which will bring even more more traffic to your store. So the paid methods is running Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Google ads, you also have YouTube ads. And if you're lazy and you don't want to create your own video for your ads, you can use services like Waving Pandas. I've got a link to it right here. And what you need to do is simply send the product to them and they will create the video ad copies for your products. Use the link in order to get a discount on your first order. Now, in order to learn how to run Facebook ads and pay-per-click ads, you have the resources inside the cheat sheet. One is how to run Facebook ads in eight steps. It's a completely free ebook from us to you. Just click on unlock your ebook, write your name and email address, and you'll get a free PDF copy. And here you have all of the important chapters on how to run successful pay-per-click ads on Facebook, including how to create your Facebook ads account, installing the Facebook pixel, audience research, targeting, creating your video ads, setting your campaign goals and your ad sets, launching your ads and analyzing and optimizing your winners. And we've got the same for TikTok. So how to run TikTok ads for Shopify dropshipping. So I ran ads on my stores. I showed you exactly what I did, how much of a budget I put, what the results were and how you can replicate the same strategies for your stores and a written blog article on how to create a blog article and email campaigns with chat GPT. So you have the video on top and you have the blog article right down here. So this will help you understand all of these methods on how you can do them on your store and start getting your traffic and sales, whether you're using the free marketing methods or the paid marketing methods. And believe me, once you've found the right products during your product research phase, this will be a breeze. You will get traffic. You will get sales because you are marketing products that are in demand. So don't worry if your ad copy doesn't look super perfect in the beginning. And don't worry if your first 10 short video forms or 20 short video forms on TikTok or YouTube shorts or Instagram reels didn't go viral yet because the more work you put into it, the faster you will find your winning copies, the more experience you will gain, and the more sales and profit you will get once you gain this knowledge and experience. Now, finally, that we marketed our products, we're going to start making our first sales. Now, this part can get super exciting, but we still need to fulfill our responsibility of sending out the order as quick as possible to our buyers so that they'll get it in fast shipping times, be super happy with their order. And this way, we'll have a much higher chance that they will not only return to purchase from us again, but also refer their friends and their family where they got this product from and how fast it was shipped to them. So this this is where order fulfillment comes in and this gets split into two sections one doing it manually meaning as soon as we get an order we're going to go to our supplier's website we're going to purchase the product and we're going to ship it directly to our end customer so when we purchase the product from our supplier for example we go to aliexpress or whoever that our supplier is we're going to check out and we're going to use our customer's address as the shipping details as soon as it reaches our customer and as soon as tracking information is available from our supplier we're going to have to manually update it on the shopify orders page. Now, of course, doing things manually is fine. But once you get five orders, 10 orders, 15, 20, 50 plus orders per day, you're not going to want to spend all day just fulfilling your orders. And as soon as you start automating the process, even if you're only making a few orders per day, it's going to make your life much, much easier. So this is where order automation comes in. And we've got two different types of order automation. One is called fulfilled by AutoDS and the other is called automatic orders. And the only difference between them is fulfilled by AutoDS 
this, we'll use AutoDS's buyer accounts to fulfill your order so it'll make it much easier. You just have to top up your balance so that the system will be able to pay for your orders and everything from there will be automated. The order will get sent out to your buyers as soon as it comes in. Tracking information will get updated automatically on your AutoDS platform and on your Shopify store as soon as tracking information is available from your suppliers and everything will be simply automated. And automatic orders on the other hand still automate your orders but it uses your buyer account. So you'll have to go to the AutoDS system inside the settings and click on buyer accounts and create a buyer account depending on whatever supplier you're using. So for example, if you want to automate your orders with AliExpress, then you're going to have to add your AliExpress credentials inside the buyer accounts. And this way, the system will use your buyer account with your payment method inside your buyer account to fulfill your orders. Tracking information will still be updated automatically. So if you want to learn more about fulfilled by AutoDS and automatic orders, you've got the link to each page inside the cheat sheet. And also here's what it looks like. So this is the orders page on AutoDS. And when an order comes in, you're simply going to see it right here on the orders page. Now, an order can come in in pending status or it'll be in order progress right away, depending on what you have in the settings. More information on that inside the help pages. Now, the order statuses will change automatically. From order progress, it'll move to ordered with the order ID from your supplier. From ordered, it'll move to shipped once tracking information is available from your supplier. And it will move to delivered once it was delivered to your buyer. So everything is automated. Even while you sleep, even while you travel, your orders will get sent out as soon as they come in. And you've got more order information inside. For example, if I click on it, I can get the buyer's details, the order details, the product's details, and I can hover over this to make sure that it was completed by the Fulfilled by AutoDS service. I can add a private note right here, and we've got the buy price, the selling price, the profit that we made, the item ID on the supplier's website, the item ID on your selling channel, and more and more information. So each order can easily be tracked and analyzed on the orders page on AutoDS, even if you have multiple stores connected to the AutoDS account. And that is another thing. You can connect as many shop five stores as you want to AutoDS and then you'll get a full business overview of what's happening on all of your stores or some of your stores depending on how much you have selected here. So you can check out those stores products, the orders, the drafts and so forth. The next thing that I want to talk about once you do get these orders is that you can actually make a sourcing request and this part is super super important. So I mentioned that you can use suppliers like AliExpress to find products and even to import them to your stores but once you start making sales you can create a sourcing request. You can even do it before you make the sale. So this is actually pretty simple. You can make a sourcing request for your products and the AutoDS system will find a better supplier for those products with either faster shipping or a cheaper product price. And this way you're gonna make more profits. You're gonna be able to ship quicker to your customers and you're gonna get to know new private suppliers that can do a much better job than other retail websites. More information, of course, on how to create sourcing requests and how all of that works inside the Shopify dropshipping cheat sheet. Again, hashtag Shopify 2024. Let me know what you learned in this video. What is your top takeaway? And I'll send you your access to this cheat sheet. And now that we understand order fulfillment, we're getting our orders out on time. More information, of course, here how to fulfill orders on Shopify manual and automatic methods. Now that we're marketing our products correctly, we're making sales, we're fulfilling our orders, we're finally making some profit, it's time to start to analyze what's working well for us, eliminate what's not working, and continue scaling our success. So analyze your product sales inside the AutoDS system. It's easy to do it with the product tagging feature. Add more winning products and more variations similar to those products that are selling well for you. Strengthen your relationships with your private suppliers as I showed you how to do in this video. Send email marketing promotion campaigns to your buyers. You can do it for those who added to their carts and then abandoned the carts without even checking out. You have that option inside Shopify. And you can also do it to those who actually purchase from your website using things like the Facebook pixel that actually captures all this data so again, if you take the Facebook ads ebook, you learn about it, you learn how to integrate the Facebook pixel inside your Shopify website. And of course, provide excellent customer support. Check in daily to see what messages your customers are sending you. Maybe they want to praise you for your good work. Maybe they have an issue with some type of product which you can upgrade to a different one. And maybe some of them want to even return the product and that is completely fine. Just go to your supplier, ask for a return label, they'll send it to you. If you are of course eligible for one and send that to your customer. Once they send the order back, you'll get a refund fund, send the refund to your customer and that will be that. But listen to your customers. This will help you understand what's working well for your business, what you can improve upon and how you can take your business one step further. And if you're here for the long run, and I really hope that you are, 
customer support should be at the top of your list of things that you need to refine. Additional resources that I added to the dropshipping cheat sheet is a free full Shopify course for beginners. So this will take you step by step into everything that I showed you in this video, only it's broken down into lessons as you can see right here. And everything here is again completely free. Just go to this website linked inside the cheat sheet and you'll have access to all of these lessons. And you'll also have access to the Shopify resources PDF. This is a super detailed PDF file. Again, absolutely free with everything that you need to start your successful business on Shopify, much more detailed than I was able to do in this video. And as you can see right here, each page has all of the information that you need, whether it's your product page, homepage, apps and extensions to use, and so much more. So all of that jam packed with information and value inside this PDF file, all which you will have access to inside the cheat sheet. And you'll also have the ultimate guide to starting a Shopify dropshipping business. That's a full blog article on how to create your store from A to Z, upselling how to boost Shopify sales by using apps like Frequently Bought Together that you can add to your product page, as we can see right here, some really nice apps that can help us do that. So all of that information, which apps do it, what types of things we can do so that we can increase our average order value, our AOV, and make more profits per purchase and the best one-click upsell Shopify dropshipping apps. So more apps that will help you either upgrade the main product that they're trying to buy or add more products, more accessories to the main products and increase your average order value. Then you've got the 10 best product landing page examples for Shopify stores. So you've got a whole bunch of Shopify stores that are in there with great sellers making lots of sales and profits. Take some examples of what they are doing well and replicate similar practices for your store. And last but not least, the 15 best Shopify niches to boost your store sales. And this is going to help you understand what are some of the best niches that you can sell today on Shopify. So it's going to take you one step further in your product research. And of course, join our online communities, our Facebook, YouTube channel, dropshipping blog channel, Discord channel, and do not forget to start your AutoDS trial for just $1. That's going to be the best investment that you can make for your online business and for your future. First of all, and really quickly, what exactly is dropshipping on Amazon? So we all know that Amazon is a huge marketplace with thousands of sellers selling their products. Now, some of these sellers are selling from their own inventory. So they're purchasing inventory upfront and they're selling it either using Amazon's warehouses or their own. Other sellers like us are using the dropshipping business model. This means that we're also selling our products on Amazon, only we're not holding them in stock and we're not putting any money up front in inventory in advance. We only pay for the products after we get an order, after we receive payments from our customers on our online stores. We then forward the order details to our suppliers and we ship it directly to our buyers. That is the dropshipping business model. It's been working for years and it's growing exponentially every year. And now that we can automate our dropshipping business on Amazon, it makes it so much better because it's easier to scale and really hit it to the big numbers. Now, there are two types of selling methods on Amazon, the FBA or fulfilled by Amazon service or merchant by Amazon. Fulfilled by Amazon means that sellers are sending their products to Amazon's warehouses and they're letting Amazon take care of the fulfillment for them. So this way, Amazon takes care of the logistics, but this is a really expensive model and dropshipping is all about the easy entry barrier with a really low upfront investment. So we're not going to be sending goods in advance to Amazon's warehouses. We're going to be using merchant by Amazon, which means that we're not sending any items to Amazon's warehouses. We're going to ship them out ourselves, as I just explained, through our dropshipping suppliers, all of which I will get to soon. So what we're actually going to do here while dropshipping on Amazon is simply to win the buy box. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So here is my Amazon seller account. And so I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in order to start your own seller account. So this one is called Ecom Drop LLC. And as you see, I've got two products right here. This is a toy for pets and I've got two different variations here. But where did I get this product from? I didn't actually create the product on Amazon. What I did was I found a seller who's selling this product on Amazon and I simply entered his buy box. In other words, I added myself as another seller who's also selling the same exact product. So what does it actually mean to enter and win the buy box? Take a look at my account right here, for example, and soon I'm going to show you what you need to do to start your own account and how to find these products and so forth. But this is just for the example. Now, this is a pet toy button product and I didn't create the listing on Amazon. I simply entered the buy box. So what does this mean? Here is the original product listing. And as we can see, this product is being sold by me by e-commerce drop LLC instead of being sold by Amazon, which means that we're using fulfilled by Amazon, which again is not the case here. We are the sellers and we are the ones who are shipping it out. But I didn't actually create this listing on Amazon. It already existed there. I just found a seller who's selling this product. I found their supplier and I was able to offer a cheaper price for this product 
product and because I'm offering a cheaper price and I ship around the same time or faster than the original seller, then I'm entering his buy box and Amazon is going to put me on top of the buy box. That is why we're seeing that it's sold from me and it's shipped from me even though I did not create this listing. Here is the original seller. We can see him right down here where we can see other sellers on Amazon. So he's actually selling this variation for $88.55 whereas I'm selling it for $69.99 and that is why I am the winner of this buy box. So if the customer adds this product to their cart and checks out, I'm going to get the order instead of the other seller. If I click here, we can see the other seller. His name is Shangzing Home Furnishing Store, but his shipping takes longer and he is more expensive. I ship within two to three days because once again, I found this product through AliExpress, shipped from a US warehouse, as we can see right here, shipping with seven day delivery to the United States via USPS, and it only cost me $25.49, where I'm selling it for $69.99. Of course, there's another variation over here for $150. That's the second variation that I've got right here for $150. And we can see it right here on AliExpress it costs $52. So I'm marking up my prices by about times three from the original price and I'm still making a lot of profit. So this is what it means by entering the buy box, being cheaper, shipping faster, and I'm gonna show you everything you need to know on how to do this and also put everything on automation. So first of all, in order to get started, we need to register for our Amazon seller account. You have a link to it, it's sellercentral.amazon.com. And I've also got a link to the verification process so that you'll understand exactly what you need to go through. But based Basically, it's broken down to these simple steps. The first is entering your personal information like your name, your address, etc. Then your payment and bank information so that you can pay Amazon or you can get paid by Amazon once of course you start getting your orders. You'll need a government issued ID, a bank or credit card statement that proves that you are who you say you are. And you might also need a video verification meeting with one of Amazon's representatives just so that they can see you and once again verify that you are who you say you are. Now this may seem pretty tedious but it's actually pretty simple and you can do it from anywhere around the world. This means that no matter where you live, for example, you can live in the United Kingdom and you can sell on Amazon US while passing the same verification in order to do that. And that is step number one for starting your Amazon dropshipping business. Now, once your account is up and verified, you'll be greeted with the Amazon Seller Central dashboard that pretty much looks like this. And from here, you're gonna start navigating around and build your store, but it's actually very simple. You will not need to use all of these links, but basically here you have the catalog where you can add products manually, even though I'm gonna show you how to do with the automatic way, you can check out all your inventory or all of your products, your pricing, your orders. You can also run advertising marketing campaigns on your products to get more clicks and more sales, even though this will require a starting budget and more links, which we don't need to get to in this video because you most likely will not be using them while drop shipping. We're gonna keep things simple and learn exactly what we need in order to start and succeed. So once you have your Amazon account up and running, the next thing that you wanna do is choose your Amazon selling plan. Now, here's the thing with selling plans. Amazon will automatically start you with a professional plan that costs $40 a month. So this obviously requires a starting budget. Now you can downgrade that to an individual account and pay $0 and only pay once your products actually sell. Only in this way, you will not be able to automate your business. But if you really wanna make it and scale and succeed and have a network of successful dropshipping stores all running on complete automation and autopilot, you will need a professional plan so that you can connect it to AutoDS and start automating automating every aspect of your business, all of which I will show you soon. Plus, without the professional plan, you will not be able to choose better shipping and faster shipping in order to win buy boxes, just like I did in the example over here, where I wasn't limited to only a few shipping options, therefore giving me the lowest price and also being able to offer free shipping. You cannot do that with the individual plan. So if you're not ready to sell yet, start with the individual plan, learn your way around, and then move to professional once you wanna start selling. But do not start selling with individual because you simply will not be able to win buy boxes, you will not be able to automate your business and drop ship the right way. And of course, you can read more about the differences. I've got the link to it inside the cheat sheet. But again, you can add multiple users to your account. You can easily build your brand around it. You can compete to be a featured offer. You'll be able to create promotions and coupons and so much more. So those are the two types of Amazon selling plans. But let's talk about the more important thing. Because we're drop shipping, we're obviously making the profit between the source price or how much we're paying our supplier for the product to how much we're actually selling it for on Amazon. So in this example, if I'm buying the product, let's say for $50 and I'm selling it for 
dollars, I'm making about hundred dollars in profit selling this product. But that does not include the selling fees. So let's go over the selling fees or in other words, the referral fees as Amazon likes to call it. And this depends on what type of product we're selling, what category it belongs in. So here under referral fees, we can understand exactly how much fee we're going to pay Amazon for every time we make a sale. So here, for example, well, this is a really expensive fee, but we're not going to sell Amazon devices. We're not authorized to do so. We're drop shipping. But let's say we're going to sell baby products because there are millions of baby products that we can resell. In this case, Amazon is going to take 8% transaction fee with a total price of $10 or less, but most likely we're going to sell for more than $10, meaning we're going to pay a total of 15% transaction fee when we sell baby products that cost over $10. So for example, if you sell a baby product that costs $100, you're going to pay a 15% fee which means $15 to Amazon. So you're actually going to make $85 and then you're going to have to subtract the source price, how much the product actually cost you. And that's going to be your actual profit, not counting, of course, the referral fee minimum amounts and the referral fee minimum amount is 30 cents. So if the 15% or 10% or however much you paid doesn't equal 30 cents, then that's the minimum that you're going to pay. So we've got baby products around 15%, backpacks, handbags, luggage, also great for drop shipping about 15%, beauty, health, personal care, also also a great category for dropshipping 15% transaction fees, business, industrial, scientific supplies, 12%, clothing and accessories, 17%, consumer electronics, 8% and so forth. You get the point. So if you want to understand exactly what your fees are and how much you're going to be profiting at the end of the day, you need to get to know Amazon's referral fees. Once again, the link is inside the cheat sheet. So that's a little bit about choosing an Amazon selling plan and understanding your fees so that you'll know exactly how much you're profiting. So we finished the first two steps, creating our Amazon account account and choosing our selling plan. Just three more steps to go in order to finish our five steps and start making sales. Soon I'm going to show you how to set your shipping policies, return policies and everything else. But now we're going to move over to product research. We're going to learn how to find products that are actually going to sell on our Amazon stores and products that we can enter the buy box. We cannot enter every product's buy box. And I'm going to show you exactly how this works and how to find these trending products. Now, product research is super important because there are millions of products that we can sell. So how can we actually know which products are the right ones? This part can take hours and hours and days and weeks of research, but I've already done all of that for you. And here are the shortcuts. So my first go to for finding trending products to sell is the AutoDS marketplace and winning products hub. Now, if you're wondering what is this AutoDS that I keep talking about, it is an automation software solution for your Amazon stores or for anywhere else that you want to sell on that connects you between your suppliers and your selling channels. It'll help us automate our business with all of the suppliers that we want to work with while we're dropshipping on Amazon. I'm going to go over all of that soon, but AutoDS has a lot going on inside, not just automation, but it also helps us with product research, product sourcing, and more things that I'm going to go over soon. But right now to invest $1 to start your trial and get all of the things that I'm going to show you in this video is truly worth your while. So when it comes to product research, there's the marketplace that looks like this. And inside the marketplace, we also have winning products. Now, both of them have really trendy products. The marketplace also has lots of private suppliers that we can use under AutoDS suppliers. And here you can hook up with private suppliers, sell really trendy products. And it also gives you the ability to brand your products like this backpack over here. As we can see, it says customizable branding. And what this means is every time you make a sale with this product, you can ship it out with your own brand and logo on it. So this is one of the cool things. And we can also send messages to these private suppliers, start negotiating better prices, look for better products and so forth. So there's the marketplace where we have lots of trending products that we can add to our stores. And then there's also the winning products hub where here we're getting a lot more product information inside. For example, as I scroll through, we can see all of these trendy products. And if I open, for example, one of these products, like let's say, let's go with this inflatable air travel pillow over here, then we're going to get much more product information inside. And this is going to give us a great idea of what products are trending right now. For example, we can see the TikTok ad copy right here that got over 48,000 likes. And this is the seller's website. We also have a link to it so we can see what they're doing that's selling this product well. Only this is not an Amazon store, but this does show us a really profitable product that's being sold for $44, sourced for just around $5, leaving the seller with a potential profit of about $40. And we also have target audience information and more things like that. And this is one of the things that the winning products hub has to offer. So this is gonna get you a good idea of what products you can sell. And soon I'm gonna show you 
how we're gonna find a product from here and actually be able to sell it on Amazon. So this is one great place that's gonna get you lots of product ideas that are working. Let's open another one and then I'll show you other product examples. Then we're gonna come back here and I'm gonna show you how you can add these products to your stores and start making sales. So this is another one, this Shiatsu neck and back massager. Okay, soon I'm gonna try to add this product to my Amazon store. And as we can see, this ad copy right here has almost 4,000 likes, over 800 comments, almost 800 shares. So we can see that it's really popular this product is in demand and one of the things that I love about the winning products hub is it has fresh products that's trending right now these are not old products that were trending a year or two years ago right now what's happening and you can get these product examples and start to sell them on your Amazon stores I'm going to show you how to do that really soon but let's go over the other product research methods that we have so one again is the marketplace and the winning products hub you can start that with a one dollar trial and get hundreds of winning product ideas that are trending right now and you don't always have to sell the same products you can also sell those that are similar to best sellers, those that are less saturated. And again, I'm going to show you how to do that soon. The other product research method is the product finding blog articles. This is absolutely free. Anyone can have access to it. Again, you have a link to it inside the Amazon dropshipping cheat sheet. If you want access to it, all you have to do is comment hashtag Amazon 2024. Let me know what is your top takeaway from this video. And I'm going to reply back with a link to this cheat sheet. And when you click on the link to the product finding blog articles, you're going to move over to this blog page that has tons of winning products that you can sell. And as I scroll down the product finding articles, you can see this one, for example, the best drop shipping products to sell on your Amazon store. And there are many more articles like this. You have embedded videos inside or you can read. So if you're the type that likes to watch, you can watch. If you're the type that likes to read, you can read through the articles and get all of these product ideas and start selling them on your stores. We broke it down to categories and we narrowed down the best selling products under each category. So you have a lot of products here that you can sell. And it'll also give you a great idea of what products and categories you actually actually can sell, all of which I will also teach you soon. So there's the product finding blog articles, tons of free content over there. There's also the sell these now YouTube playlists. So what we're doing here in these blog articles, in these YouTube playlists, is we're gathering years and years of data with our huge database and our own experience in dropshipping and all of this content, all of these winning products are up for grabs. Again, everything here is absolutely free. Just invest your time and gain the knowledge, take shortcuts after years and years of product research. So you can watch the videos here, learn more about what products are trending right now. We're updating the blog articles at least twice a week. We're updating our videos at least three times a week. So there's always fresh new content on our blog page, on our YouTube channel, and on the winning products hub and AutoDS marketplace. The next place to learn about winning products and here you can do it live with me is inside AutoDS's live Q and A's. So I host these live Q and A's every two weeks and here I go live with you and I share with you how I find these products and I share new products that are trending in the market so that you can take these examples, sell them on your stores and start making your sales and profit. Not only that, but I also give you one-on-one -on -one advice. So anyone who's writing in the chat is gonna get a reply for me, is gonna get an answer, a solution. And this way you'll really have a live one-on-one -on -one absolutely for free with a seasoned professional. So I've got the link to the winning products live Q and A's inside the cheat sheet, but also a link so that you can register for free to the next live so that you won't miss it. Just enter your name and email address. You've got the counter. You'll get a reminder when the next live Q and A is going to take place. While I'm recording this video, I have one day and one hour for the next live session. So make sure not to miss them by registering to the live Q and A's and learn about more winning products and how I actually get to these products so that you can copy the same practices and start having success on your stores. The next product research method where you can find tons of products to resell is inside Amazon's bestsellers and Amazon's movers and shakers. These are two categories inside Amazon, again, offered to you absolutely for free, where you can find more trending products. The only thing here is that you need to understand what categories you actually can sell in. For example, you do not want to sell these Apple AirTags because Apple is trademarked. I'm going to go a little bit over that soon, but here you have lots of bestsellers so you can get an idea of what products are trending and movers and shakers shows you the biggest gainers over the last 24 hours. So these are the products that are trending hot right now. Again, the only thing is you need to know what you can resell. So again, we're going to go over that in just a couple of minutes. So Amazon's best sellers and movers and shakers, again, links to that 
that in the dropshipping cheat sheet. And we've got the AliExpress dropshipping center. This is a great place to find more trending products. So the link to the blog article to learn all about that is again in the cheat sheet below. And of course with the embedded video inside. And this will take you through every step of how to take advantage of AliExpress's dropshipping center and find lots of trending products that of course you can sell on your Amazon store. This was created for free by AliExpress to help dropshippers understand what products are trending right now. You'll have a sales history. You'll have a nice chart showing you how well these products are performing, if they're new, if they're old, how saturated or unsaturated they are. So I'm not going to go over it now. You've got all of the content below. So those are all of the free or super low budget ways to find trending products to sell. And these shortcuts are more than enough to find your first winning products to sell and actually be able to sell them instead of just letting them gather dust because you didn't do any proper product research by simply not learning how to do it the right way. Now let's go over some of the paid solutions. Now you will need to set a budget for these solutions. So if you got an extra budget for product research, you can use these paid tools that are also proven to find you winning products to sell. One is Jungle Scout. Now I've already installed their extension so I can show you how that works. And the extension is free to use. It's not going to work for all products, but it's going to work for a lot. And Jungle Scout simply helps you understand and find what products are trending on Amazon right now. Same goes for Helium 10. Helium 10 is one of Jungle Scout's main competitors and they do pretty much the same thing just with their own layout and some of their own features. So they all have their pros and their cons. You have the links to them. You can learn all about them. There's a couple of other companies that do a great job helping you find winning products to sell on Amazon like Sellerboard and Seller App. I'm not going to go over them now because most people who are at the beginning of their dropshipping journeys don't have that much of a budget. So if you do, you can check it out. If not, just go to the methods that I talked about under the free product research methods. Believe me, it's more than enough to get started and make your first sales. Now, let's talk a little bit about products that we need to avoid dropshipping. And then I'll show you how you can add these products to your stores and start selling. Not the products to avoid, of course, but the products that you can sell. So the products that we want to avoid dropshipping on Amazon because we don't want any issues. We don't want any lawsuits coming our way and we don't want our Amazon seller account to get suspended. So we want to stay away from hazardous materials, from liquids, especially flammable liquids, medicines, supplements, because we're not doctors, items that have a choking hazard, especially toys, small, small toys. We don't want to get into any of that type of trouble. No tobacco, no firearms, no ammunition, nothing of that sort. Okay, so stay away from that. No drugs, no paraphernalia. We're not going to sell products from Apple, from Sony, from Microsoft, and from any other big brand that you've heard of before. Those are big brands. They do not want you reselling their product. However, I will show you, of course, what products you can sell, what suppliers you can use so that you won't get into any of this type of trouble. Okay, so how do we actually start selling on Amazon? This is step number four out of the five steps to learn how to sell on Amazon successfully and make your first few sales right after watching this video. So step number one is to connect Amazon to AutoDS. Now I've mentioned AutoDS in this video. It'll help you automate your business. And in automating, I mean all of the products that you're going to add from your suppliers to Amazon will be done so automatically through the AutoDS dropshipping tool. And it's going to help automate your business when it comes to price monitoring and stock monitoring. So if the price changes on your supplier's website or the stock changes on your supplier's website, those same changes will also be made on your Amazon seller account. So for example, if your supplier raises the price from $10 to $20, you don't want to lose those $10 because you didn't also change the price also on your Amazon store. And the same goes for the stock status. If the product goes out of stock on your supplier's website, you don't want to be selling a product that's out of stock. And then you'll have to start canceling orders and refunding your buyers. And then you'll have some unsatisfied customers. Nobody wants that. And that is why we need automation, especially once we start to scale our business and you start to sell hundreds of products, start making lots of sales, lots of profits, the only way to keep up and keep scaling and keep profiting more and more is through dropshipping automation. And this is where AutoDS comes in. Now, of course, there are more things like it helps you add products really quickly in just a few seconds. I'm going to show you everything soon. And it also helps automate your order. So as soon as an order comes in from your buyers, it'll get sent out automatically, even while you're traveling or sleeping or simply not in front of your computer. This way, your customers are also going to get their products super fast because everything is simply being automated for you. The only thing that you need to do is find winning products and add them to your store, all of which you have shortcuts to the best winning products from everything that I just showed you. But let's go ahead and understand exactly how this works. So first, just go to AutoDS.com and register for your $1 trial. Once you do that, you'll be inside the system. Now you simply need to add your Amazon store. So first, add your Amazon store subscription if you haven't done so yet. If you haven't done it when you registered your account, so just do it by going to settings. 
plans and add-ons and make sure that the Amazon plan is activated. Next, simply click right here on your stores on the top left, click on add store, select Amazon as your store type, click continue and proceed to the connection process. Everything here is pretty seamless. Once that happens, you're connected and you can start automating your business. So after you easily connected your Amazon store to AutoDS, it's time to start adding your products. But before that, we wanna set our shipping policies, our return policies, so that when we add our products, they'll have the right policies in them. Our customers will understand exactly when the products are gonna ship out, what the return policies are. And all of this, of course, is mandatory to start selling on Amazon. So now make sure that you have the professional plan so that you can offer for faster shipping and more options that you'll need to be able to enter and win the buy box. Now, one more thing that's really important to mention is no matter what supplier you're going to use, you can get a better sourcing request from AutoDS. And this is a huge advantage that you can have over other dropshippers. So for example, here I am on the products page and here's some dog toy that I have on one of my stores. I can click right here on more options and make a sourcing request. Now, once I made that sourcing request, once I go to the order screen, I have this sourcing request option here. And here I can see all of the products that I asked a sourcing request for. So what this means is AutoDS is now going to search for a better supplier for this product that either has faster shipping, a lower price so that I can make more profit and this product will reach my buyers so that I can not only make more profit, but it's also going to reach my buyer faster. It's a win-win situation and this way we can find better suppliers to work with. So right now I just created the request so we can see that the sourcing status is in progress and once the AutoDS system finds a better supplier, a better source for for this product, I'm gonna see the new source price here, the shipping time, and I can add this new source to my product. So no matter what supplier you're using, you can make a sourcing request to find an even better one. So that being said, let's move over to the next step. We connected Amazon to AutoDS. We're ready to start automating our business. Now we wanna set our break even and our profit percentage and more things. So for that, we're simply gonna head over to AutoDS, click on settings. I'm gonna make this one quick because you have all of the explanations on AutoDS's website and YouTube channel. So first, I'm going to add a supplier and I'm going to say every time I add a product from AliExpress from China or from the United States, I'm going to click on add supplier. And now I can add the supplier settings for every time I add a product from AliExpress US. Of course, I can do the same thing for AliExpress China and other regions and about 30 more dropshipping suppliers, including Timu, which is a new supplier. Many people call it the AliExpress killer because they're a huge, huge competitor offering 90 day returns and faster shipping times than AliExpress, AutoDS sourcing, Shopify, Macy's, Kohl's, Catch, and so many other suppliers. But let's just keep it simple for now. AliExpress US, I can enter the default product quantity, what shipping methods I want to use and other options and what i want to do is i want to first go to the pricing now remember how i showed you that there are referral fees on amazon let's say that i'm going to sell products around the 15 percent referral fees so my break even is 15 percent and on top of that i want to make another let's say 50 percent in profit and you can also add a selected dollar amount for your profits. I can also do more things like make dynamic profits depending on the price ranges of the product, but let's again keep things simple for now and leave it at this. So my break even is 15%, so when I add a product, AutoDS is gonna take into consideration that I have 15% fees on this product, and then it's gonna add 50% more profit. So for example, if a product costs $100 and I wanna make 50% profit and another 30 cents, cause that's what I have down here, then the total product price is gonna be sold for $100. $176. Then I've got my orders so I can automate my orders and have them sent out as soon as they come in and other settings that we don't really need to get into now. So I'm going to save my settings and that is how we set our break even and profit percentages. Next, we're gonna talk about configuring return and shipping policies on Amazon. This is really important before we start adding our products. So how is this done? And then I'm gonna show you how to add your products and how to add good products that have a really, really high chance of selling using years and years of product research experience. So here I am back on my Amazon seller account. I'm gonna click here on this wheel and I'm gonna click on account info. Here we can see my seller profile. So my current seller account is active, e-commerce drop LLC, as I have showed you before. I've got the professional account, which is needed for automation and for better settings. Fulfillment by Amazon is registered, even though I'm not gonna use it. And I've also got Amazon business registered. But what do we actually need to do here? So I'm gonna click here on return address and shipping settings. This is how I'm gonna set my return policies and my shipping policies, which is really important to do before we start adding our first products. So here on the return settings, I'm applying for Amazon USA. Canada and Mexico isn't really important right now, even though I can also sell there, especially Canada, which is a good choice. But let's keep it again, simple, basic, so that we can start making our first sales. So the return authorization is gonna be in policy Amazon. 
It's enrolled, as you can see, I'm enrolled for Amazon prepaid return labels. The label type is gonna be Amazon prepaid. The return merchandise authorization or RMA is gonna be on the seller. I'm going to provide the buyer with the return label and labels for exempt items is seller prepaid. So this means that I'm going to provide my buyer with a return label if they wanna open a return request. And what I'm gonna have to do then is notify my supplier that I need a return label. And of course, if I'm eligible for one, I'm gonna get one from my supplier and I'm gonna send that return label to my customer on Amazon. And once the customer returns it, I can check by the tracking label that I have on the return label. Then I'm gonna get a refund from my supplier and I'll be able to send the refund to my buyer. Then we've got click here to write instructions, which is important to do. So we're gonna click on that and we're gonna write a message to our buyer. Please wait for the return label before sending the item back. So this way they will not use our default return address, which I will show you in a second. Okay, so we're gonna add this message. So this way the buyer will know that they need to wait for a return label. But we also need to add a return address. We don't actually want the buyer to return it to this return address because we're dropshipping, we're going to be sending the products from multiple warehouses. So we don't know exactly where they need to return it until we actually apply for a return label ourselves through our supplier. So here we're still gonna have to enter a default return address. So I'm going to click here on the edit button and I'm going to select in this case, my California warehouse, which is just a random address that I got from California where they have lots of warehouses. And I'm going to use this return address for products that I'm shipping from the US. If I'm shipping from China, I'm going to use a different address in China. Okay, so I'm going to click on use this address. Okay, and we can see right here, on USA, I'm gonna use the California warehouse. Now, if you have more than one return address, and in this case we do, because we could be selling from different locations, I could click on manage your return address and I can add a new address. And this time, instead of USA, I'm gonna put one in China. In case I'm shipping from China, I want the return to be to China. So in this case, I'm going to enter an address in China, and then I'll also be able to choose that as the return service once and if I get a return request from my buyers from a product that was shipped from China. Okay, so that's exactly exactly how you're gonna do that. And again, we've set a message to tell the buyer to wait for the return label so that they won't actually send it to one of these return addresses. So that is how we're gonna set our return policies on Amazon. But what about the shipping policy? So again, from the account info on Amazon, I clicked on shipping settings and that opened up this page right here. And this is the current template that I have. This is for a product that I imported that's being shipped from the US. That's again, this product right here that's shipped from the United States. So in this case, I created a USA shipping zone but we can also create China shipping zones and other regions depending on where we're dropshipping from. So what you can do is click on create a new shipping template, but let me show you the one that I created. So I'm gonna click on edit template and I'm gonna scroll down here to domestic shipping. So I simply selected all of the 50 countries in the United States. And since California is the warehouse, it has a faster transit time. It means how long it takes the product to reach our buyers as soon as it's shipped. And as soon as it's shipped is the handling time, which I'll show you in a second. So as we can see here, I've got $0 on shipping, meaning I'm offering free shipping to my buyers. Even if I'm paying for shipping through AliExpress or whatever supplier I'm using, AutoDS can take that shipping price, include it in the source price, and we're still gonna keep our 50 percent profit or whatever it is while we're going to offer free shipping to our buyers. So I've got shipping on zero dollars and this is for standard shipping. I don't have expedited shipping, two day delivery or one day delivery. I can also add international shipping, but again, we're going to keep things simple at the start. So it's that simple to create a shipping template. I can click here to create a new shipping template. So if I go back one step, you can see here that I've got this shipping template and this is what I'm using for the product that I added from the US. And you can see right here the transit time, the shipping free, and that's how simple it is to create your shipping policy. So that's shipping templates right here. And here I can click on general shipping settings. As we can see, the address name is my California warehouse. I've got the address. And as I scroll down here, I can set the handling time. So this is how long it takes to ship out the product. I can click on edit right here. And I've set two days for how long it takes me to provide a shipping label. Because it's from the US to the US, I know that we're gonna make it in this handling time and it's no problem at all. And that is exactly what we're seeing here on the product page where I won the buy box. I'm first place and I usually ship within two to three days from my seller account. So that is how we configure our return and shipping policies. Now let's finally import our first product. Now before we import the product to our store, we wanna make sure that we, well, can actually import it and add it to our Amazon store. So in order to do that, here's exactly what you need to know. So let's start with the conventional method of just going to Amazon's best sellers 
or you know what, let's even go to their movers and shakers to find products that are trending right now. And I wanna look for an evergreen product that can sell all year long. Like for example, check out this vegetable chopper spiralizer tool right here. Okay, I'm gonna click on that and I wanna make sure that there's a market for this. I wanna make sure that there's actually demand for this product. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna search for a spiralizer vegetable chopper on Amazon and I wanna see what the demand is for these types of products. So as you can see, I'm scrolling down and you can see just how many people are purchasing this product right now. For example, this one right here has over 90,000 people who bought it just in the last month. This one right here, 600 in the last month, 10,000 in the last month, 200 in the last month, over 10,000 in the last month. So as you can see, this is a pretty popular product that's trending right now. And this is one of those evergreen products that sell all year long. So let's say I wanna sell one of these products. I wanna add them to my store. In order to do that, I'm going to enter the product listing and I'm going to look for the have one to sell, sell on Amazon button that we have right here on the right side. So just scroll down a bit, look on the right side and you won't be able to see this if you're logged into your Amazon account. Right now I'm not logged in. So I can see this have one to sell button. But if you're logged in, then you won't see that button. You're gonna have to do it the other way around. You're gonna have to go to your Amazon seller account, in this case, right here. And I'm gonna click on the menu on the top left and I'm going to go to catalog and click on add products. Now here, I can check to see if I can actually resell this product. Before I do that, I am going to look for a supplier for this product to make sure that I can actually purchase this product from someone, from one of the suppliers, from one of the sources once I make a sell. But first I wanna check if I can even resell this product. So I'm just gonna grab the products ASIN. Okay, I can do that by grabbing it from up here in the URL. But if you're not sure what the ASIN looks like, you can just conduct a search on your browser for the word ASIN and you'll find it here under product information. So we got the ASIN. This is the ASIN right here. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm gonna go back to the add product section. And here I'm going to put the ASIN right here. Because again, we are going to enter buy boxes. We're not creating our own listings. It's gonna take way too much time to create our own product on Amazon, to register the brand and to do all of that. This is not dropshipping. This is not automation. So we're going to enter the buy box, make a better offer from this seller so that when anyone adds this product to their cart, especially on a product that's selling hundreds of products per month, we're gonna be making those sales. So in order to do that, we're gonna enter the ASIN right here when we clicked on add a new product. Then I'm gonna click on search. Now this this is the thing, you need to be eligible to sell this product. And many of these products require brand approvals. And I'm gonna show you how you can work around that. Okay, so this one has limitations. You don't even have the option to apply to sell this product. So this is one example, I cannot resell this product. Let's just check out another one really quick before I show you the best workaround for this. Let's try this vegetable chopper right here. Okay, I'm gonna enter the ASIN right here and I'm gonna click on search. Here, I actually have a an option to sell a new or a used product. However, this one still requires brand registry. So if I click on new, I need to apply to sell this product. So after I click on that, you can see right here that it says you need approval to sell this product, request approval. I'm not gonna do that, it's gonna take way too much time. So what is the trick to these brand approvals? How can we work around it and find products where we can actually enter the buy box, just like I did with this dog button record talking pet communication toy right here. So first of all, we can try to get help from the Jungle Scout free extension. So let's say I wanna search for this product and see how well it's selling. So I'm gonna search for it on Amazon and the extension right here, you can see that it's loading up with the product's details and we can see how many other sellers are selling this product. Now, as you can see here, one seller for this product and one seller for this product. So if we only have one seller, those brands will most likely require approval. We wanna find those products that are, first of all, not fulfilled by Amazon. So we don't have this prime icon here because if it's fulfilled by Amazon, we won't be able to compete with those sellers. So what sellers can we compete with? Those that are not prime and those that have a number of sellers who are entering that buy box. So how are we gonna do that without scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and using this extension? Here is the number one way to enter the buy box. So first, look for the product that you wanna sell, make sure that it's trending, just like that search that I showed you. Only here, I'm gonna rely on the winning products because I know that these products are trending right now and I can find the supplier and I can do it without brand approval. So check it out, I'm just gonna scroll a bit and let's choose one of these products that we have on the winning products. 
like this lower back pain relief product right here. This of course is a good dropshipping product. All of the products under winning products are dropshipping products. And we can see right here that the ad copy for this product got about 6,000 engagements, over 700 comments, over a thousand shares. So this one is selling pretty well for this seller. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take this product and I'm gonna search for it on Amazon. So I'm gonna copy some of the title, then I'm gonna head over to Amazon and I'm gonna search for this specific product. Only now I can see again that 200 are buying this in the last month, 4,000 are buying a similar product, 2,000 are buying another type of this product, 200 and so forth. But I wanna find the sellers where I can actually enter the buy box. So what I'm gonna do here is on the sort buy, instead of featured, I'm gonna go for newest arrivals. And here I can find the sellers who just created the ASIN for this product, and I will most likely be able to enter the buy box. Okay, so I can see that there's a lot of new sellers who are listing this product right here. As we can see on the winning products, it's the same product. We've got the pink variation, the blue variation, and it looks exactly like this. But let's also make sure that we have a supplier for these products. Even though we can source it later on with AutoDS and find even cheaper suppliers, we still wanna make sure that we can find a supplier for this product. So I'm gonna do the same search on AliExpress. And of course, there are other ways to find the product on AliExpress. For example, I can right click on the image right here and I can do a Google search. I can click on search image with Google and it's gonna find this image on other websites like AliExpress and other sellers, other websites who are selling this product. Okay, but in this case, I'm just gonna head to AliExpress search for the product and I can see all of these results right here. For example, let's go to one that looks exactly the same, which is this one right here. Okay, so I can see that this seller right here is selling it for $12.90, but I still wanna maybe be able to find a cheaper one that's also selling it a lot, like this one right here for $3. There's probably gonna be a shipping price. Yes, $7.86, so this one is about $11. And let me just try another one. This one right here for $10.50. Looks like they ship a little bit quicker. So this one can get delivered within 12 days, which is pretty quick. So I'm going to close the other ones and it costs 10 and a half dollars with free shipping. We've also got free returns, which is great because we're also gonna offer free returns on our Amazon accounts, which again, if we go back to the return settings on Amazon, we can click on return program settings right here and we can click right here. I wanna offer free returns for all items or for some of the items and you can select which ones. Okay, so that's again, a little bit about the return settings. So this is the right seller that we wanna buy from. This is the right supplier that we wanna use. Unless of course we found a cheaper source on AutoDS, but if not, we're gonna use this seller right here. So we've got the same exact product right here. Let's see if we can sell this product on Amazon. So let's click on one of the listings and enter it right here. So you can see that this seller right here created the ASIN for this product. He created the product page. So of course they did all the hard work for us. Only this one takes a long time. In this case, from December to January, where we can have it delivered about one to two months before that. So we can offer much faster shipping than this seller right here. So I won't have the have one to sell button here because I'm already logged into my Amazon account. So again, I'm just going to copy the ASIN once again, right click copy. Then I'm gonna go back to Amazon and I'm going to add a new product. So again, I'm gonna click on add products and I'm gonna put the ASIN right here and click on search. Okay, it found the product and as you can see, I have the button to sell this product without having to request any approval. So again, I'm gonna click on select a condition. I'm gonna go with new. Then I'm gonna click on sell this product. Now here is how I can import this product to my store. Okay, I need to set in all the settings, like what price I wanna sell it for, but I'm not sure because I need to see my break even settings. That's why I'm going to import the product through AutoDS, the quantity. And of course, we're gonna ship this item ourselves. We're not gonna use fulfilled by Amazon and the quantity and what marketplaces and so forth. But again, we wanna have price automation, stock automation, automatic orders and the rest of the automation settings. We wanna have the sourcing options and all of that. So in order to do that, we're not gonna upload the product from here. I'm gonna head back to AutoDS and I'm gonna click on add product and single product. Now it's asking me, what is the Amazon product that we wanna sell? Or what is that ASIN where we want to enter the buy box? So again, I've got it copied right here. This is the product, this is the buy box that we're going to enter right now. Then I'm gonna go back to AutoDS and enter this as the ASIN. Next is the supplier URL. So who is the supplier for this product? And of course, this is my supplier right here. So I'm just going to copy the URL for this product and I'm gonna paste it right here under the supplier URL. So in this case, the supplier source is AliExpress and I'm gonna click on edit now quick so that I can optimize some parts of this product before publishing it on my Amazon store. And as we can see, I've got the product right here on my drafts page. 
So there are some things that I cannot change, like the product's title, as you can see here, it's grayed out. I cannot touch the brand. I cannot touch the product description because I'm entering the buy box of a product that's already on Amazon. So I cannot change it because the seller already put in the hard work for us. Only what we can control is for example, the product tags so that we can of course analyze our products later and see which tags are selling well, which ones we need to replace and remove. So in this case, I'm gonna add another tag called pillows. So later I can, for example, go to my products page, search for the pillows tag, see how pillows are selling and make my decisions from there. And of course I wanna have stock monitoring, price monitoring and automatic orders on because without automation, scaling will simply not be possible. And another cool thing is that I can add more variations if the seller has them, but this one is only selling the gray version, so I cannot add more variations to this product. But if I could, then of course I can grab more variation colors right here in AliExpress. Then I've got the product images, which we cannot touch because again, that's what the seller created on Amazon. And we've got the item specifications, which once again, we cannot change that. What we can change, however, of course, is the price. So if I click on the variation settings, we can see that I've got my break even set right here. So it's 15% and I've got my selling price so I can choose for example to round it to 99 cents so it's going to be 14.99 but let's see exactly how much this seller is selling it for so he's selling it for 37.99 you know what let's kill him in the buy box let's sell this one for 29.99 and of course don't mind the pink variation we can change it to the gray one but this is just a quick example of how we're going to do it and of course when we get an order we are going to send out the correct variation color in any case once we are done we're going to click on save and import and that is pretty much all there is to it. This product is now gonna be added to our Amazon store and we can start selling it right away. Now, it could probably take a few days for the product to win the buy box on Amazon. You're not gonna see it right away. You will see that you are another seller for this product, but this seller is still gonna be first place for a couple of days until Amazon sees that you have a cheaper price, you have better shipping, and then you're gonna take over the buy box like I showed you with the previous product. So as we can see, the import process finished and it moved from drafts to the product section of my store. So we can see the product right here. And this means that it's actually live on my Amazon store. So if I go back to my Amazon Seller Central, I'm gonna click right here on the top left, hover over inventory and click on manage all inventory so I could see all my products. Now, instead of the two dog toy variations that I showed you before, we can see the new product that I just added. Okay, so we can see it right here on Amazon. Now, Amazon is reviewing the listing, so right now it's incomplete, but in just a few minutes to a few hours, it's gonna move to the active status. And that means that we're also gonna be able to see it right here once we refresh this product page on Amazon. By the time you're watching this video, of course, you can go to this listing and you can see that I am the seller who won the buy box here. And that is how simple it is to add products to your Amazon store, get the brand approval, and understand how to find these products that are not only best sellers and that are trending right now, but also how to find products that you can pass the brand approval and not put up with requesting for approval and all of the time consuming things that come with that. Now I have a couple of more links inside the Amazon cheat sheet. Again, hashtag Amazon 2024. Leave that in the comments below with what you learned from this video and I will send you this cheat sheet. And of course, do like and share this video if you appreciate the value and subscribe subscribe to our YouTube channel if these are the types of videos that you love to watch. We have hundreds of tutorials, hundreds of winning products, even thousands of winning products, and so much more going on there. Now, once we listed our products, it's inevitable. These are winning products. We listed them on Amazon. There's millions of online shoppers on Amazon every day. We're gonna start making sales. And once that happens, it's finally time to start fulfilling our orders. Now, once an order comes in, we're gonna see it here on the orders page on AutoDS. So you can see another pet toy that sold a lot on my Amazon store. Store. So what we can see here is all of the orders and all of the buyer's information. So if I click on one of these orders, I can see the buyer's information. I can see the order information and information about the product, like where we're getting it from, like who the supplier is, the buy variant ID, the region where we're getting it from, even though of course we can source and get better prices and get faster shipping, as I mentioned in this video. In any case, when an order comes in today on Amazon, so it's going to look like this. And in order to synchronize all of the buyer's details from your Amazon orders page to AutoDS, so in order for all of the buyer details to show up, what we're gonna have to use is the Marketplace Helper extension. It's absolutely free. You've got the link to it again in the cheat sheet. So I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna download and install this extension. And once I do that, I'm gonna have this icon right up here. And this is the Marketplace Helper extension. And this extension is gonna help copy all of the addresses that I have on my Amazon orders page from Amazon Seller Central into the orders page on AutoDS so that I can fulfill the orders automatically or manually, whatever I choose, but I'll have all the information inside the AutoDS system. 
So I'm gonna connect it to my Amazon store really easily. Then we're gonna select a sync range to tell the system how far back to go on my Amazon orders and sync them. So I can choose the last 24 hours, the last seven days, or all of my orders. So of course I'm gonna choose all to sync all of my orders and I'm gonna click on start sync. Now in a few minutes, all of the buyer's details from the Amazon Seller Central orders page is gonna move on to here so that I can fulfill my orders and I'm gonna have all of the buyer order details as we can see right here. And there's a video link explaining how to do that, of course, in the cheat sheet. So this is the orders page, this is what it looks like. And so once you get an order, you can fulfill it manually or automatically. If we choose the manual method, we're gonna click on the supplier's link right here for the product. Then we're gonna have to add it to our carts, check out and put the customer's details. So we're gonna copy and paste the customer's name and the address and the phone number and everything. And we're gonna transfer it over to our supplier and make sure that they ship out the order on time. Now this is the manual way of doing it. And once you hit five orders, 10 orders, 15 plus orders per day, you do not wanna spend all day just fulfilling orders manually. So that is why we have the automated order service. And of course we have more information on that inside the cheat sheet. But basically we've got automatic orders and fulfilled by AutoDS. These are two order automation systems that we have ready to automate your orders. The main difference between them is that automatic orders is gonna use your buyer accounts on your supplier's websites. But if using AutoDS's private suppliers and product sourcing and all of the best automation features that we have ready for 2024, you're gonna be using the fulfilled by AutoDS, which means AutoDS will use their own buyer accounts. You just have to top up balance so that AutoDS can pay for those orders and everything will be automated for you. The only thing that you'll need to do manually is update tracking information once that's available. So you're gonna have to get the details from AutoDS or from your suppliers if you did it manually and update the Amazon Seller Central on the orders page so that your customers will get the tracking information and Amazon will see that you did ship out the orders. But once you have automatic orders automated for you, it's gonna make your life so much easier and save you so much time that you can invest back into growing your business, opening up more stores, doing more product research and making more sales and profit. So again, more information on that in, in the cheat sheet. There's no reason to go over it more in this video. Besides that, we're gonna have to deal with returns. It's not a big issue. Returns is usually around one to 2% of our business. And again, it's not gonna take up most of our time, but I already went over how to create our return policies and what to do once a customer opens a return request. So we wanna be working with suppliers that offer great return policies. And of course we can find these suppliers on the AutoDS marketplace through the private suppliers and also all of the retail and wholesale suppliers that you can automate your business with, with quick product importing, price and stock monitoring and automatic orders with over 30 dropshipping suppliers, as you can see right here, including new ones, as I mentioned before in this video, like Timu, Kohl's, Macy's, Shane, C Discount, and so much more. So this is what it's all about. Automation, saving time so that you can really scale your business and have more time to spend with your family, with your loved ones, and growing your dropshipping empire. So whether you wanna have another side hustle to add to your regular day job, or if you wanna turn this into your main hustle and do all of your work online through dropshipping, the possibilities are endless. Once we add automation, there's a huge advantage to it because there's only so much that we can do manually. Now there's many more things inside the AutoDS system that I did not go over. For example, the ability to add virtual assistants to help you with your product research adding products so that you can really spend zero time on your Amazon store and have everything automated for you. But before you do that, make sure that you did do it first, that you did learn how to do it, how to find the right product, start making your first few sales before hiring virtual assistants so that you can teach them the right way how to manage and grow your business. Besides that, you also have an academy. It's included inside the AutoDS subscription. And here you have tons of videos on Amazon and other selling channels on product finding and so many more videos that will help you gain an advantage over your competitors. And all of these videos, again, are absolutely free. All of this academy is included inside your AutoDS subscription. So be sure to check that out. And of course, there are more things that I can just not fit into this video. Now, besides that, all that's left is providing great customer service to our buyers. The better service we offer our customers, the more they'll want to return and purchase from us and refer their friends and their family to also buy from us. And of course, we want to keep our seller accounts active for many, many years forward, because this is a great passive income source once we learn to do it the right way. So take all of the steps that I showed you in this video. Again, hashtag Amazon 2024. Let me know what you learned in this video in the comments below. I will send you this cheat sheet with everything that I went over in this video. And that is pretty much all there is to it. Enjoy the automation, enjoy the extra scaling and enjoy the extra sales and profits. Now I added more additional resources inside the cheat sheet below. Not going to go over it now, but there is more bonus perks inside. So what are some of the best things about dropshipping on eBay? Let's go over the pros and the cons before we dive into it. So one of the things that I love about 
about eBay is that you can literally start with zero dollars and you won't have any expenses until you'll start making sales. This platform has millions of online shoppers with an intent to purchase. That means that people are opening up eBay because they want to buy something. They'll search for something on eBay search field. And if you are selling something similar to what people are searching for, they're going to get to your listing and purchase. So because eBay has millions of online shoppers coming in every day, this platform offers you free organic traffic to your listings. As soon as you list a product, it could start selling even if you didn't put any marketing efforts into it. Next, nowadays eBay offers 250 free listings to get started and that's why it makes it easy to get started with zero dollars as a budget. So you can start listing 250 items for sale and you will not be upgrading your store subscription until you'll start making sales. We're going to go over all of that soon and it's really easy to start selling on eBay. You don't have to create a store from scratch. You don't need any technical skills. Just register and list your first product. Next, eBay has many free marketing methods, those of which I will show you in this video. You can sell from any anywhere around the world and as I mentioned no technical skills required. Some of the cons or disadvantages of selling on eBay is that eBay will limit you to the amount of listings that you can sell especially if you haven't sold before and you just created a new account. But I will show you how you can overcome this and get high selling limits. Next, you cannot collect your customers' emails on eBay. So when someone orders from you, eBay will keep their email address so you won't be able to send out email marketing promotions to them. But there are very effective marketing methods that I will go over. And lastly, verification for new sellers. So if you haven't sold yet on eBay, you're going to have to go through a verification process, all of which I will show you how to do it the right way so that your account will get verified and you can start selling from day one. All right, so let's get started and register our new eBay account for selling. Before we do that, if you are new here, I'm Leon, the content manager at AutoDS. And if this is the kind of content that you would like to see, head over and subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have many more video tutorials on how to get started dropshipping, what products to sell, case studies, interviews of other successful dropshippers, and so much more. And here are all of the topics that we're going to go over in this video, not including all of the golden nuggets that I'm going to throw out inside this video. So we're going to start off by registering our eBay account. We're going to list our first item. We're going to go through eBay selling limits, store subscriptions and selling fees, business policies for shipping and returns, shipping and selling preferences, finding winning products to sell, and this is a really, really important part of it, products to avoid selling on eBay, eBay dropshipping suppliers with fast shipping, we're going to go over the best suppliers there, importing products to your eBay store so that you can actually start adding products and start selling, marketing and promotions, ways to get more traffic to your listings, free and paid methods, order fulfillment because at this stage orders will start coming in, dealing with cases and returns, dealing with flagged accounts, maintaining a high eBay seller level, and automating and scaling our business. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Let's go ahead and get started with step number one. So before we register our eBay accounts, we first need to figure out what region we want to sell on. There are several regions that we can choose, including eBay.com, which means that our domestic audience will be in the US, eBay CO UK, which is eBay UK, eBay DE, which is eBay Germany, eBay France, eBay Italy, Australia, Spain, and Canada. So those are all of the regions that we can sell on. In this example, I'm gonna keep it on eBay US because that is where I'm selling. So the first step is to actually register for your account. So go to the region where you wanna sell, for example, eBay.com. Then we're gonna click on register on top. Now, I don't need a step-by-step -step on how to register an account. You just need to fill in all of the information as you can see it right here. And basically what eBay is looking for is your full name, your address, your date of birth, your social security number if you live in the US. It doesn't matter if you wanna to sell to the US and you don't live in the US, obviously you don't need a SSN number there. So that is for an individual account and then you also have your business account. For the business account, you'll need to fill in the business name, your registered business address, phone number, registration number, and tax information. Now, if you're wondering if you should start with an individual or a business account, the answer to that is it really doesn't matter. You can start with an individual account in the beginning, and as you start to make sales and scale, you can transfer that to a business account later on. Or you can start with a business account right away if you've already registered your business. Now, regarding business registration and taxation and all of that, we're gonna get to all of that in this video. But it doesn't matter if you're gonna start with an individual or a business account. After we register our individual or business, account, we need to connect our eBay account to manage payments. Now, if you live in the USA, eBay is going to send out your payouts directly to your bank account. This means that when someone buys from your eBay store, eBay is going to collect that payment and they're going to send it directly to your bank account. And if you live outside the USA, eBay is going to connect you with Payoneer, which is a virtual bank account. So they will send the payouts to Payoneer and from Payoneer, you can withdraw the profits to your bank. So this is going to be the next part after registering to your eBay account, you're going to have to connect your account to manage payments. 
And I've got the resources right here below to teach you exactly how to do that. And this is what it's going to look like in the end. And under here in your financial summary, you can see exactly what's going on with your payouts, how much money eBay is holding at the moment and when they're going to send it out. But we're going to get to all that later. If you need help with that, use the resources below, how to create an eBay seller account and how to connect Payoneer to eBay managed payments. You have the links to it in the cheat sheet. And again, if you want access to this cheat sheet, just comment below hashtag eBay 2024. Let me know what you learned in this video. What is your top takeaway? and I will send you this cheat sheet in the comments below. So after we registered our eBay account, it's time to list our first item. And the first time we list an item, we want to do it completely manually from eBay's website. The reason for that is because we want eBay to see us as a brand new seller, selling things that we have laying around the house. And that's exactly what we're going to do. And the reason for that is if eBay sees that we are reselling right from the start, they could temporarily suspend our account and want to get to know us by phone, by chat or by email before verifying our account and letting us sell. That's because they want to get to know their sellers first. And the easy way to bypass that is to start by selling items that we have around the house. So here, for example, I'm going to list these pens up for sale. Now, if you have a new product that's still in its original package, it's even better. You can still sell used products, but if you have something that's closed, start with that. So we're going to go to eBay and we're going to create a new listing. And the first thing you can see here is tell us what you're selling. So here it's these colored pens, right? So I'm going to write colored pens and here we go. Colored pen set. So I'm going to go with that and I'm going to click on this search button. Now eBay is asking, is this the product that you want to sell? Because they want to know if they should add us to some buy box. Only in this case, I'm going to go with continue without match because that's simply not the product and we're not going to enter any buy box. Select the condition of your item. We're going to go with new. And here we're going to start to fill in the information. We're going to upload some images of the product and make sure that you're not going to write things like subtitles, which is optional, which is going to cost us two dollars. We want to do it for zero dollars. And as I mentioned, eBay's right now is offering 250 free listings to list right from the start. So this listing is going to be one of those 250 completely free. So fill in all of the information, the product information, how much you want to sell it for. And you'll also need to create your shipping policy. Now I'm going to go over shipping policies soon, but in this case, make sure that the shipping policy shows that it's being shipped out from your current location. This is not going to be the case for once we start drop shipping. And that's pretty much it. Once you're done, preview your listing, make sure that it looks all right, and then go ahead and click on list it. Then you'll have your first item up for sale. Now, again, the recommendations here are to sell an item that you have laying around the house, preferably a new item rather than a used one. Make sure that it's not a copyrighted or trademarked product. And just for the start, don't sell from the electronics category. This is one of the main tips that other people will not talk about. You can definitely sell electronics once you'll start dropshipping. But if your first product that you're listing is from the electronics category, that's going to trigger another red flag for eBay to just temporarily suspend your account so that they can verify your information by phone. Now, I'm not sure exactly why that is, because I've been selling electronics for years now. But one of my first few stores got suspended when I started with an electronics product. Now, let's go over eBay selling limits, because as I mentioned, eBay is only going to allow you to list 10 items or $500 per sales right from the start. And if you can see, I took the screenshot from one of my eBay stores. I've got a 4,000 limit on quantity of items and $130,000 limit in product listings and sales. But again, new account selling limits will be 10 items or $500. Now there is a way to bypass this by purchasing eBay stores that are up for sale that already have lots of limits. But for this, you're going to have to find a marketplace like Flippa to search for eBay stores that are up for sale or to simply find agents who connect between between the buyers and the sellers. But if you don't have that starting budget, you want to start off on your own, you're going to start off with 10 items or $500 in sales. So what exactly does that mean? This means that if you list one item, then you'll only have nine items left. And if that one item costs $100, then you're going to have $400 left. So it's going to be nine items and 400 instead of 10 and 500. And when someone purchases that product, that also counts as your monthly limit. So this means that from nine items, if somebody purchases one of them, you're going to go down to eight items and $300 instead of 400. So that's just an example. The items you list and the items you sell will both be counted into using your monthly selling limits. Now, once your limits are completely full, you can ask eBay to increase your eBay selling limits. Now, I have an article linked inside the cheat sheet that will show you how to increase your eBay selling limits. This is the article right here. You can learn all about selling limits, how to check it, see where you stand, see what the prerequisites quizzes are. And as you can see right here, you want to get to this point where you listed all of your 10 items, 
You used up all of your $500 so that now you can list zero more items, zero dollars in amount, and this is the perfect time to get eBay on the phone or by chat or by email and ask them to upgrade your limits because you already used them all up. So if we go back to my eBay selling dashboard, you can see my monthly limits right here. Now these monthly limits refresh every month. So when you list a product, when you list an item on eBay, it's going to be there for 30 days. And after 30 days, it's going to keep refreshing itself. So when it refreshes itself, that's when it's going to count as another item that you listed or sold. So when the item refreshes every 30 days, if you didn't take it down, then it's going to be counted as another product that you listed. And when the month is over and you're starting a new month, that product is not going to count as a product that was listed until of course it's 30 days or over again. So I don't wanna jump into this now because you have all of the explanations inside this article on eBay selling limits. But basically what you wanna know about eBay selling limits is that you wanna fill up your selling limits before trying to upgrade it. Make sure that you have no open returns or cases, things that we'll jump into later. Your seller account needs to be in good standing and you have to have a verified managed payments account as we did when we registered our eBay account. Those are the prerequisites. Once you have all of that in order to increase your limits, the best way is to get an automatic limit increase by eBay, like this screenshot that I took from one of my emails that I got from eBay, so you can see right here. Hi Liron, congratulations, you've been doing a great job selling on eBay and we've noticed. How would you like to list even more? Now you can. Here's how much you can list now every month. So from 370 items to 710, and from $9,500 to $18,500. This was just one of my automatic limit increases. Of course, there were more that came to it. In order to get these emails from eBay, you actually have to start making sales and your limits need to be around the full zone so it's going to be around orange or red instead of this green that i just showed you right here so that is one of my limit increases the best way to do it is to get automatic limit increases but if that does not happen from ebay you can simply request to list more so back to my ebay dashboard you can see that i've got this button right here request to list more i can simply click on it and you can see it says request higher selling limits. Here are some ways to get more items on eBay. Select one to continue. I've only got verified through customer support. I'm gonna click on continue. And that is how you can request a higher selling limit. And the third way to do it is to simply get eBay on the phone, on email or on chat. Now the most recommended method is by phone. The reason for that is because if you do it through email or through chat, they're going to start a 30 day timer before you can actually make the same request. So if you get them on email or on chat and they told you that they will not increase your limits at the moment, you'll have to wait 30 days before making that request again. However, by phone, if for some reason they said no in the first conversation, you can call them up again five minutes later. You'll talk to another representative. They won't know about the previous ones that you talked to because in most cases, eBay will not check phone history logs. So it's better to do it by phone. It's the most effective method. And you can learn exactly how to do that by reading this article on increasing eBay eBay selling limits. So don't want to get into it now. You have all of the information that you need inside this resource. Next, let's go over eBay store subscriptions and selling fees. It's important to understand exactly what our expenses are, how much we're going to pay and when we're going to pay it. And I did mention that we're going to start with a budget of zero dollars and I stick to that. However, if we do not understand how to select our store subscriptions and do it the right way, we're going to end up spending money even though we don't really have to. So here's everything you need to know about store subscriptions and selling fees on eBay. So how much does it cost? to dropship on eBay. The first thing that we need to take into consideration is the store subscription fees. There are store subscriptions that we will need, but only later on once we start making sales and profit. I will go over that soon. Then there are insertion fees. Every time we list a product for sale, there is an insertion fee. However, I did mention that we have 250 free insertion fees that eBay is giving us right now. And after that, we're going to create a store subscription, which will give us even more insertion fees included in that package. Then we've got our final value fees. This will only have to be paid once we actually make a sale. So again, there are no final value fees until we actually make a sale. Then we've got promotional fees. Promotional fees are promotions that we are running, marketing methods, which I will get to later. And that of course will come with its fees. Now, some of these promotional fees will only have to get paid after we make a sale and some before. So again, I'm gonna go over all of that soon. But here's what we need to know about store subscriptions. So we've got a starter store, a basic, premium, anchor, and enterprise store. Those are the five store subscription tiers that we have on eBay. And we do not need to start with a starter store because we're going to get that absolutely for free. And I will explain that soon. So the starter store gives you 250 listings that you can sell. So 250 insertion listings and every additional listing on top of the 250 will cost an additional 30 cents. Now, because I mentioned that today eBay offers 250 completely free listings, 
we're actually getting the starter store for free. So that again is written right here. Beginner's tip. eBay is running a promotion on 250 free zero insertion listings. Therefore, there is no reason to purchase a starter store. Now, after we fill up those 250 listings and we want to move up to a thousand listings, we're going to need to purchase a basic store, which is what we're seeing right here, which costs $28 per month or $22 per month if we're going for an annual subscription. And if I head over to the subscriptions on one of my eBay stores right here, and we can see here that I've got the pre premium store build at $60 per month because I'm going for the annual subscription. And as you can see, it refreshes every year. So the last time it got refreshed was in December, 2022. The next time it's going to renew is on December 1, 2023, and it's going to change to December 1, 2024 and so forth. So I'm going for the annual subscription because I've been here for a while. I'm here for the long term, and so will you be after watching this video. So I showed you that I'm paying for the premium store right here for the yearly renewal of $60 per month. I don't want to pay $75. I could have been doing that for years, but I would but I would have been throwing away $25 every month for years now. So of course, I'm glad that I'm doing the annual subscription. And that is the premium store right here. That's giving me 10,000 listings per month and 10 cents per additional listing. Then we've got the anchor store giving us 25,000 listings and the enterprise giving us 100,000 listings. However, it is really important to mention that if you used up all of your 250 listings and let's say you're making some sales and profit, you know what? Let's say you're not making any sales and profit yet with those 250 listings that means that your product research is wrong and that is one of the things that we're going to touch up later on this video and it's one of the most important parts that's also why i'm giving you all of these 10 winning products for free but i'm also going to show you how to find these products through product research but let's say you filled up your 250 listings and you're already making some sales and profit and you want to move it up to a thousand listings now just because you passed 250 and you're about to move over to 251 that's not a good time to move from a starter store to a basic store because as I mentioned, the starter store is free, but even if it wasn't, you'd be paying five to $8 per month. And the basic store costs about $16 more on the annual. So you're gonna be paying $22 or $28 for a basic store up from $0 because you got 250 free listings in the starter store. So if I wanna have 251 listings, I'd rather pay 30 cents for that extra one listing rather than pay $22 or $28 for a basic store. So you need to find that sweet spot when is the right time to move to the next store once i used up my additional listings i want to know when is the right time to move to the next store so for that in the resources in the cheat sheet below you have the ebay insertion fees calculator so you'll know when is the best time to switch between store subscriptions let me give you a quick demo of how that works so this is the ebay insertion fees calculator and here you just need to give the basic information for example what store subscription do you have now a non-store a starter store so let's say we've got the starter store right here we've opt-in for managed payments and we want to list 251 items items. The total cost here is 30 cents. Why? Because we got 250 for free and each additional listing will cost us 30 cents. So for example, if we want to list 300 items, that's going to cost us $15. In this case, we still want to keep it under the starter store because we're only paying $15 for the 50 additional listings that we listed over 250. However, if we want to list 400 items, that's going to set us back $45 in insertion fees. And in that case, it's better to have a basic store and pay $22 or $28 and get 1000 listings that we can list under that subscription. So this will help you find that sweet spot of when it's time to move on to the next store. And that'll happen around 340 listings. Once you're around there, it's time to move to a basic store because that's pretty much how much it costs you. Only now you'll have a thousand listings that you can list and not just 340. So use the eBay fees insertion calculator to know when is the right time to move to the next store. All that's provided to you inside the eBay 2024 cheat sheet, which you can have once you comment eBay 2024 in the comments below. Let me know what you loved about this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, I will send you a link to this cheat sheet under your comment. So we talked about store subscriptions. We understand when is the right time to actually pay for a store subscription. Once we actually start to make sales and profit, we're going to invest our profits into the next store subscription and list more items for sale. Remember, we're not here to list 10, 20, or just 100 products. We need to to list thousands and thousands of products in order to make a substantial amount of sales and start raking in those profits to our bank accounts. In order for that to happen, we will need a store subscription later down the road. Now we learned about store subscriptions. Let's talk a little bit about final value fees. I mentioned that every time you make a sale, you're going to have to pay eBay a final value fee. And I've added more information to that in the cheat sheet below. But what you need to know here basically is you're going to have to pay a percentage of the category fee, depending on the category that you're selling on, and another 30 
cents per transaction plus an additional international selling fee if you're selling internationally and that means for example i'm selling on ebay us so my domestic audience is inside the united states and don't worry i'm going to talk to you soon about how you can open up all of your listings to the worldwide audience but in this example i'm selling on ebay us and i do not live in the us that means that i'm an international seller it doesn't mean that i'm selling internationally to the whole worldwide market but it means that i do not reside in the country that i'm selling in to my domestic audience so that's the international selling fee and now let's break that down to understand exactly what our fees are so here are the category fees for the final value fee you're going to pay a fee percentage per category plus another 30 cents per order as i mentioned so here for example let's say that we're selling under the jewelry and watches category this means that we're going to pay ebay a 15 percent fee for any product that we sell up to five thousand dollars and most of your our products are not going to be sold for over five thousand dollars so we will not go down to nine percent we're going to pay a 15 percent transaction fee so if we're selling a watch and it sells for a hundred dollars on ebay we're going to pay ebay a 15% category fee, which means $15 out of those $100 are going to go to eBay plus another 30 cents, which is a fixed fee that we're paying per order. So as I go down the categories, let's say you sold a shirt. So that goes under clothing, shoes, and accessories. So in this case, eBay is going to take an 8% category fee. If the product costs over $150, if it costs less than $150, then it's going to be 13.25% of the total transaction. Plus, of course, that extra 30 cents. In the case where it costs $150 or more, you can see that they're waving off that 30 cents per order fee. But in any case, that is small money. I'm going to talk about break evens and how much you should be profiting soon. But when drop shipping, especially on eBay, the profits are high. And I'm going to you example soon of some really high profitable products that i've been selling including a sale that i just got this morning that has over 50 dollars in profit okay so we went over store subscriptions and selling fees the last thing to know about is the international selling fee which i talked about and here we're talking around a 1.5 percent average uh, selling fee to add on top of your final value fees okay so that pretty much sums it up of course you have all the information inside the ebay cheat sheet as well as a link to an ebay fees calculator and this will help you understand what your break even is and how much you're going to profit on every product and every order so this is what the ebay fees calculator looks like and as i scroll down i can just choose whatever category i want to sell on so for example if i'm selling under jewelry and watches i'm going to choose that and i'm going to click on international payment because i'm an international seller and i've got an ebay store subscription let's say i want to sell something for $19.99 and it costs me $9.99 and no other shipping or promotion costs in this case i'm not going to make the difference which is ten dollars between them my profit is actually going to be lower it's going to be around seven dollars and that's because i have three dollars and eleven cents in fees or about fifteen percent and that is pretty much my break even. And that's what's gonna help you understand what your break even is and how much you can price your products. Again, all of the links inside the cheat sheet. Now let's talk about eBay business policies. We still have much more things to go over, including product research, how to optimize our product listing so that we'll end up on the first page on eBay and therefore get more traffic and sales, how to process our orders and so much more. But before we jump into business policies, let's go over winning product number two. As I promised in this video, I'm going to go over these winning products. I'm gonna throw them in randomly. So let's go over winning product number two i already showed you the first one in the beginning of this video which was that magical house now check out this one and this gives you an example of how much you can profit when selling on ebay and i'm not even showing you my sales yet which i'll show you soon so check out this product right here so this seller is buying it on aliexpress for three and a half dollars plus another almost eight dollars shipping so let's say about uh, 11 12 dollars total product price and here he's selling it for almost two times that price at 30.99 or 31 dollars and he already sold seven units and he's got seven people who added this to their watch list now i'm also going to show you this cool hack where you can actually see when these sellers sold these products so i'm going to show you that soon but in any case we can see the total here and that is another winning product this is a wild bird feeder this is what it looks like again this is the supplier this is where he's selling it on ebay and this is the drop shipping business model you buy low you sell high you keep the profit in the middle that's winning product number two now let's continue with the video so ebay business policies what exactly does that mean eBay business policies let your buyers understand what your shipping policies are, or in other words, how fast you can ship, what the return policy is, do you accept returns and under what conditions, and what the payment policy is, which is pretty simple because we're all working with eBay managed payments. So I don't want to dive into this too much because I'm making this video longer than it has to be, and I still want to get to the good stuff. But in any case, you have everything inside the eBay cheat sheet, including 
the links to set your eBay business policies. You have an example of what the USA shipping policy needs to look like if you are selling from into the USA. So for example, I'm using one of my USA suppliers. And of course, I'm going to go over all of the dropshipping suppliers soon. So let's say I'm working with a US supplier and I'm shipping to the US. So it's from into the USA and I get pretty fast shipping. So in this case, I'm going to set one to three business days for my shipping services. I'm going to offer free shipping and the handling time is three business days, or in other words, how long it takes me to provide a tracking number once the order is inside the system. So I'll show you what it looks like inside my eBay account, but I just want you to see the other shipping policies that you can get from the cheat sheet. So there's also the China shipping policy. So if you're shipping from China to the USA or to worldwide, you're going to choose the economy shipping from outside the US which is around 11 to 23 business days. And the handling time is going to be around five business days. Now, if you can find sellers from China who can provide a shipping label within one to two days, then you can go with a up to three day handling time, which is better because if you have handling time that's over three business days, like four and five and so forth, as you can see here, eBay says buyers will be notified of the longer handling time when they view your item. So that kind of decreases your chances of selling. doesn't mean you're not going to make sales, but you could make more sales if you would have faster shipping. So let me show you an example of what that looks like. So as you can see on my eBay account here, I can create a new shipping policy. Okay. So give it a name, for example, USA shipping. And here in the services, just make sure not to choose a specific shipping carrier like USPS or FedEx or UPS, because then the tracking information will have to come from them. So in this case, I know that I have a supplier that ships quickly from into the US. So I'm going to go with expedited shipping, which I can find right here, one to three business days. And my handling time is up to three business days. Above that is excessive and not typical, as I explained a minute ago, and I'm going to offer free shipping. Now, even if my supplier charges me for shipping, I'm not going to charge my buyers for shipping because I'm using AutoDS, which is an all-in-one automation platform. I'll talk about it soon. And this is going to help you automate and scale your business really easily so that you can invest your time in opening more stores and continuing to grow your empire or just spending more time with your friends, family, and loved ones. But in this case, because I'm going to add these products through AutoDS, AutoDS has an option to grab the supplier's shipping price and add it to my source price so that, for example, if the product costs $5 and shipping costs $2, it's going to see that as $7 as a source price. And this way, on top of my break even, it's going to keep my profit percentage that I want so that I can offer free shipping to my buyers because that's already included in my source price. So that is how to set your shipping policies really quickly. Right now, I'm not going to leave international shipping on. I'm going to explain why soon. And we're going to exclude all of the other locations because they're simply not relevant because we simply want to ship to the USA. That's just for this example. If you want to ship to the US, then I'm just going to click on save and this shipping policy will be created. Then when I add products to my store, I can set that as a shipping policy or if I'm using other suppliers with other policies, I'm going to create a policy for them and choose that policy when I upload those listings. Then you've also got the same thing for the return policy. And regarding international shipping, I've got two links here in the cheat sheet below, how to make your eBay listings available for global shipping using the integration between AutoDS and HipShipper, as well as eBay's international shipping program. So what this means is instead of just shipping to your domestic country, for example, the USA, I can actually ship my products worldwide. And this way, everybody around the world can see the product and purchase it. This is going to get me more traffic to my sales and of course more sales and profit. So those are the two ways to make it happen through HipShipper or through eBay's international shipping program. The similarities between them is that I'm going to be sending the product instead of sending it to my customer in New Zealand, for example, I'm going to send it to a, a warehouse in the middle that's actually going to take care of shipping the product to New Zealand or wherever my customer is. So HipShipper and eBay, they both have their own warehouses where you can ship the product there and they will take care of shipping it to your end customer. The reason that I use HipShipper and not eBay's international shipping program is because I enjoy automating my business. I want everything to work automatically while I travel, while I sleep, I want things to work. And in order for that to happen, I use AutoDS with HipShipper's integration. More information about that, of course, inside the eBay cheat sheet. I'm not going to get into it now on how to set it up. Again, it's very simple and you've got a video explanation inside the cheat sheet. And same goes for eBay's international shipping program. If you want to join that, you can simply click on the link there and read more about it. So now about the return policies, am I going to accept returns and what are the conditions? So mainly if your supplier that you're working with is giving you free returns, let's say for 30 days, then you are also going to accept returns from your buyers. You want to be able to offer the best service that you can so that people will not only want to purchase the product, but also come back and purchase again and again, or refer their friends and their family to also buy from you. So the better service we can offer, the higher the chance that we're going to make more sales and profit. So for this, for example, if we're getting 30 days for shipping, we're going to accept returns allowed within 30 days. The return shipping will be paid 
by either the buyer or the seller. So depending if your supplier is going to give you free shipping, you're also going to offer free shipping to your buyer and the refund method, money back or replacement. And you have the same thing for international returns. So here I'm going to create a new return policy. So I'm under returns. I'm going to click on create return policy. And here I can give it a name like free USA returns. And here I'm going to accept returns allowed within how many days 14 30 or 60 and again the return to be paid by the buyer or the seller and the refund method money back or do you also want to offer a replacement instead of money back and same goes for international returns do you accept them will you accept them and under what terms in my case i accept international returns within 14 days not 30 and the return label to be paid by the buyer instead of the seller my domestic returns are on 30 days the return label is to be paid by me by the seller i'm not actually paying for it because i'm getting it for free from my supplier and i offer money back or replacement for the international shipping i allow 14 days the return shipping will be paid by the buyer because it's international and the refund method will just be money back i don't want to send any replacements if it's international and they requested a return now don't worry too much about returns it usually takes up around one to four maybe maybe five percent of your business and if your returns are ten percent or more you should check out your products see what's wrong with them and replace them with better ones and lastly the payments policy setup this is actually very simple because you'll only have pretty much one option if you're working with ebay manage payments and that's pretty much what we're all working with at the moment so you just create a payment policy from the business policies page that i linked to and the only thing that i advise there is to not accept cash on pickup check or money order only toggle in require immediate payment when buyer uses buy it now that's it we're not creating auctions we're only creating buy it now listings and we want them to pay immediately once we get paid as i mentioned we're going to process the order using our dropshipping suppliers all of this which is going to be explained soon. The next thing that we wanna configure before we start selling on eBay is the shipping and selling preferences. So again, we've got links to it inside the cheat sheet. Guys, if you want access to it, once again, comment below, hashtag eBay 2024. Let me know what your top takeaways from this video. What did you learn? And I will reply back with this cheat sheet. Along the way, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video if you appreciate the value. Okay, so let's continue. eBay selling preferences. What we want to configure here is the return preferences. This is because we need to turn the rma number on and this is so that we can manually upload a return label if somebody opens up a return instead of ebay sending the buyer an automatic return label with our address as the return address now if you don't want your returns if you don't want your products to end up on your door and you will not get refunded by your supplier and you'll have to send a refund to your buyer if you don't want that to happening be sure to do this so i'm going to copy the link and show you how that is done so here is the selling preferences page and here under return preferences we want to click on edit and we're going to scroll down all the way and make sure that RMA number right here is on. Give me the option to add an RMA or a return authorization number to each return label. And again, this means that when a buyer opens up a return, you'll have the opportunity to upload your own return label instead of eBay doing it on your behalf. And the product will again end up in your house and you don't want that. And the second thing is under multi quantity listings, you want to turn on listing stay active when you're out of stock and buyers can see exactly how many items are left. So again, that is under the selling preferences right here under multi quantity listings. So you want to toggle both of them on so a listing stayed active when you're out of stock if a product goes out of stock then ebay will not deactivate that listing if they deactivate the listing we'll have to relist it and then we will not have the sales history that we had on that product so we want to keep the out of stock on and with auto ds i'm going to show you all this stuff soon we're going to use the item quantity of one and what happens here is every time we make a sell and the quantity goes down to zero auto ds will automatically bring it up back up to one and you will not lose the sales history because ebay kept the listing active even while you're out of stock. Being active doesn't mean that someone will be able to purchase it. They won't be able to purchase it, but it'll say that the item is out of stock instead of a message that the listing is now ended. And buyers can see exactly how many items are left. So if you have one left in stock and it's sold and the stock goes down to zero back up to one, eBay will show this message only one unit left and this will get the customers to actually want to purchase because there's only one left and they don't want to miss out on that. So that kind of creates this rush feeling and it's a good thing to have. So that's what you want to do under the selling preferences page. And we've also got the shipping preference page now what you can do here first of all is to enroll for ebay international shipping if you want to do so i talked about that earlier you can simply do that by clicking on enroll right here and you've got the rest of your shipping settings now you don't really need to touch this because it pretty much gets configured when you're creating your shipping policies and if you connect with international shipping everything here will be moved automatically 
to the other shipping policies and everything here will be edited accordingly. So you don't really need to touch anything on the shipping preferences unless you want to enable eBay international shipping. And as a resource, you have a video on how to set up site and shipping preferences for dropshipping on eBay, which is pretty much what I just went over in a summarized fashion. And now let's finally get to the good stuff. How do we find winning products to sell? In other words, product research. This is one of the most important parts when starting and running our dropshipping business, because no matter how many hours of work you put into building your store, if you are not selling the right products, you're simply not gonna make any sales. So you wanna be able to know what to sell and narrow down on our winners so that we can continue multiplying our success by adding more products similar to those that are winning, more variations, while continuing researching more categories, more evergreen products, and of course, seasonal products as well. And before I get into that, I'm going to reveal winning product number three. As I promised in this video, I'm going to be pumping them out slowly. So let's see what is winning product number three before we jump into product research. So winning product number three is these licking mats, lick mat for dogs and cats. So yep, that's exactly what it is. It's a nice pet item and it works well with both cats and dogs. So this seller sold 11 units and you see this last item available. This is why I mentioned in the site preferences, to have the buyers can see exactly how many items are left toggled on because this creates that rush feeling that I was talking about and this is what you want to see. I can tell that this guy is also a drop shipper because he only has one in stock and after it sells it's going to go down to zero then back up to one again so that this last item available will always show. So he's selling this licking mat for dogs and cats for $9.99. He sold 11 units so far and we can see that he is shipping from the United States. So now I could use Chinese suppliers and especially new ones like Timu who's selling this product for four dollars and eight cents with free shipping but they're shipping from china and if i want to compete with someone who's selling from the us i need to use a us supplier in this example we can use a retailer like amazon and i'm going to talk more about retail suppliers wholesale suppliers and even hook you guys up with private suppliers that no one else is working with so that you'll really have the upper advantage but let's just take this as an example amazon here ships from the us it works with amazon prime so this product is going to be shipped and delivered within one to two days and it costs four dollars and 88 cents so while the profit potential here is not very high it's just a few dollars he already sold 11 units and he is complying with what amazon can give him so in this case he's going to give 30 day free returns because that's what you're getting through amazon prime and the seller will pay for return shipping because you don't have to pay for returns when you're using amazon prime so that is another winning product check out the pets category and soon i'm going to go over some of the best categories to sell on but again that is winning product number three let's continue with finding winning products. Now there are several methods of finding winning products to sell on your store. And I'm gonna go over my top favorite methods, those of which I'm still using to this day. And my number one method today for finding winning products to sell on my eBay store is using the AutoDS winning products hub. Let me show you exactly what that is. And if you don't have a budget aside, this only requires $1. Now I know I did tell you that you can start with $0 and I still stick to that because I'm also gonna show you product research methods that don't require a budget but for a one dollar trial investment i really think that it's worth it with everything that you're going to get around that but let's talk specifically about the winning products hub this place is full of winning products that's being updated every day with more and more products that are trending right now not products that trended two years ago and today they're not selling anymore i'm talking about trending products that are in demand right now so all of these hand-picked products have a full product analysis showing you what's selling who's selling them how much they're making, what marketing methods they're using, and more. Let me show you exactly what it looks like from the inside. So here I am on AutoDS. I'm gonna click on winning products right here on the left side. And here you can see a huge list of winning products. So as I scroll down, let's take a look at, let's say this baby development toy right here. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the product. And here I can get more information like what other variations are available, where it ships from, the shipping time. But don't worry, even if you're seeing 17 business days, I'm gonna talk about shipping time soon and how you can improve them even when you're selling these products. So we've got some more product information like it's being sold for $40 and it's being sourced for just $2.79, leaving you with a potential profit of over $35. And you can also see the seller's ad copies. So you can see someone who's selling this product. Now on eBay, we're most likely not going to be running these types of Facebook ads. I'm not doing it on my stores 
you can do it on yours. I know others who are doing it, but this does give you a little example of how much this product is trending. So here, for example, we can see that it got over 3000 likes, over 640 comments and almost 350 shares. So it's a pretty popular product. And we can see the seller's website right here. We can click on the link to get to it. And we've got audience targeting, which again, we don't really need unless we're running eBay PPC campaigns, which I will talk about soon when we get to the marketing section. But what I'm trying to get to here is you can see that the products are trending. You can see that they're popular and you can simply add them to your stores by clicking on this import draft button right here. Then it'll go to the drafts page of my AutoDS account. I can optimize the titles, descriptions, everything else, and then I can import it to my store and start selling it within a minute after I saw it on the winning products platform. So the winning products platform is going to take all of the shortcuts. We did all of the hard work for you. Our database is updating all of the time with these hot new trending products. Now I did mention that the AutoDS trial does cost a dollar and there's also an add on, as you can see right here for the winning products hub. However, I guarantee that you're going to get a return on this investment from your profits when you're selling products from the winning products hub. Now you can also use that as an example. You can see these products and then search for more products that are similar to them using other dropshipping suppliers, all of which I will talk about soon. But that is my first go-to for finding winning products. It'll save you hours, days, weeks, and months of research. If you wanna do all of the manual research all by yourself, it'll consume a substantial amount of time, all of which you could have saved for just a few bucks per month. But let's put that on the side. Let's say you still don't have that budget. Let's talk about the completely free methods that will consume more time because that's just the way it works, but you can and will still find winning products using these free methods. And that is the sell these now YouTube playlist. So again, you've got all of the links to all of these methods in the cheat sheet, comment hashtag eBay 2024. Let me know what your top takeaways from this video and I will send you a copy of this cheat sheet. So here we have the sell these now playlist. And again, it's being updated all the time with new and fresh products to sell. So I'm not gonna go over it now. You've got tons and tons of videos, new products being updated several times a week with hot trending products. That's a YouTube playlist, doesn't cost any money to watch those videos and there's so much value that you can find there. The next is live product finding Q&A events that you will have with yours truly. I will have a live conversation with you. I will answer all of your comments and I will share with you top strategies and winning products to sell on your stores. There's a lot to learn from, from this playlist. And if you wanna sign up for the next live Q&A event to learn more about new fresh winning products and also have the chance to talk with me live, just click on this link, register to the next live event. Of course, registration is absolutely free. These live events are absolutely free. You have a countdown timer for the next live event. Just leave your name and email address so that we'll send you an invite and a notification when the live will start. And the next method is the AutoDS TikTok Spy. And this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna click on TikTok Spy under Marketplace. And here I can find lots of TikTok ads or lots of TikTok posts that are showing trending products. In this case, what I can do is filter, for example, videos that got over 20,000 likes. And in the call to action button text, I'm gonna go for shop now or order now or visit stores so that I'll actually see people who have dropshipping stores. And here, for example, I can get all kinds of product ideas. For example, this cat litter product right here. Okay, so I can just click on the call to action right here and I can get more information on this TikTok post, including what the impressions are, when the ad was first seen, and I can also click to see the original post on TikTok. So as we can see, this is the post right here. It got over 46,000 likes and we can just go to the user's profile, click on the link in the bio and see how much they're selling it for. So that's gonna give you lots of more winning products that you can sell that are trending right now at this very moment. Now the next method, and again, we're back to free methods, is the product finding blog articles. Now, I know that I'm throwing a lot of methods at you. You need to choose which one fits you best, but believe me, this is more than enough to start finding your first winning products and continue scaling from there. So the product finding blog articles, just like our videos are being updated all of the time with fresh new content. For example, 20 best selling auto parts, which we just published the other day, top 10 winning dropshipping products to sell on a specific month. And as I continue scrolling, you can see more and more like the best dropshipping drones to sell, the top gaming products, UK dropshipping baby products. So for example, if you wanna sell on eBay UK and you wanna be in the baby niche, this also has many good products. And I can just click on show more and continue scrolling more and more. For example, if you want to go to swimwear products, if it's right before the summer, it's a good time to read this article on the top swimwear products. And again, the list goes on and on and it's being updated all of the time. And I recommend reading this article under our blog. 
this goes over some of the best eBay categories and some of the best products that you can sell today. For example, once you'll start drop shipping and you can sell in categories like the electronics niche, which as you can see right here is raising exponentially every year in e-commerce sales. Some of the best products that you can sell here are smartwatches, wireless earbuds, recreational drones, wireless charging pads, Bluetooth speakers, VR headsets, portable power banks, home security cameras, gaming headsets, and smart thermostats. Then you've also got automotive parts, for example, headlights, tail lights, car floor mats, performance air filters, car phone holders and mounts, and so forth. Then you've got the home and kitchen, which is a great evergreen niche that's selling all year long. For those of you who are wondering what evergreen means, there are evergreen products and there are seasonal products. Evergreen are those that are selling all year long and seasonal products sell during a specific season like Christmas or summer. And these usually have higher peaks than the evergreen, but they also drop as soon as that season is over. So it's good to have a good combination of both evergreen products that will sell all year long and seasonal products that will have a higher peak in sales when those seasons arrive. So under kitchen and home, we've got wall art, artificial plants, throw pillows and blankets, coffee makers, air fryers, stand mixers, smart kitchen scales, and more. Pet supplies is another great category for dropshippers. And here we have some stats showing you what's going on every year in terms of dropshipping sales. And here you have products like harnesses, leashes, cats and dog beds and caves, automatic pet feeders, pet grooming brushes, pet monitoring cameras, chew toys and more. Then you've also got sports and outdoors and you pretty much get the point. I left a link to that, of course, in the eBay dropshipping 2024 cheat sheet. I told you what you have to do in order to gain access to it. Let's continue to the next product research method, which is utilizing Google Trends and Google Lens. I'm not gonna dive into it too much right now because I do wanna move on to the next steps, talk about suppliers, talk about orders, talk about how to add these products and how to sell them and I also want to share with you some of my recent sales on my eBay store. But as you can see right here, we can use Google Trends to understand what products are trending right now. You have a full blog article and an embedded video inside so that you can understand exactly how to utilize Google Trends to find winning products. And you've also got Google Lens. This is a way to kind of do a reverse product research by finding a product on one website and then using a Google image search as this image shows to find other people who are selling this product. This way you can find who the supplier is and which other stores are selling this product and for how much. So Google Lens is also going to get you another great idea of finding websites and their suppliers. The next is to simply search suppliers bestseller pages. For example, I can just head over to Amazon and I'm going to talk about suppliers soon. So if you want to use Amazon, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons there. And of course, other suppliers like private suppliers, as I mentioned. But here, for example, let's just go to the bestseller section because I want to learn about some of the bestsellers. But I do want to stay away from copyrighted and brands like I cannot sell Super Mario and things like that. I'm going to go over what you cannot sell soon. But let's go into a category that we know works well. For example, pet supplies. So I'm going to click on pet supplies and I'm going to go, for example, for dogs. And here I can get some ideas of products that are selling well. Let's say I like this dog bed here. OK, let's say I want to see what dog beds are selling in particular. So I'm not just going to add this dog bed over here because it's probably oversaturated over 32,000 uh, reviews on this one but I do want to check out other ones so I'm going to do a general search okay for dog beds so I'm slowly starting to narrow down my product research and as we can see we've got all of these listings here the next thing I want to look at and this is a relatively new thing that Amazon just added on I'm going to try to zoom in as much as possible so that you guys can see it well is Amazon tells you how many people purchased this product in the last month so here, for example, we've got this washable dog bed, which sold over 10,000 units in the last month. Okay, it's also got great reviews, so we know it's a good product. This dog bed right here sold over 50 in the last month. This one right here sold over 5,000 in the last month. This one over 10,000. So you can kind of get an example of which of these products are actually selling well. And yes, you can add this product from Amazon and sell it on eBay. There are some pros and cons to it, which I will get to soon. But at the end of the day, your customers will not care where their packages are coming from. So if a customer is ordering something on eBay in an Amazon box, 99.5% of them will simply not care as long as they got what they ordered and they got it on time according to your shipping policies. So use this feature, go to the bestseller section, see what products are selling well, then do a broad search on them and see which of them specifically are selling. Okay, this is going to give you another good indication of how to use bestseller sections. And that's just one example on Amazon. You can use many different suppliers, those of which I will get to soon. Then you've got eBay reverse product research. Okay, this means you can simply go to eBay and you can see See what is selling well there for other sellers. For example, here I can search for dog beds, just like we search for them on Amazon. Now we can also search for them on eBay. And here, for example, I can find a listing, for example, uh, this one right here that costs, oh, this one is pretty expensive, $200. Let's see what's going on with this one. 
So let me just choose a variation. All right, so this dog bed right here. Now here, for example, I can use the power of Google Lens, as I mentioned. I'm just going to right click on the image. Then we're gonna click on search image with Google. Now I can find other websites that are selling this product. For example, I can see it right here on Amazon. Let's see how much it costs there, $175. It is a very expensive product. And here it's being sold for $195. So of course it's a little bit more expensive on eBay because this person is drop shipping the product on eBay. And this is how you can do a reverse product research on eBay. Find the product that's selling on eBay, then use Google Lens to find the supplier. That was just a quick 30 second example. But when you dive deep into it, you'll find more and more products and even those that have a higher profit potential than what I just showed you. And so I talked a little bit about this eBay sales history hack where you guys can see when the product sold, not just how many times they sold. So let me show you exactly how that works. We've got the information right here in the cheat sheet. What we're going to do is copy this link right here under the eBay sales history hack. Then we're gonna find a product that's selling on eBay. So let's take this example right here, this dog harness. Okay, I can see that it sold almost 18,000 times, but I wanna see how many times it's selling. So I'm just gonna copy the link right here to the eBay selling history hack. I'm gonna put it right up here in the URL. Only instead of the X is right here at the end of the URL, I'm going to copy the item ID from the listing that I wanna spy on, which we can see after ebay.com slash item slash we've got a number. So I'm just gonna copy that number. That's the item ID. And I'm gonna paste it right here instead of the X's. And I'm gonna click on enter. Now I'm going to enter that product and understand exactly when it's making its sales. So as we can see right here, this product is selling several times per day. So we can see here the quantities. So the last buyer bought two units. Then we've got one, 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 and one. And we've also got what variations are selling. So what colors this one sold uh, camouflage. Then yesterday we had a whole bunch of sales on pink camouflage and camouflage, black, red, ocean blue camouflage, and so forth. So this helps you understand how often these products are selling and if they're still selling today. Use this eBay sales history hack. You've got the link in the eBay dropshipping cheat sheet. So enjoy that. And the last product research method that I want to talk about is simply using eBay TerraPeak. This is already included inside your eBay account. Doesn't cost any money to use it. And I've got a blog article that shows you exactly how to take advantage of eBay TerraPeak as well as embedded videos. We embed videos inside our blog articles because some people simply like to watch and some people simply like to read. And so we like to give you both options so that you can really choose whatever method you like to start learning. But basically what eBay TerraPeak does is it gives you insights on what categories are selling well right now. So let me just go to my eBay account and this, this right here just shows some traffic that I'm getting on one of my stores. So we can see right here that I've got almost 1 million impressions in the last month, over 5,000 page views. You can see the quantity sold, how many of those impressions are organic impressions, how many are promoted. And I can also compare it to previous periods right here using this gray line. So here, for example, the blue line symbolizes the organic impressions, how many people are getting to my listings 100% organically by simply searching for something and whatever they're searching for is inside my eBay title. So I didn't do any marketing methods to get this traffic and the green line is promoted listings. I'm not paying for that unless I'm making sales. I'm gonna go over all of that soon, but let's see exactly what eBay TerraPeak is. So I'm gonna hover over research and I'm gonna click on TerraPeak product research. So you can see that this store right here has 2,518 positive feedbacks. And what I'm gonna do is on the left side, I'm gonna click on TerraPeak sourcing insights. Okay, I can do a product research to search for a specific product and see how it's selling. For example, you can see right here that there's a great opportunity to sell inflatable mattresses and air beds. They show you how many people are searching for this, how many active listings there are, the search to listing ratio, meaning there are not enough active listings selling these products when compared to the amount of searches. So there's more demand than supply that's why they see that as a great opportunity to sell. And the sell-through rate here is crazy. 8.2% sell-through rate. That is very high, way above the industry average. And I just clicked on it to get more information on that. And here they're gonna share with you all types of listings that are selling well or that are getting lots and lots of traffic. So you'll see exactly what types of these inflatable mattresses or air beds are selling well. So you can also use eBay TerraPeak, which is once again included inside your eBay account to find winning products to sell. Okay, so that's a little bit about product research, but those are the best methods to use so that you can quickly find your winning products and start selling, if not on day one, then on week one of dropshipping on eBay. So now that we have a wonderful overview of product research and what products we can sell, let's talk about products that we should avoid selling so that we'll know exactly what categories we can actually dive into. So products that we want to avoid reselling on eBay to avoid the risk of account suspension are copyrighted and trademarked items. So don't sell any Anything that was manufactured by big brands that you've known like Apple, Samsung, Sony, etc. So while you cannot sell an Apple iPhone, what you can sell 
is the case for the Apple iPhone if it was not manufactured by Apple or by any other big brand. So for example, you found an iPhone case using one of your suppliers. You want to write that it is a case for the iPhone and not an Apple iPhone case because then they'll think that Apple created that case. So stay away from copyrighted and trademark products, but you can sell accessories to them that were not created by those big brands. Then you want to avoid age restricted products. So no pornography, no alcohol, no tobacco, no drug paraphernalia and so forth. Next, stay away from dangerous goods. We're not going to sell guns, ammunition, flammable liquids, choking hazard toys and anything that is simply dangerous. No knives and no medicines, vitamins and supplements. OK, we are not doctors and we cannot resell these things. And another little beginner's tip for you, if you're dropshipping with AutoDS, you don't really need to worry about these things because every time you try to add a product that you're not allowed to resell, you will get flashed with a warning message, along with the reason why you cannot resell that product. And if you want to go ahead and resell it any way you can, but you will get a warning message and our database is updating all the time with new products that got patented or that you are not allowed to resell. So that is another extra layer of protection with a blog article on eBay Vero, how to avoid copyright infringement. Vero stands for verified owner rights. And this is simply products that you cannot resell. It gives you more information about that. I'm not going to go into it now, but you've got the blog article if you want to read and watch. Now let's talk about the best eBay dropshipping suppliers that we can work with. This is as important as products product research. So we found winning products that we want to sell. And now we want to find someone who we can actually list these products from and sell them so that when we get an order, we can forward that order information to those suppliers and fulfill those orders. Plus, we want to know what our prices are and where we can actually buy these products if we can actually resell them. So eBay dropshipping suppliers with fast shipping. Now I put an extra focus on fast shipping because it's really important nowadays. OK, we want to find suppliers that can ship quickly. Like this screenshot right here shows some suppliers from the AutoDS warehouse in this case that can ship within a couple of weeks, which is how fast you want to ship. Customers do not want to wait three to four weeks to get their products. They want to wait one or a maximum of two weeks. And we can even make it much shorter than that. OK, so let me show you what I mean. The things that we want to focus on when looking for a dropshipping supplier is those that can offer quick shipping and delivery times. I just explained why good return and replacement policies. For example, try offering 30 day returns. So finding suppliers that have 30 day returns pretty soon, I'll show you them fast and reliable customer service, because the better service you're going to get from your suppliers, the better service you'll be able to pass on to your buyers. And of course, we all want to give the best service that we can because we want these buyers to buy from us time and time again. Then we want to look for suppliers that have a wide product range. OK, we want suppliers that have thousands of products that we can resell. And even if we're not going to sell all of those thousands of products, we always want to be able to have a large choice of products so that we can do our research right and find winning products. Then we want to look for suppliers that have high quality products. So it's great that you have a million products, but I need them to be in high quality. I don't want to deal with returns. I don't want to deal with replacements and I don't want to deal with mad customers or sad customers complaining that we're selling low quality products. And lastly, we want to find suppliers that offer competitive product prices. Now, this should go without saying, but the better prices we get, the better prices we'll be able to offer, which substantially increases our chance of making more sales. So knowing what to look for in a dropshipping supplier, let's go over the list of the best dropshipping suppliers that we can use today. And on top of the list, I cannot start without talking about the AutoDS marketplace and the private suppliers, as well as retail suppliers, all within the AutoDS system. And what this means is everything in your business is going to be automated when you're working with suppliers that are supported by AutoDS, whether it's importing products within a matter of seconds, single products, multiple products, order automation, better customer service, fast shipping and so much more. So let me show you exactly what I mean by that. This is what the AutoDS marketplace looks like, but I'll actually show it to you inside the system. One of the best things that it can offer is not only does it have the retail suppliers like Amazon, Walmart, Home Depot and all of that. There's over 30 of those retail suppliers. You also have private suppliers, which is much better for eBay. And you also have customized branding. Now, this is one of the things that only AutoDS members can have. Your orders can get sent out with your customized logo on them. This way you can easily build a brand and get customers to know and remember your store. I'm going to show you all of that soon. There's also the AutoDS warehouse. So not only do we have private suppliers, but we also have our own warehouse where we can ship really quickly and other things that I will not get into now. But let me actually show you what it looks like. So here is the AutoDS marketplace and we've got a whole bunch of categories right here and I can choose all kinds of filters like where I want to ship to. So if I'm selling to eBay US, I'm going to choose United States, United Kingdom for eBay UK, 
Germany for eBay Germany and so forth. You can also choose what currency you want to use and where you want to ship from. So for example, let's say I want to ship from the US and into the US to get even faster shipping times. Okay, then I can also select the supplier. So it can either be retail suppliers or I can go for special AutoDS suppliers. Okay, let's go for that and see what types of products and suppliers we have inside the marketplace. So here, for example, we can see this massage gun that's been trending a lot in the dropshipping scene. And we've got this private supplier named Nori Ma. Now, this supplier can ship this product within six to nine business days. And if I click on it to get more information, I can also message this private supplier. Okay, I can negotiate with them. I can see what other products they have and I can get customer service and more things. So you have one on one access to these private suppliers. And of course, more product information. As I scroll, you can read more and more about the product and import it to your store in just a click by clicking on this import draft button right here. Okay, so it ships quickly and that is one private supplier that you can work with. And here we can see more private suppliers like Dropship Friendly LLC and the AutoDS Warehouse. And you see right here where it says customizable branding. This means that this product can be sent out once again with your customized logo. And this is really special when it comes to dropshipping because dropshippers do not invest in inventory upfront. We only sell after we make a sale. So usually we cannot reach out to a supplier and be like, hey, can you brand my product with my logo before you send it out? Even if I'm only sending out one unit, the supplier will be like, no, you have to have a minimum order quantity of 50 units or 100 units if you want me to brand them. I'm not going to brand them one by one. That's just not very cost efficient for me. But with the AutoDS private suppliers, that is simply not the case. So wherever it says customizable branding, you can send out this product with your customized logo, which makes it even more special. So you can see this message right here, create your customizable branding on this product page. I can click on add now and put my logo right here. Once I do that, this product will be sent out with my logo when I get a sale on it. So that's one of the biggest advantages that we have here, along with all of the rest of the private suppliers selling trending dropshipping products that you can find right here in the marketplace. Now, this AutoDS marketplace is included inside your AutoDS $1 trial investment, which is one of the best $1 you can ever invest. And I hope that it goes without saying when I'm showing you all of these things that you're going to get along with that. Okay, so get access to all of these private suppliers within your $1 trial. So that is my first go to when it comes to what drops suppliers to use on eBay. Then we've also got retail dropshipping suppliers. Now there are over 30 suppliers that you can use here, but you do have to learn how to work with them. For example, you can see AliExpress, Amazon, Banggood, CJ Dropshipping, Walmart, Home Depot, and tons and tons of other suppliers. Some of the new suppliers that just joined are Macy's, Kohl's, Shane, Catch, and Timu. Timu is what's known to be the next AliExpress killer because they give 90 day free returns. Let me just show you what their website looks like. And as we can see right here, free returns within 90 days and every order's return is absolutely free. So this is something that really changed the game when it comes to dropshipping from China. And you've got lots of trending products right here. So this is just another example of retailers that you can work with. And you can also filter by the warehouse location. So for example, let's say I only want to find suppliers that can ship from the US because I want to ship quickly to the US. I'm just going to click on USA right here. And here I've got all the suppliers who have warehouses in the US so I can ship quickly to my domestic audience. Now the thing here that we need to know is that not every retail supplier is going to be dropshipping friendly. For example, AliExpress is super dropshipping friendly as is Alibaba, as is Timu and other suppliers that we have here. But other ones like Amazon, mm, not so much. Now I've been dropshipping on Amazon personally and professionally for also for over seven years now. And I know many other dropshippers who use them, but you do have to learn how to do it the right way. Because once you put down five, 10 orders per day under one Amazon account shipping to multiple locations, it's a matter of time before Amazon is going to lock that buyer account. And then you'll either need to open more or use Fulfilled by AutoDS, which I will talk about soon. So there are workarounds to everything. CJ dropshipping for example is also super dropshipping friendly but you'll have to know how to work with these suppliers if you don't have any experience with them try one for example but you'll slowly want to start moving to more suppliers always work with multiple suppliers so that you won't put all of your eggs in one basket if one has a stock issue if one is maybe going out to some chinese holiday for a couple of weeks and now you cannot issue orders from them you can move to the american supplier or any other warehouse that you're using so it's always good to work with multiple suppliers and of course all of these suppliers the retail suppliers the private suppliers in AutoDS, the marketplace they're all supported with AutoDS dropshipping automation 
all of which features I will go over soon. So AutoDS Marketplace and private suppliers and retail suppliers, your first go-to for dropshipping suppliers. And to be honest, it's more than enough, but let's go on with the rest of the list. We've got a Timu dropshipping article. So if you want to learn how to use Timu as they're completely brand new to the scene, we've got a full blog article on how to do that. And I've also broken down this list to niche dropshipping suppliers and location-based dropshipping suppliers. For example, you have an article on the best jewelry dropshipping suppliers, pet dropshipping suppliers, clothing dropshipping suppliers, dropshipping gifts in the UK suppliers, dropshipping clothes in the UK suppliers, candle dropshipping suppliers. So some of these are niche, as you can see, some of them are based on locations, print on demand for Australia suppliers, medical supplies. And of course, as I mentioned, it's a very sensitive subject to dropship, but you can learn how to do it the right way in this article. Lingerie, if that's the niche that you want to go for, Australian suppliers, Florida suppliers, Canada suppliers, and so forth. So you have a full list of these suppliers. And if you just click on one of them, again, you'll have a full blog article, a full video, on what are the best suppliers under this niche or under this specific location. Okay, so I'm not gonna get into it now because again, it's more than enough. All of this list completely available to you in the eBay dropshipping 2024 cheat sheet. Again, hashtag eBay 2024. Let me know what you learned in this video or what is your top takeaway? And I will reply back with the cheat sheet link. So now that we went over product research, which is super important and finding the suppliers that we wanna work with, that we wanna sell these products from, now it's actually time to add these products products to our stores and start selling. We already created our eBay accounts. We already upgraded our selling limits. And I can also give you a quick tip on how to do that if you're going to open a new account. Remember how I mentioned that you can only list 10 items or $500? So what you can do, instead of listing 10 different items that you have laying around the house, you can just list one item and update the quantity from one to 10. And also the price is going to increase because you're not just selling it for $50, for example, because once it's times 10, 50 times 10 is 500, and then you'll fill up all of your limits with just one listing. So you can do that through eBay's listing editor, as we can see right here. I can just move the quantity from one to 10 and change the price to $50. And this way I've listed 10 products with a total of $500. And then I can simply call up eBay and tell them, look, I've used up all of my limits. I've got so many more products that I wanna sell, so please upgrade my limits so that I can do that. And that's gonna make it much, much easier for you. So here's how you can do it manually on eBay. Just edit your item listing. Or of course you can do it through AutoDS by opening up the variation settings and changing the selling price to $50 and going to general and changing the quantity from one to 10. So 10 times $50, that's 10 items, $500, taking up all of your limits. Okay, so that's a little tip on how you can do that. And now let's get to actually importing these products to our stores. So again, there's a long way of doing it by going to eBay, clicking on listings, clicking on create listing, and then following through step-by-step, -step, downloading all the images from your supplier, uploading it to your eBay account, and so forth and so forth. But we're not gonna do that. We are here for automation. So here's my AutoDS dashboard. This is one of my stores. You can see that it made over a thousand dollars in profit in the last month. And this is just one of the plenty stores that I have. But let me show you exactly how we can add these products to our stores. So if I'm grabbing the product from the marketplace or from the winning products, you just have to hover over the product and click on import draft. But of course, you need to first connect your eBay store to AutoDS. So go to AutoDS.com and here you can register for $1. For me, it says go to my account because I'm already logged in, but you can do it right here on the top right. After you create your account, you'll need to add your store. So you're going to click on add store. You're going to click on eBay store click on continue and then just continue with the connection process. It takes less than a minute and it's pretty much a breeze. Once that happens, your eBay store is actually connected and now you can start adding products really quickly by again, hovering over, clicking import draft if you're getting it from the marketplace or winning products. But let's say you're doing it not from the private suppliers, not from the marketplace, not from the winning products. Let's say you wanna do it from one of the retail suppliers that we talked about here and add their products to your store. So here's exactly how you're gonna do that. In this case, I'll just take Amazon as my example, even though it really doesn't matter which supplier you use here. So let me go to Amazon and I'm going to go to one of the categories that are selling really well on one of my stores, which is string lights. Okay. And I want to add those that are actually getting a lot of sales in the last month, like this one right here that got 6,000 sales in the last month. So one of the ways that I can quickly add this is by simply hovering over this icon right here, this AutoDS extension icon. This icon is the AutoDS Chrome extension. Okay, I'll also leave a link to it inside the cheat sheet and it's completely free to use. So download and install the AutoDS dropshipping helper and it's going to look like this. You can also see it as this circle right down here. And when I hover over, I can just click here so I can import this, import this, import this really easily, just like that. Okay, I can also enter inside the product listing. And after I enter, you'll notice an import to AutoDS button right above the title right here. So I can also click on this. And if you have multiple stores connected, you can simply click on the extension right here 
and choose which store you want the importer to use while you're clicking on the import to AutoDS button. You can select one store or multiple stores. The third way to do it is simply copying the URL up here, going to AutoDS, click on add products, single product, select which store you want to add it to, click on next, then enter the URL right here. You can see that the supplier source was automatically switched to Amazon in the region United States. Now I can publish it directly to my store or click on edit now quick so that I could optimize this product before adding it to my store. And it's always best to optimize because we do not want to use the same titles on eBay that everyone else is using. So when it comes to eBay titles, there's a few things that you can do here to get the best product titles available. And the best way to optimize your title is by using the power of artificial intelligence, which is now included inside your AutoDS subscription. So you can see right here, we've got this long title. It's using up way too many letters, way more than we can out of the 80. It's, it's at 181 letters. And it's the same title that we have on our supplier's website. It's the same title that other dropshippers are using. And remember that on eBay, the title is super important. This is how people are actually gonna find your product. They're gonna search on eBay for something. And if those keywords also show up on your eBay title, there's a really high chance that your product is gonna show up right in front of their faces after they make the search. And that is how you're gonna get free organic traffic and sales to your store. So work on your titles. So here I've got the option, optimize title with AI. I can simply click on it and I can tell AutoDS, hey, can you please automate my title or my description or the title and description for this product, make it sound more professional, make it sound more sellable, make it sound funny, choose a balanced temperature, more creative and so forth. Then just write AI rewrite. And that is going to do all of the re rewriting for us. And that is going to generate a unique title and description for our stores. Artificial intelligence is what it's all about today. The second way to do it, if you want to do it manually, is by using the eBay title builder. It's completely free to use. And of course, I've got the link to it in the cheat sheet. So I'm going to open it right here. And this is our eBay title builder. Just going to scroll down a little bit and say I'm going to sell on eBay.com. That's my marketplace. And what product are we selling? So these are LED fairy lights. So I'm just going to search for fairy lights. That's what the product is. And now it's going to show me the most search phrases for these keywords on eBay so that I can use those in my title. Of course, only the relevant words. So I can see that fairy lights has an average of almost 1.5 million searches per month. I have a grade for the competition and how many monthly sales there are for these keywords. And now here's how I can build my title. String fairy lights is the way to start the title. So instead of fairy lights, let's see, we're going to use string fairy lights. Okay, I'm going to remove the rest of the title and I'm going to continue working my way up from here. Just make sure that the words are relevant. For example, I know that string is correct because we can see it right here in the supplier's title and image. And as we continue going down, for example, battery powered, I know that it's also battery powered, so I can also add that to the title. I can also click on it and it'll start creating the title for me right up here. Okay, and then I can just copy and paste the title here in the end. So you can use the eBay title builder if you don't want to use the AI tool. These are the top two ways to create great titles and descriptions for your eBay listings. Make them unique so that people can actually find your listings and that you'll also be different from the rest of your competition. You'll be better than them because you are not simply copying and pasting from your supplier's websites. So once we've got a good title, the category is automated for us inside String Lights, Fairy Lights on eBay. We've got tags, which is really good to have. If you want to add more tags, of course you can. But these tags are good because when you'll have a lot of products inside your products page, and after a while, you'll want to start analyzing how certain niches are selling for you. You can analyze a certain tag and see how that is performing. Then you've got the payment policies, shipping policies, all of which, whatever you create on eBay will show down in these drop down menus, the country location. So where it's being shipped from. And we want to have automation on like stock monitoring, price monitoring, automatic orders. I will talk about automatic orders soon. The description, which we can generate again using artificial intelligence. Now, in this case, there's only one variation, even though the listing has more variations, because in my AutoDS settings, I told it not to upload variations, but of course you can have that on. And even a better idea is to look for other variations using other suppliers, other sellers. In this case, I'll keep it on Amazon, but you can even go to a completely different supplier. And let's say you want to also add this variation to your product page. So I'm going to copy the URL for this product and I'm going to head back to the variations. I'm going to click on add variant, add the link to the next variation that I want to add using any one of the other suppliers. In this case, it's still Amazon. And I'm going to click on add variant. Now what I'm going to get is a product page with two variations that no other dropshipper has. Once again, to stay unique, to stand out from the competition and be on top of everyone else. Next, we've got product images. So again, everything is being automated. This is one of the good things about automation. We do not need to spend time on this and item specifications. 
all of which are completely automated. I did not add these one by one. All of these were automated when I imported this product. And there are some things that you can add manually, like for example, for the type, I can add string fairy lights. And if I go back to the variants, we can see that the other variation was added. So now I've got a product page with two different types of variations that again, no other seller has. Now, another thing that I did not mention is that you also have free templates when you're using AutoDS. So here, for example, I can click on edit templates and this will take me to the templates page on AutoDS. So as you can see right here, I can use a Black Friday template, Halloween if it's Halloween, Christmas if it's Christmas, and all types of other templates completely free to use from my eBay store. So this will make my product page look much, much better when we're using such templates. So for example, let's just take one of these templates, like let's say this one right here. I'm gonna click on add my template and I can also edit that template if I want to change the text around and things like that but I'm not going to go over that now and back on the drafts page I can click on select a template and I can just choose the template that I just duplicated so I can just click on my template or pets template or whatever you're using and then your listing will look so much better okay so here for example I finished filling in all the information I didn't finish optimizing my title but let's just keep it as is and I'm going to click on save and import because I want you to see what it looks like once it's actually on my eBay store so it's being imported right now as we speak and in just a couple of seconds it will be there okay so product has been imported to your store let's go ahead and take a look so I'm gonna click on the eBay link right here I've got the supplier link here so if I click on it it's gonna take me to the product page on my suppliers website which in this case is Amazon and I can click on eBay right here and this will take me to my eBay link so here's a product that I automated to my eBay store this is what it looks like Here's my eBay seller account. This is my feedback, 99.4%. And as I scroll down, we can see all of the item specifications, everything that was automated for me, and of course, the chosen template that I used. You can see this cool, nice little hovering effect. The template was absolutely free. And here is my product page. So everything here was automated, everything here was simple, and it only took me a couple of minutes. That is how you can easily import products and also optimize them all through automation, all through using AutoDS. So that is the quick product importer. There are more import options i'm not going to dive into it now because it's going to take again too much time there's so much to learn so much to go over which you'll need to do on your own time because you do have all of the information in this video and also inside the cheat sheet but basically you can do much more than that for example i can use the AutoDS extension right here search for all of the products that i want to add let's say i want to add all of these dog beds right i want to test them out i want to test the market i'm going to click on extract and now all of these products are inside this extension i can continue on to the next page continue extracting then click on export as csv now a csv file was downloaded onto my computer next i'm just going to go to AutoDS, click on add products multiple products and here i can add all of their product ids right here or their urls with a line break or i can click on upload csv and drag and drop that csv file right here or click on it to open up my browser window click on that export file it's going to process in just a couple of seconds and it's complete. I'm going to click on add as a draft and boom, all of those 30, 60, 100 products will be added to my drafts page in just a couple of seconds. So again, automation is king and I haven't even gotten started. Okay, we did a lot up until now. Let's all take a deep breath. So we created our eBay accounts. We connected our payment methods. We did our product research. We connected with suppliers. We connected with AutoDS for automation. We uploaded our first couple of products, the second one through automation. And of course that is all after we increased our selling limits. And we've optimized our product page to make it look really good and stand out from the rest of the competition. Now we're gonna talk about eBay marketing methods, both free and paid methods to get your products, to get your store in front of a larger target audience. Even though we're gonna get free organic traffic to our stores by uploading the right products and optimizing our titles and product pages so that our listings will get to the first page on eBay when someone searches for a similar product. With marketing efforts, we're going to get even more traffic and even more sales. And before that, I'm going to reveal the next winning product as I promised throughout this video. So let's check out eBay winning product number four. I'm going to open the supplier link and the eBay store link. So as we can see, this backstretching device has been working wonders for online sellers. And we can see this product right here on Amazon being sold on eBay for $12, even though he's just buying it for 10. So this guy is not really here to profit much, even though he did sell 46 units. So even if he made $1 in profit, he made only $46 selling this product. It's actually not enough. 
it is a very trendy product and I can show you many more examples of profitable sellers who sold this product. But this is a profit potential example of what you should not be doing even if you're going to make sales, we're not here to make 50 cents to $1 profit per order. And I'm this close to showing you my sales on my AutoDS account, on my eBay stores with the actual profit potential that you should be profiting. I'm going to go over that really, really soon. But first, let's go over eBay marketing and promotions. So we've got promoted listing standard and promoted listings advanced. The difference between them is on standard. We're telling eBay, hey, promote our listings, but I only want to pay you after I make a sell from your promotion. And on promoted listings advanced, we're telling eBay, promote our listings, I'll pay you in advance. I'll give you this daily budget in advance and show it to as many people as you can within that budget. So using promoted listings advanced, we're paying eBay in advance to promote our listings. Even if we don't make any sales, we'll have to owe eBay some money. So that's the downside. The upside is that they'll show it to a lot more people than the conventional promoted listings method. So let me show you exactly what I mean. Under promoted listing standard, I've got a blog article linked right here for promoted listing standard and promoted listings advanced so that you can learn about each one, dive deep into it and see which strategy is right for you. Under promoted listings advanced or eBay PPC pay-per-click. Of course, you also have the embedded video. This shows you step-by-step -step how to start a PPC campaign. The PPC campaign that I ran, the keywords that I got from it, the sales that I got from it, the profits, the expenses, and everything else. So you have all that in this long PPC eBay article. Okay, so if you want to learn how to do that, you can go there. But let me show it to you on my eBay store. I hovered over marketing and I clicked on advertising dashboard and I got greeted with this dashboard right here. So you can see that I'm running promoted listing standard and how much I got from that so far. So of course I can change that. I can see what happened in the last seven days, last 14 days. In this case, let's just take a look at the last 31 days or the last month. So you can see that my impressions went up by over 23%. The listing clicks went up by 34%, the sold count, the sales and so forth. And everything that we're reading here is from promoted listings standard, meaning I only paid eBay for these 24 sales in the last month, only after I got these sales because I promoted these listings. So all of these stats are only from promoted listings. And we can see I've got an average sold ad rate of 5%. These are the ad fees that I paid, the sales that I got, the click through rating and so forth. And as I scroll down here to this chart in the last 31 days, so this purple line represents the organic impressions that I'm getting every day. So for example, on this day, I got 26,000 organic impressions and almost 3,000 promoted listings impressions. Now this is again promoted listing standard. This means that I'm giving eBay a set percentage. For example, let me go inside the campaign and show you exactly what I did there. So this campaign right here that has about 1500 listings inside. Here is my strategy for this campaign. So I'm giving a fixed ad rate of 5%. Now the higher percent you give eBay on the fixed ad rate, the more people they're gonna show this listing to. So if you give them 10%, they're gonna show it to more people, but you're gonna have to owe them 10% of the transaction price if they make you a sell from that promoted listing. So I play around with it. Sometimes I go with one to two, sometimes I go to five to six. I play around with it according to myself. If sales are low, I increase my fixed ad rate. If the sales are really good, I kind of lower it because I want to pay as few as a fee as possible on eBay. So that's a little bit about promoted listings and the difference between standard and advanced. Now more ways to promote your eBay store and I'm going to make a sale right now just to show you how this works. But another way to do it instead of the promoted listings is by creating a coupon for your buyer. So you can create coupons, you can send it to them, you can send it to people who are watching, you can send offers, you can receive offers, you can create volume pricing, you can create sales events. And best offer is a great way to make sales. And I'm going to do that now. I'm going to show you an example of how I make a sale because I just got an offer on my other store. And this again is one thing that you can do to make more sales. So let me connect to my other eBay store really quick. Okay. And here you can see some of the stats for this store. But in this case, I'm going to go to the selling and here in my notifications, I can see that I've got some offers. So I'm going to click on that so I can see what offers people are sending me. Okay. And I've got these two offers right here. So I'm going to click on each one so that I can respond to the offer. This offer expires in 14 hours and this one expires in four hours. I want to make a sale on one of these. So let's see what we can do. Okay. So I've got this product here and I'm selling it for $35.99 and this buyer made an offer for $29. Now that's a little bit too low. Let's see what the other one got. So I'm selling this item here for $35.99 and I've got an offer for $33.49. Now because my profit percentage is over 50% on my items, I'm pretty sure I can make the sale here. And I haven't went over my break even in my profit percentages yet. Let me show you that now and close the sale. Here on my AutoDS account, I'm going to go to the set settings. And here are my supplier settings. For example, when I'm dropshipping from Amazon, I'm going to click on the pricing settings for my products. And as you can see, I set a 15% break even for my products. 
because you saw that eBay charges you category fees varying between 9% to 15%, plus I've got the international selling fee, so I put my break even at 15%. On top of that, I ask for another 60%, 60% additional profit. Now, why did I put 60% for example and not 50% because that's actually what I'm good with? Because we'll most likely also pay for tax when purchasing the products from our suppliers' websites. So for example, if you're dropshipping from Amazon and the product costs $10, you're probably gonna get charged another 50 cents or $1 tax, so it's actually gonna come out to be $11. So that extra 10% that I could pay for tax, I added right here an additional profit. If I don't pay for tax, then well, even for the best, I just made more profit. Now, one more thing that I like about dropshipping on eBay US is that eBay will collect a sales tax from the buyer. Now, I'm not talking about the source tax that you're gonna pay your supplier when you're purchasing the product, but when you're dropshipping to the US, the US government is gonna want that sales tax. So same goes for the United States. And what I like about eBay US is when you sell a product, for example, for $20, eBay will charge your buyer $21 or $22, and you're gonna get that tax money, and then eBay is gonna deduct it from you so that they can pay that to the US government at the end of the year. So you don't have to worry about filing for sales tax in the United States if you're dropshipping to them through eBay. It's one of the things that I love about it. It saves you that headache. So in any case, I set my break even fees to 15% and an additional 60% in profit. Okay, so let's take a look at that product that I got an offer on. I'm just gonna copy the product ID and I'm gonna paste it on AutoDS to see exactly how much I'm profiting for that product. Okay, so I'm gonna put the product ID right here and look at that, I just made a sale right now while I'm recording this video. But in any case, let's click on this product. Okay, then I'm gonna open up the editor to see exactly how much profit I'm making and if I could sell it for that price that the buyer wants. So I'm gonna click right here on the variation and I can see right here that I'm buying it for $19, I'm selling it for $36, and the offer that he made was for, let's see, $33.49. So if I sell it for $33.49, what will be my profit? And as we can see right here, I'm making almost $10 in profit if I sell it for that price. So yeah, it's definitely worth it, and I'm going to make that sale right now. So I'm just gonna go to this offer for $33.49, I'm gonna click on accept offer, Okay, then it's just gonna review my settings. Are you sure you wanna accept it for this price? I'm gonna click on accept again. Okay, and boom, I just made another sell. You have made this buyer the winner. You accepted his offer and I just made another sell. Okay, so if I go to my sales page, I'm gonna click on my orders. Of course, I can see all my orders through AutoDS, but I just wanna show it to you right now from here. So this is my newest order just from this moment using the promotion method that I just showed you by allowing buyers to send you offers for your products. Now, again, guys, keep in mind, Everything that I'm going over in this video, everything that I'm showing you are strategies that I'm using on my stores. I'm getting sales from it and I'm showing you everything in this video. So I hope you appreciate it. Like and share this video, subscribe to our channel if you appreciate the value. Access to this cheat sheet with everything that I'm going over. Simply comment hashtag eBay2024. Let me know what you learned in this video, what your top takeaway is, and I'll send you this cheat sheet. Okay, so we've got those marketing methods. You can learn more about it in the links below. And another thing that eBay recently added is social media marketing. Okay, so this is relatively new to eBay. You can connect your social media accounts or create new ones as you can see right here. Then just click on the link button here to link your Facebook account or Instagram or Pinterest and start promoting your products, create posts through eBay and drive traffic to your eBay store using social media. So that's eBay's newest marketing method and you can start taking advantage of that right now. Now, after you do that, after you list your products, you did your research, you found your suppliers, you listed your products, you did your marketing efforts. Now, inevitably, the orders are gonna start coming in. So now it's actually time to start fulfilling our orders. Speaking of orders, let me show you some of my most recent orders. So here on AutoDS, I clicked on orders here on the left side. And I can see all of my orders. I've got over 7,000 orders right here because all of my stores are connected to this account. But in any case, here are the products that were ordered. Here's the date. Here is the order status, the estimated arrival, the prices, and the profits. So I told you that I just got an order while I was talking a couple of minutes ago. I'm not talking about the offer that I just accepted. I'm gonna see that in a couple of minutes here once it synchronizes. So I've got $10 in profit right there. And another order from earlier today. As you can see right here, I bought it for $30.80. I sold it for $100 and five dollars with another five dollars in promotion fees i got 52 dollars in real profit from this morning's order and let me show you exactly how i was able to purchase it for 30 dollars and sell it for 105 so i'm going to click on the suppliers link right here and you can see that the product actually costs 57.99 but there is a 50 percent coupon 
So if it costs $58 and you get a 50% coupon, then yeah, that's a lot of extra profit in your pocket. That's how I was able to make $53 in profit here. And as you can see, my profit is usually pretty high. So $15 here, $10 for these orders, $31 for this one. Uh, some eights and some sevens, $18 here. So I usually like to play around the high profit zone and that is simply what the dropshipping business model can give you. Okay, so let's get back to it, orders. When you get an order, you'll see it on your eBay store and inside the orders column, but I like to see everything in AutoDS because everything is simply organized here. So here I can see all of my pending orders and those that got sent out and so forth. Every order comes with statuses. So as soon as an order comes in, you have the option of whether to process it manually or automatically. And of course, automation is the winner here, but manually simply means going to your supplier's website, purchasing the product and shipping it to your buyer. Okay, this means that the product is not going through your house, it's going directly from the supplier to your buyer and you will keep the profit between your source price and your selling price. However, you will not be able to scale this way and if and when you do reach 5, 10, 15 plus orders per day, you will spend all day just processing orders. You might make some mistakes and some orders send it to the wrong addresses. I've been a victim of this plenty of times and once you add in automation, you will not be able to go back to manually doing it. So auto automation means as soon as an order comes in, it will get processed automatically so that you won't have to do anything. It'll get sent out to your buyers even while you're sleeping at night and tracking information will also be updated automatically. Now there are two types of order automation methods in AutoDS. One is called automatic orders, the other is called fulfilled by AutoDS. I've got the links to them of course in the cheat sheet below. And the difference simply between them is through automatic orders, your orders will be automated using your buyer account. So for example, I can add my buyer account settings on AliExpress inside AutoDS. And every time I get an order from the AliExpress supplier, I can have that automated for me. So AutoDS will send the order out automatically using my AliExpress buyer account and my payment settings inside AutoDS. On the other hand, we've got fulfilled by AutoDS. Both ways you'll get automatic tracking information updates as soon as tracking is available from your suppliers. However, fulfilled by AutoDS will not use your buyer accounts and this is the much better option, especially if you're dropshipping from retailers like Amazon and Walmart who could lock your buyer accounts once you have multiple orders per day to different addresses. They'll see that you're dropshipping and they'll be like, hey, you know, we're a huge retailer. We don't really need you as a dropshipper. So we're going to lock your buyer account from making any additional purchases. When you're using fulfilled by AutoDS, AutoDS has their own buyer accounts. So you don't have to worry about your accounts getting locked. Everything will be processed through AutoDS. All you have to do is opt in for automatic orders by going to your plans and add-ons, adding the orders processor for $8 per month, and that is well worth it. You can make back that profit from just one order. And once you have that on, just go to your settings and under supplier settings, click on the right supplier that you want to automate your orders with, click on orders. And here you have process orders using the fulfilled by AutoDS service. If you want to use fulfilled by AutoDS, if you only want to use automatic orders, just have that checked in. If you have both checked in, then as soon as an order comes in for fulfilled by AutoDS, it'll get fulfilled automatically using the fulfilled by AutoDS service without you having to intervene. If you only have fulfilled by AutoDS filled in, then you'll have the option to change the order status from pending and send it to auto order, just like we have in this example here. So let me go back to my order screen. I've got this order right here and it's in pending. It didn't get sent to automatic orders right away because I didn't have both of them toggled in. So in this case, I just want to make sure that I have a balance right up here. Okay, you can load your balance from a few different payment methods like credit card or Payoneer. And here you can choose exactly how much you want to load up. In this case, I have about $62 loaded in and this order costs $17.99. So I can fulfill it right away by clicking on pending and sending it to auto order. Now the fulfilled by AutoDS service is gonna take care of this order for me. As I can hover over this icon, you can see that it says completed by the fulfilled by AutoDS service. So the order will get automated. And once that happens, it'll move to the ordered status and I'll get the message of when it's arriving right here. So so you can see this product, for example, is arriving on Friday. And I can also click on the Amazon screenshot to actually see the order status on Amazon. That, for example, is if you're using Amazon as your supplier. And I can see again when it's going to arrive and what the date is. So if the buyer asks what's going on, I can let him know. And of course, once shipping information is available, that also is going to be updated automatically. Also on your eBay store, so you don't have to do any of that. And again, I got this order right here. I can also send it to auto order. Once it gets ordered, it'll be an ordered status with the order ID from your supplier, shipped once tracking information is available, and delivered once it's delivered to your buyer. Everything complete 
completely automated. One other thing that I would like to talk about when it comes to order automation is that you can also send automatic messages to your buyers. So back in the order screen, when I'm using eBay as my store and a supported supplier, I can scroll down to the automatic messages to customers. And here the system is gonna send messages to my customers automatically after an order was placed, after tracking information is available, after the order was delivered, to send you a positive feedback and a gift message. If you're using Amazon, you can send out your products as gifts. This way your buyer will not get a receipt and they'll even get a gift message with a nice little message from you. Of course, you can edit all of these messages using this edit function right here. Turn on and off whatever messages you do or do not want to send. Save that and automatic messages will get sent to your buyers. So that is why order automation is key and you will not be able to scale without it. Now, another thing when using Fulfilled by AutoDS is we also offer cashback using some supported suppliers. So link to it, of course, inside the cheat sheet and of course, what type of cashback you can get from them. Now, product sourcing is something that I haven't talked about yet and it's super Super, super important. What this means is you can take any product that you're selling from any supplier from any region and ask the AutoDS system to source that product for you. This is going to let the system find you a better supplier with faster shipping, with a cheaper price so that you can make more profit and deliver it more quickly to your buyers. You can do it on all of your products and I especially encourage doing it on your best sellers so that again you can ship quicker and get better pricing. You have this option inside the AutoDS platform. So as you can see right here under orders, I can make a sourcing request, but I'm not gonna do it now. I'm not gonna make a sourcing request. And by the way, another order just popped up. So you see, I already have three orders today. And this is the order that I just won from the buy it now. So while I'm recording this video, I already had two orders coming in and that is the automated dropshipping business model. So again, take advantage of product sourcing, get faster shipping quotes, find new suppliers to work with, and that is gonna make you bigger, better, more sales and profit. Automatic messages, we already talked about it, but you have more information inside the AutoDS cheat sheet. This is what the sourcing looks like. And I've also attached a chart to the cheat sheet showing you exactly what suppliers you can automate your orders with and what is included inside of that. Another thing that I haven't mentioned is tracking conversion. This is really important when it comes to dropshipping on eBay because sometimes you can use suppliers like Amazon who supply with tracking numbers that you simply cannot use on eBay. I mean, you can use it on eBay, but eBay will not be able to show what's going on with the tracking events because they don't support those tracking numbers like TBA tracking numbers from Amazon. So what you can do here is convert it using either Blue Care Express or Aqualine, all included inside AutoDS. So if I go back to AutoDS, Yes, I'll go to my settings and under supplier order settings, I can convert my tracking right here, either all orders to Blue Care Express, only Amazon shipping carrier or, or those AMZ tracking numbers to Blue Care Express or to Aquiline or QTrack, both that come with zip code masquerade. Why is zip code masquerade good? Because this way you will not be breaching eBay's item location policy. What this means is eBay wants you to ship out your products from the same item location that you specified when you uploaded the listing. So when you add a listing to eBay, you're filling in where this order is going to be shipped from, including a zip code. So it's not enough to say, oh, I'm going to ship it from the USA. You need to provide a zip code within the USA. And once you upload tracking information, eBay will scan the first place that the order was tracked from. And if that tracking information does not have the same zip code as what you have in your item listing, you'll be breaching their item location policy. Policy. Now, don't worry, this will not get your account suspended, but they will flag your account. And this means that your traffic impressions will drop. Now, don't worry. I know this sounds bad, but my store has been flagged since 2020 or 2019. I don't remember exactly when it was April 19th or something. And it happened to tens of thousands of other drop shippers. But the more listings you'll have, the more traffic you'll get to your stores. So from the 400 listings I had back then, the sales that I was making were OK. But today, with thousands of listings, I'm making much more sales, even though my accounts are flagged. So don't worry about it. But if you want to to avoid that, you can use Aqualine or QTrack, and this will make sure that the first tracking event will have the same zip code that you have in your item listing for that item that was ordered. Now, I know it could sound a little bit confusing if you're hearing it for the first time, but again, I've left the links to it inside the eBay dropshipping cheat sheet. Just remember that all three of these tracking conversions will make the tracking supported on eBay. And it's really important to do this because if a customer opens up an item not received case saying, hey, the product didn't show up at my door, then you'll be able to actually prove to them that the product did arrive by showing them the tracking events. But if you're not converting your tracking numbers and eBay does not support the tracking number that you uploaded, you won't be able to prove it with tracking events and you'll be in some sort of trouble. So more information on that, of course, inside the links in the cheat sheet. 
Now, dealing with cases and returns. It's really important on eBay to make sure that you're on top of your cases and returns. This is not gonna be the biggest part of your business, but you do have to understand how to deal with this. Now, in my eBay account, I have never lost a case that I shouldn't have lost. If I send out my item, I prove that it got sent out using tracking conversions or tracking events. If the product didn't reach my buyer because the supplier made some kind of mistake, I'm gonna get reimbursed from my supplier so I can send a refund to the buyer. In either case, we do not want eBay to intervene inside the cases. When a buyer opens up a case, we wanna be able to resolve it with the buyer. This will affect our total seller account. So let me show you exactly what I mean. Let me go inside my seller account information. So I'm gonna hover over performance. I'm gonna click on seller level. And here you can see that my seller level is above standard. My transaction defect rate is zero. My late shipment rate is 3%, just 19 out of 600 transactions. And cases closed without seller resolutions, zero. This is really important. Tracking uploaded on time and validated, 91%. And again, this is all really important. You got the transaction in sales and the return rate is just below 3%. Okay, so these are very good standards that you want to live by, especially having a 0% transaction defect rate. If a buyer opens up a case against you and you're not able to resolve it with them and they ask eBay to step in and eBay favors the buyer, not you the seller, you're gonna get a transaction defect rate. Now with my over seven years of dropshipping on eBay, I have never gotten a transaction defect rate because I take care of my cases, I take care of my buyers, and I've never had to send a refund without getting one myself. Okay, so make sure every day to go to your eBay account, check your email, make sure that no cases are being opened against you. And if they are, simply go and take care of them. Buyer says they didn't receive the product, go check with your supplier. Buyer says the item received damage, send them a return label from your supplier. Take care of your cases on time and don't let eBay intervene. Now, sometimes eBay can intervene and decide that you, the seller, are right. But if they decide that you're wrong, that's another transaction defect rate. Nobody wants that. So again, check your eBay messages every day. Respond quickly to cases. Do not lose cases or allow the buyer to ask eBay to step in so that if you lose, you'll get a transaction defect and upload a return label for eligible cases. One more resource that can help you out here is the AutoDS eBay customer support management system. Of course, I've got a link to it, but let me actually show you what it looks like. So here on AutoDS, I'm gonna click on customer support here on the left side, and it's going to collect all of the customer messages that I'm receiving and sending. So here I can see all of the messages from my customers that I'm receiving, messages that I'm sending, messages that I'm getting from eBay, cases and so forth. I can see all of that here and I can also respond to them. So for example, I clicked on this message here and you can kind of see a chat between us, kind of like a chat screen and I can continue replying from here instead of doing it through eBay. And I can also create chat snippets to make it even easier, especially on repetitive messages that I send my buyers. Okay, so you can take care of all of your customer support management all within AutoDS. Now, next I wanna talk a little bit about dealing with flagged accounts. We're nearing the end, but this is really important. I did mention flagged accounts. What it means and if that happens to you you're gonna get a message that looks like this as i got it in my ebay account there is evidence that you're purchasing from our retailers and other marketplace websites because they want you to work with wholesale suppliers they want you to work with private suppliers like we have inside the AutoDS system but if you're going to work with the retailers make sure that before you do that you got your limits up as high as possible so that when they do flag your accounts you won't be able to raise your limits anymore but it won't really matter because you have thousands of limits and that's more than enough to make substantial amounts of profits as long as your product research is on point. So take the tips that I talked about in this video and also use this resource right here, how to work with eBay flagged accounts. Besides that, make sure to maintain a high eBay seller level. I talked about that. I showed you my seller level on my eBay account. Make sure that you're either top rated or above standard. Below standard is not good. Your account is in risk of suspension and that will happen if you have transaction defect rates. Keep that around zero to one percent. Late shipment rates, keep that below five percent. Cases closed without seller resolution, keep it below 2%. Tracking uploaded on time and validated, keep it above 70%. And your return rate, keep it below 8%. 2 to 4% is the optimal range that you want to have there. And the last thing that you're going to do is automate and enjoy scaling your dropshipping business. There's many things inside AutoDS that I did not talk about, like the option to add virtual assistants to help you with your account. And I can see that right here under settings slash users. Here I can add virtual assistants by adding their names and their email addresses, giving them access to one or several stores and what we want to give them privilege to. For example, to, to view our dashboard, to view and edit our products, to delete them, to edit our settings and so forth. And this way you can hire a virtual assistant to automate your business even more. But even without that, with AutoDS, you're going to get price and stock monitoring. So if the price changes on your supplier's websites or if the stock status changes, the same changes will be applied to your store 
so that you will not lose profit and you will not sell products that are out of stock. You've also got quick product importing as I've showed you, automatic orders and tracking, product sourcing, marketplace, private suppliers, winning products hub, all of the things we already talked about, AI title description generator, free eBay templates. Plus there's also the Autos Yes Academy, which I did not show you, so here it is. And here you're gonna get tons of free, free information, free courses, free video tutorials, as you can see right here, I'm scrolling through it and there's only so much that we can learn here. Right now I'm under eBay, you've got all of these eBay videos. And of course this video is also gonna be added to our academy. And again, this simply has tons and tons of videos and also courses. So for example, I can click on learn more here and I'm gonna be taken to AutoDS's website to take a full eBay dropshipping course from A to Z. As you can see right here, split down into lessons. So you can just choose whatever lesson you wanna learn click on it and strengthen your knowledge there. All of this information is absolutely free as long as you start your business right after watching this video, take action, register your eBay store, start your product research, connect automation, import your products and start making sales. Why should we sell on Etsy in the first place? First of all, it's an untapped marketplace for dropshippers. We are now in the golden age of dropshipping on Etsy. Now granted, Shopify has been around for years, but only in the past few years, Etsy had a huge surge in online shoppers and the revenue simply started going crazy because more and more online shoppers are looking for the unique items that can be found on Etsy. The second reason is that we can all start with literally zero dollars. It doesn't cost any money to register for an Etsy account and we don't need any subscriptions to start making sales. But soon I will cover what expenses we do have on Etsy as well as the rest of the steps including product research, how to find winning products, what are some of the best products that are selling on Etsy right now, how we can actually create our stores, start making sales and everything that comes along with it. The third reason to sell on Etsy is that it provides free organic traffic and if we are selling something that people are looking to buy then we are going to make that sell and rake in that profit. The fourth reason is that there are no selling limits. This means that we can list as many products as we want from day one and nobody will tell us how many products we can actually sell on our stores. And the last reason is that it's simply easy to start and automate our business, all of which I will dive into in this video. And before we jump into product research, let's first understand what are we actually allowed to sell on Etsy. Since it's a unique marketplace with unique handmade products, what can we actually sell on Etsy and what products should we avoid selling? So Etsy is a marketplace focused primarily on handmade items, vintage and retro goods, and craft and party supplies, which doesn't have to be handmade. And the best categories to find and sell these products are jewelry, clothing, home decor, and arts and crafts, as well as party supplies. Now I'm gonna dive into all of this much more soon, but just keep this in mind before we start. Now, later down in the product research phase, I'm also gonna talk about the products that we should not be selling on Etsy so that we can enjoy selling and profiting on Etsy in the long term. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's learn how we can actually start dropshipping on Etsy in 2024. For those of you who are completely new to the dropshipping business model, dropshipping simply means that we can have an online store and sell products without actually holding them in stock. Once we make a sale, we forward the order details to our supplier who then ships it to the end customer, meaning we have no physical contact with the product and we as dropshippers simply keep the profit between the source price and the selling price. So step number one is to actually create our Etsy seller account. So we have a link here inside the cheat sheet to etsy.com slash sell. Just click on that and then go ahead and click on get started. Then we're going to enter our email address, provide your name and your designated password. Once done, click on register. Now you'll have to go through a quick verification process if you want to start selling on Etsy. And this is pretty simple. You're just going to have to provide basic information like your name, your address, payment and bank information so that Etsy can send you your payouts when customers buy from you and a government issued ID so that they can see that you are who you say you are. I've added a full link to the verification process as well as Etsy seller policy so that you can get more acquainted with it before you get started. But this information should be enough and will get your account verified so that you can start selling on Etsy. So do that first and while your account is getting verified, move on to product research so that you can find some winning products to sell and list them as soon as your account is verified. It only takes a few hours to one or two days, so it's really not that much. And once your account gets verified, you'll be greeted with the Etsy dashboard that looks like this. Now you can see on this store that I 
just got started, I only have 18 active listings and I've already raked in 55 orders. Not only that, but I'm also a star seller. I'm going to go through all of this soon and what that means. So we can see that I've got over 4,000 store views, 55 orders and almost $2,000 in revenue with less than 20 products in my store. So imagine once you'll have 1,000 or 5,000 items in your store. So this is the regular dashboard and what we're seeing. You can also see some recent activities like who's been favoriting your items. So here I can see that Eric favorited one of my items about four hours ago and this voodoo guy favorited another item about four hours ago and the list goes on and on. So there we can see some of the recent activities and that is the dashboard. Then we've got the listings. So this is all of the products that you have on your store. Then we've got the messages. So this is where you're going to get in touch with your customers or they get in touch with you. Then we've got the orders and shipping. So all of the incoming orders. So we can see some new orders over here that I still need to ship out and the completed orders, all of the orders that I already shipped out. So all of our orders are under orders and shipping, although it's much easier to see it through the AutoDS screen, which I will show you soon. But let's continue with the Etsy menus for now. We've also got growth tips, which is something relatively new that Etsy started adding in, giving you more ideas on how you can make more sales and set your store up for growth. For example, how to build trust with your buyers, how to stand out in Etsy's search engine and how to market and promote your shop, even though I'm going to go over these subjects in this video. Then we've got the star seller. So this is similar to eBay's top rated seller badge. And this is simply a badge that shows online shoppers that you are a trusted seller. You ship your products out on time. You answer your customers quickly and you have a high customer rating. So as you can see right here, I have this message. Congrats. You earned the star seller badge. My message response rate is 100%. My average rating is 4.9 and I shipped out 98% of my orders on time with tracking information. All of this will make you eligible for being a star seller, meaning you'll stand out even more on Etsy search engine and customers will see that badge before they even enter your product listing. So again, they will know that you are a trusted seller and it will give them more confidence to purchase from your store. And of course that drives up more traffic and sales. Then we've got the stats. So we can see that I've got about a thousand visits to my store. I've got a 3% conversion rate, which is higher than the industry average. And that's why I love free organic traffic and doing the right product research and the overall store revenue. So we can see this graph here and we can also see where the shoppers found us. So most of my online shoppers are finding me through the Etsy app and other Etsy pages, as well as Etsy search. Then we've got Etsy marketing and SEO. So some marketing efforts that don't cost me any money. I'm going to go over all of that soon. And further below, we can see what listings are being viewed, what listings are being favorited and what listings are making the most orders from our online shoppers. We can also see the average listings per view, meaning is the shop are only seeing one product in my store or are they going to my storefront and browsing through different types of products? Then we've got the finances section, everything that has to do with money. So here we can see on my payment account that I owe nothing to Etsy because all of my sales are covering my fees. And here you can see that I have a nice sum available for deposit. Now I know that it's not the currency that you're used to seeing. So let me just divide it by 3.8 eight, which would be about the USD conversion rate. So we're looking at $200 right here. So this amount is available for deposit right now. Let me go ahead and click on request it now. And now it says we've scheduled a deposit for you in the next available date, because right now I've got my deposit schedule on a monthly basis. You can change it to daily, weekly, or any other configuration. I'm going to jump to all of this stuff soon, but I just want to give you a quick overview. And further down, I can see the current net profit for this month. So I've got about $1,000 in sales right here, and we've got the marketing costs as well as transaction fees. And up here we can see this nice message. Good news. We've lifted your payment account reserve. So new seller accounts might get payment reserves, not right from the start, but at some point you might get it because Etsy wants to get to know you better. They want to make sure that you're shipping out your products on time and that your customers are getting the products and that they're satisfied with them. So until then they could hold some of your funds, but all of this is temporary and they will uplift it. Once you have some more orders, ship and deliver everything on time, and then you'll get this nice little message. So now 100 percent of your sales funds minus fees will be available for deposit, which is nice. So as soon as a sale comes in, I can withdraw that to my bank account. So that's the important stuff that we have going on in finances. You can also get your monthly statements, payment settings, legal and tax information and stuff like that. Then we've got marketing. So here we can get some nice analytics like where the traffic is coming from. And as you can see right here, my store is slowly growing. I'm getting more visits to my shop. More of my visits are resulting in a sale. So customers are not just visiting, they're actually buying something. My 
average order value is going up a little bit and all of my total earnings through Etsy search, meaning my product research is on point. People are searching for something and they're seeing my product on their first page of Etsy search page. And as you can see right here, that has also been increased by 104%. And here I can see that my listings were found through about 7,400 queries, meaning on the left column, I have all of the keywords that people are searching for and how many times my listing is being shown on their page when they're searching, what the position is. So for example, if it's 14, then my listing is the 14th one that they're seeing after they're searching for something, how many visits I got from that search and the total conversion rate, which is great. So how many people actually bought from my store by searching for those keywords? What is my total revenue and how many listings do I have that are ranking on these keywords? So we're going to get all of that through search analytics. We've also got Etsy ads, sales and discounts, social media, and more things that I will go over in this video. Then we've got integrations. So some nice Etsy apps that we can integrate into our stores, more of which I will get to soon, and settings like store settings, info and appearance about your shop, subscriptions, which we don't really need, shipping and policy settings, which I'll get to soon, and all of that. So that is the Etsy menu and the important things that we have to know about. So now that we have a basic overview of the Etsy seller account and all of the menus that we have, let's get down to the practical explanation and learn how we can do it ourselves. And this all starts with product research. This is going to be the most important important part when running a dropshipping business on Etsy or in any other selling channel for that matter. But product research is what it all comes down to. If we're not selling the right products, nobody's going to buy from our stores and we don't want that. And because Etsy is a unique marketplace where we can only sell specific things, it's really important to understand what we can sell and what products under those that we can sell are actually winning products that are going to make sales and profit for our stores. So this means that we're going to have to learn how to narrow down our product research and really cherry pick the winners so that we can get to a point where you saw my store with only 18 listings, which is nothing that's making a nice amount of sales way higher than the industry average. And I'm going to show you how to do all of that. Now, remember, there are millions of products that you can resell. So it's important to have a good strategy for your product research. And I'm going to reveal everything that I know when it comes to that. Here are my top product research methods revealed. My first go-to for finding a winning product to sell on Etsy is utilizing the AutoDS Marketplace and the Winning Products Hub. So if you have access to AutoDS, you'll be able to access these places and all of the winning products that we have inside with years and years of data that we have collected. And now we're giving this information to you so that you can start selling quickly right from the start. And if you don't have access to AutoDS, I'm going to talk about other product research methods soon. But since starting an AutoDS account costs only $1, that's going to be one of the best investments that you can make because you're going to get so much from that, including this and much more. But let me just walk you through it really quick and show you what I mean. So the AutoDS marketplace is filled with private suppliers that you can get access to with unique products that you can sell that other dropshippers simply do not have. You can also get access to customized branding, meaning you can send out the products with your brand logo on it, even if you're shipping just one product at a time. You can also take advantage of the AutoDS warehouse where we have tons of winning products stored inside and so much more. And here's exactly what it looks like. So here inside AutoDS, I've got the marketplace here on the left side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this category, clothing, shoes, and jewelry, because I want something that actually fits something that I can sell on Etsy. And I can't really sell toys and hobbies, sports and fitness, unless they're handmade products. It's much easier to find them through clothing, shoes, and jewelry. So I'm gonna start from here. And as I scroll through, I can see a whole bunch of jewelry products, like this one right here princess stud earrings with Austrian crystals. So these are not just your average Joe earrings. These have Austrian crystals. And what I want to do here is see if this product is something that's interesting for Etsy shoppers. So if I enter this product listing, we can also see that it has customizable branding, meaning I can sell this product. It ships from the US so I can reach Etsy US sellers really quickly and it'll reach them in about a week's time. So this supplier has fast shipping to the United States and I can also send out this product with my store logo on it. So this means that the customer will know my brand and they'll remember it and hopefully they'll come to purchase more in the future or at least recommend their friends and their family to purchase from us because we already did the brand recognition here which is really tough when it comes to drop shipping because usually manufacturers or wholesalers will want us to purchase a minimum order requirement of 50 to 100 units if we want them to brand our products. But now with AutoDS's private suppliers that simply does not exist anymore. We can brand products with even one order. So how do we actually know if this is something that's worthwhile to sell on Etsy. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Etsy and I'm going to search for this product. So I'm looking for princess stud earrings with Austrian crystals. Okay, we, we got to try to narrow down on the product and understand exactly what type of product this is. And now I'm seeing the regular crystals. Let's check out how the purple ones are selling I'm, I'm just trying to narrow down as much as possible okay so here we go we've got these custom earrings that look almost the same except they don't have the golden frame around it but these sell for four hundred dollars and i can see that this seller is making some sales but let's continue so we've got these purple ones too however i do not see the word austrian here but this is a whole bunch of purple jewelry that's actually selling pretty well and some of them have a similar look to the one that we can sell only ours is a little bit more unique because it's got these four holders here on the corners which makes it a little bit more unique than what we're seeing here but this is just one example and here we can see that purple jewelry is actually pretty popular like let's click on this one right here okay so this one right here it doesn't look as good as the one that we can sell but these sell for 13 dollars and 18 people have this one in their carts now if i scroll down i can see how many people reviewed this shop so i can see that this shop has 190,000 reviews and here we can see the reviews just for this specific item so we can see that a lot of people have purchased these purple ones 33 pages of customers who left positive reviews for these purple earrings and what's so special about them not that much it's an amethyst stud earring and it's in the color of purple so we're pretty much getting the same attributes here only here it's with austrian crystals and it's 18 karat white gold plated and it only costs us five dollars with zero dollar shipping to the united states so this is a product that i would try to test out on my store and i found it through the AutoDS marketplace that's just one example let's continue to more so here back in the marketplace i'm going to continue scrolling down the jewelry niche and here i've got another nice piece of jewelry item so this is a stud earring with austrian crystals another one that's 18 karat rose gold okay so i'm gonna go back to etsy and here i'm just gonna search for austrian crystals okay i want to see if this is a niche that actually exists and that and if people actually like it so here i can see a whole bunch of austrian crystals that are selling quite well for other sellers so it does look like a nice niche to sell so let's click on one of them to get some more information so this is a corner cut tube stud earrings genuine austrian crystals and again we can see that this one sold a lot because we've got a lot of reviews for just this item from other customers who bought it and enjoyed these austrian crystals so that is just a quick overview of the AutoDS marketplace so again what's so special about it one that we can get customizable branding meaning we can send it out with our customized logo and two we can easily import it to our store by simply clicking on import draft right here but we haven't gotten to the import section yet or how to even connect our stores to AutoDS the third thing is once this product sells the order will get automated and sent out to our customers right away even while we're away from the computer I'm gonna get to all this stuff soon but that's another thing that I love about the AutoDS marketplace another thing thing is that we can message these private suppliers and get access to a whole bunch of other products that we can resell and even get some discounts along the way so i'm just going to click on this button right here message this supplier and say hey i would like to drop ship your products do you have a product catalog and what are the best discounts i can get then we can send this message to the supplier. And once we do that, it'll open up a chat between us and the supplier, and we will be able to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with all of these private suppliers. So that is why the AutoDS Marketplace is my number one go-to when it comes to finding products to sell, connecting with private suppliers, talking with them, negotiating with them, getting better products, better prices, and establishing long-term relationships with private suppliers that can go with us a really long way with unique products that 99.5% of other dropshippers are simply not selling and do not have access to. Now, the winning products hub is similar to the marketplace, only here we cannot filter by category, so we're just gonna have to scroll until we find products that are relevant to the ones that we wanna sell on our stores. For example, here is a jewelry product that we can sell. So I'm gonna click on that, and here we can get more information on how well these products are selling for other sellers. So here, for example, as I scroll down, we can see the ad copy that a seller is running for this product right here. Now, even though we might not be running ad copies, we can see that this one got 23,000 likes, 14 million views, almost 4,000 comments. So someone who's running an ad for this necklace got really viral, meaning there's a lot of demand for this product and we can also see a snapshot of their website. So I can see that the seller is selling this product for $50 and this is a spinning sunflower necklace. 
list. We also have a link to the seller's website so we can get access to it and see exactly how he's marketing this product, how he's selling it and get more insights on his marketing strategies. And of course we can import these products by simply clicking on import draft and it'll move to our store so that we can sell the same product. And this is going to give you another idea of what products can sell well. So we know that there is a rotating or a spinning sunflower necklace. Let's search for that on Etsy and see if this is something that people are actually interested to buy. So I can call it rotating sunflower necklace in the search field. And here as I scroll down, there we go. I found it right here. So this one is being sold for $18 and this one is being sourced for about $15 and they call it a spinning sunflower necklace. So let's click on the seller that's making the most sales. This one right here selling it for $18.5. And here we can see that spinning sunflower necklace that we can source easily for just $1.09. We've got two different variations here, so the gold and the silver. And if we're buying it and shipping it for a cost of just $1.09, and we can see that this seller is selling it for $18.5, he's making a lot of sales with that price, with 118 reviews just for this item right here. I love this necklace, it looks so beautiful, spins beautifully, very sparkly. One person here waited two weeks to get it because this seller is obviously dropshipping it from China. And that is also what you'll be getting here. And if you import this product from the winning product, products hub, it's also going to ship out and deliver within a couple of weeks, as we can see in the shipping and processing time here. However, we can overcome this because through AutoDS, we can also source our products. So even if you imported this product from the winning products hub or from AliExpress or from all of those Chinese sellers that take a really long time to deliver their products, we have an option inside AutoDS to source all of the products that you are selling on your stores, meaning the system will find faster suppliers with cheaper prices for the same products that you are selling. So this way your customers will not have to get mad about getting their products after two weeks since we have the sourcing option in AutoDS. So more on that later, but that is how we can get insights on what's happening with other sellers and how we can actually do a better job and be able to tackle these issues that other customers had with other sellers like slow shipping times. So that is how we can get a product from the AutoDS marketplace or from the winning products hub validate that it is a winning product, that it is something that people are searching and buying on Etsy and listing it for a cheaper price so that we can make more sales. The next product research method is using Amazon's handmade or eBay's handmade categories. And the reason that we're going to the handmade categories, which should be pretty obvious by now, is because we can pretty much only sell handmade items. Not only sell handmade items, but that is the majority. So quick reminder on the things that we can sell on Etsy. So jewelry should be handmade, or at least look handmade. Clothing, same thing, should be handmade. And same goes for home decor. But when it comes to arts and crafts and party supplies or craft supplies and those types of products, which of course you can resell on Etsy, these do not have to be handmade. So for now, I'm going to stick to the handmade categories. But when you are doing your product research, keep these categories in mind, what does and what doesn't have to be handmade. And we can use eBay's handmade categories as well as Amazon's handmade to get insights on what's selling well there, then search for it on Etsy and see if we should sell it there too. So for example, in Amazon's handmade category, I'm going to go ahead and click on home decor. And now let's narrow down even further by going inside throw pillows. And here I can see all of these handmade throw pillows, which really do look handmade. So let's continue scrolling down the handmade category and kind of get an idea or a certain pattern of something that we can actually search for on Etsy and see if we should sell those too. So I'm going to stay away from the seasonal products like Christmas and so forth, because right now I want to look for evergreen products that are going to sell all year long. And later down the road, we can also search for seasonal products, which will have a higher peak, but it'll also have a drop after that season is over. So let's scroll and find a nice unique looking product like this one right here, 3D grilled steak pillow. So sorry for all you vegetarians, but this is just for selling purposes. So let's see if this is a product that's actually selling, if people are actually searching for such a product on Etsy. So again, I'm just going to take the product's name. We don't need the whole name, just the main keywords. And I'm going to search for that on Etsy. While I'm not seeing specifically 3D grilled steak pillows, except for this one right here, this is a meat steak ribeye pillow, which is pretty close. And as I scroll, we can see that this type of product is pretty scarce, which is a really, really good thing for us sellers. Okay, so I'm going to scroll back up to that ribeye pillow. Okay, let's click on that and see if this product is selling well for this seller. Okay, so we can choose a variation here. Like, let's just go for a one piece uh, roasted. 
Okay, so it's gonna cost $15. We've got this product in 13 cards and he's only got two left. So you can definitely see that he's making some sales and he's got some reviews for this item. So he is selling it. It is a product that he's actually making some sales on. And we found it in just about a minute from doing product research on Amazon. But not only that, this one looks a lot better than what this seller is selling. I mean, this doesn't even look like a real steak. We can see all the stitches and it just doesn't look all that good. This really looks like a piece of steak sitting on your sofa and it is handmade which makes it even more unique so as i scroll down here under additional details we can see that it is a handmade item which makes it perfect for reselling on etsy and this again is a great idea and no other seller is selling this on etsy right now and i found this from just doing one minute of product research on amazon so you get the point do your due diligence on amazon's handmade and ebay's handmade categories see what's selling there get insights search for it on etsy and once you see that it's a good product add it to your store all right next and i'm not going to dive into these too deep because you got the main points and you have all of the links inside the cheat sheet which soon in this video i'm going to tell you what you need to do to get access to it we've also got more places to find winning products to sell on etsy including the sell these now blog articles and sell these now youtube playlists which have tons and tons of content that's being updated every week with new winning products to sell and we're updating these products from our years and years of experience and data into what products are selling well and how to start successful dropshipping businesses. So you can get access to all of this, including the top 23 home decor product, which is really good for Etsy, the best dropshipping niches, and more and more best products to sell. So that's just a small example from the blog articles. We have the same thing going on in our YouTube videos. If you are not aware of our YouTube channel, go to it right now, subscribe, because this is the type of video content that we create along with so much more. And in these two places, you're gonna find tons of winning product ideas that you you can use for your Etsy store. Next, we've also got the AliExpress Dropshipping Center as well as Timu's best sellers. If you haven't heard of Timu, they are what many people call the AliExpress killer. So AliExpress has been around for years and Timu is here to make waves. So not only do they offer free returns within 90 days, which is absolutely spectacular, they also offer price adjustment within 30 days. So if the price changes after you purchase something from them, they're going to refund you back the difference. And they are now offering free shipping on all orders. Orders. So these conditions are much better than what we're getting from AliExpress. But if you're used to working with AliExpress, if you've heard about them more, you can definitely start by using their dropshipping center for getting some nice ideas on what products are trending right now, as you can see in my screen right here. But of course, you will have to dive deeper into the categories that you actually want to sell on. Like, for example, here, I'm going to go for jewelry and accessories. And here I've got great ideas, great insights into products that I can resell on Etsy. Like for example, these vintage skeleton keys, because we know that we can sell vintage items on Etsy. And this one here has over 700 units sold, 4.9 average user rating and a 15 day delivery, which means that we're going to deliver within the first couple of weeks, which is great for products coming from China, but we can still source it through AutoDS and find faster delivery times. And that's just one idea of something that we can sell on Etsy. But again, we do need to validate it on Etsy and make sure that it is actually selling well there. So again, I'm going to go back to Etsy.com and here we're going to search for vintage skeleton keys. And here I've got vintage skeleton key decor. So I'm going to click on that and narrow down on it even more. And here we can see a bunch of sellers who are selling similar items, only they're not all exactly the same as what we're seeing here. It's better organized and we've also got these nice dragonfly wings to go along with it. So anyways, that's the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. You can get more info and the link to that inside the Etsy 2024 cheat sheet. And here again is Timu, so we can just click on their best sellers and also filter down the right categories. So again, here, just to stay consistent, I'm gonna stick with the jewelry and accessories, and I'm gonna click on jewelry boxes and organizers, which is another great product that we can drop ship. And here we can see the best ones that are selling. So we've got some nice reviews here, and the best products are usually sorted at the top. So here again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Etsy, and I'm gonna search for jewelry storage box and see exactly what types of these boxes buyers are resonating with. So this green one right here, as we can see the seller that has about 4,000 positive reviews is selling this product 
and it looks pretty much the same. As you can see, this is the seller on Etsy. And as you can see right here, in demand, three people bought this in the last 24 hours. So this one is selling right now. And as I scroll down, we can see that people are actually reviewing this specific item, even though we can tell that they're buying it from this message up here. Although on Etsy, this one costs about $29 and he's selling it for $38, not leaving us with much profit. But again, this only took a second to find. We're gonna have to dig deeper inside. We're gonna have to find the more profitable ones. Like for example, we see that people like green storage boxes, right? So we can see that this one right here is pretty similar and costs only $23. So that's about five, six dollars cheaper than the original. And we can also search for green jewelry storage box. Okay, so we can search for that on Timu and find even cheaper ones that actually look better. Like this one right here goes for $24. This one goes for 21. This one goes for 20 and a half. And of course, we can also sort it by price. But these are the main prices that we're going to see here. So we can sell the same product as this seller for a cheaper price and also rake in our profits as well. So that is Timu in the AliExpress dropshipping center. And lastly, we've got Etsy's top sellers. And this one is pretty obvious. Just go to Etsy and see what their top sellers are. Or you can search for something that you found from insights doing research on other places like I showed you up until now. So you don't need a demo for this. Just go to Etsy's categories. These are all of the categories that we can sell. So for example, again, craft supplies and tools. We can jump inside that, see what some of the best sellers are, even though these are not narrowed down. We're doing a very broad search right now. So we're going to have to narrow it down and find the winners from here. And the way to do that is to go inside one of these products and search for that on Etsy. For example, this book binding kit right here. Okay, so we see that a lot of people are buying it. Let's search for book binding kits on Etsy and see if this is something that people are buying in a broad way or if it's just being sold under that specific seller. And here we can see a whole bunch of sellers who are also having success with this product. However, I will leave this as the last method because again, it's very broad and it's more difficult to narrow down on this one. It's better to use Etsy as a platform to search for something that we found insights from other places to see if we should also sell it on this platform. So those are my favorite product research methods and I already found a couple winners by just doing a couple of minutes of research. And when it comes down to your research, don't only do it in under five minutes like what I'm doing in this video, put more time into it, put a few hours every day into product research and this is the only way to be able to find winning products, test them, find your winners from there, remove the slow movers and replace them by testing more products and adding more variations similar to the ones that are already selling for you. This is the way that you're going to be able to put in the work, find success and be able to scale that success so that every month, every quarter and every year, your revenues are going to go higher and higher as well as your profits. That's exactly what I'm doing on my Etsy store and that is what brought me to where I am. Now let's talk a little bit about products to avoid dropshipping. We talked about all the things that we can sell. Let's talk a little bit about what we cannot sell because again, we're not looking for any store suspensions. We're here for the long term. We want to make profits for years and years on end and continue growing along the way. So the products that we want to avoid dropshipping are anything that has to do with alcohol, tobacco, drugs, drug paraphernalia, medical devices, and medical claims. Like, hey, if you use this product, this is how fat you were before, this is how skinny you're gonna be after you use it. So stay away from those types of products. Animal products, human remains, I mean, these should go without saying, but I'm gonna say them anyway. Hate and violence items, items that promote or glorify hatred, violence, illegal and highly regulated items, nudity and mature content, and of course, dangerous items, hazardous materials, recalled items, weapons, choking hazards, flammable liquids, and you get the point. Lastly, stay away from copyrighted or trademarked items. If it's being sold from a company that you've heard of before, because it's a big company, don't resell their items because you're not allowed to. That being said, there are more than enough suppliers that are waiting to work with dropshippers like you and I, and especially if we're sourcing through private suppliers. So that covers more than enough that you need for product research. Just remember to put in the time, put in the practice, and test out these products by adding them to your store and seeing what sells. Now, moving on, I'm going to talk about some of the best Etsy dropshipping suppliers that you can work with even though i already hinted to some of them in this video i'm pretty sure that i'm going to surprise you with the amount of suppliers that you can actually work with once you're done doing your product research because now it's time to find someone that can actually get these products for us and send them to our buyers once they purchase from us and with so many suppliers that we can work with it's important to understand how to narrow it down and work with the best ones for our business so what are some of the things that we want to look out for before selecting a supplier so first of all we want to make sure that our Etsy supplier sells in relevant product categories that we can actually sell on on Etsy. For example, we want to look for suppliers that sell in the handmade vintage 
vintage craft supplies and those types of categories. Next, we want to look for suppliers that have fast shipping because we want to be able to deliver quickly to our customers and that have high quality products. We don't want to be selling trash. We don't want to be dealing with returns. And that's going to happen if we don't filter out these suppliers. Then we want to look for suppliers that have positive customer reviews. And this usually comes together with high quality products and fast shipping, because if they have these, then they also have positive customer reviews because people are buying from them. They're leaving their reviews. And this way we can see that people are actually happy to work with these types of suppliers. And also very important, make sure that your suppliers have good and fast communication. That's why one of the things that I showed you through the AutoDS systems private suppliers is that we can actually message these suppliers and see how long it takes them to reply back, see if there's any language barrier and make sure that they provide us with viable solutions if there are any problems along the way. So we saw that under AutoDS's private suppliers, we can contact and message all of the private suppliers and start to build relationships with them. But when browsing through other retail suppliers like AliExpress and Timu and other ones that I mentioned and that I will mention in this video, we have the option to review these suppliers and also send the messages. So here, for example, this seller selling this jewelry box on AliExpress, I can simply hover over his store and get the average seller ratings to see how well the seller is doing in front of his customers, as well as the product reviews that he's getting for his product. So I can see that the products are in high quality. I can see images of customers who bought this product. But when we're using retail suppliers like AliExpress and Timu and Amazon and others that I talked about in this video, and more that I will show you soon, we can message these suppliers directly through their platforms. Like this seller right here on AliExpress, Express selling this jewelry product, I can hover over the seller store here and see what are the detailed seller ratings and make sure that he's got a good score here as well as the total positive feedback. So above 95% is good as well as having at least 1000 followers. This one has almost 54,000 followers. So this is obviously an established seller on AliExpress, which we can message by clicking on this message right here and starting, of course, the conversation like I showed you through AutoDS's private supplier. So we're just going to send a message. Hi. I would like to drop ship from you and ask them if they can offer better prices, ask them if they can send you a list of their winning products and start to work your way up from there. So there we will be able to test good and fast communication, which is really important when establishing our relationships with our suppliers, as well as competitive pricing. So we want to make sure that our suppliers have really good prices so that we can compete with other sellers and of course be able to sell at a better price or make a better offering to our buyers so that we'll be raking in those sales and profits. And here's the list of some of these best Etsy dropshipping suppliers that you can work with today. Starting with the first one, AutoDS's private suppliers with customized branding like I already talked talked about. So I'm not going to jump into it again. But once again, this should be your first go to for finding unique suppliers that you can build relationships with, get good pricing and sell products that most other dropshippers simply do not have access to and start sourcing your winning products through these private suppliers. Next is using retailers like Amazon and Shane, Macy's, Kohl's, Timu, AliExpress and more. And if I click on one of these suppliers, we'll be taken to AutoDS's suppliers page with over 30 dropshipping suppliers that you can work with. And we can see some of these examples here like Walmart, Home Depot, Etsy. We can even use Shopify stores as suppliers. Light in the box, Macy's, Kohl's, DHgate, AutoDS's private suppliers like I mentioned, Timo that I already talked about, Pure Formulas, Vita Excel, and so much more. So these 30 plus suppliers give you access to tens of millions of products that you can resell. Not only resell, but you can automate your business with all of these suppliers. I haven't spoken much about automation until now, but some of the things that you can get from automation is quick product importing, meaning I can take products from any one of these suppliers, whether single products or multiple products, and add them all to my Etsy store in just a matter of seconds. This will save us a whole bunch of time, and that goes along with price and stock monitoring, automatic order fulfillment, and so much more. So that is the best suppliers list, and if you want a full breakdown into these suppliers and more, I've linked the top 20 best Etsy dropshipping suppliers to the cheat sheet, which soon I will let you know what you need to do in order to get access to it. And here you have an embedded video as well as the list of the best dropshipping suppliers that you can work with for Etsy. I already broke it down for you and gave you guys a shortcut into the best suppliers that you can work with, but you'll learn more about them here as well as others. And again, this blog article is fully detailed about these suppliers and what to look for. So that is more than enough when it comes to suppliers that you can work with and winning products to find through a strategized and broken down product research strategy that's been working for me for years. And now that we actually have all that down, we can actually start adding these products to our Etsy stores. But one second before that, let's get to know a little bit about Etsy selling fees so we'll know exactly what our 
expenses are, what our break even is so that we'll know exactly how to price our products. So here are Etsy selling fees starting from the top. The first fee that we need to be aware of is the listing fee. So as soon as we list a product for sale on Etsy, we're going to pay a 20% listing fee. Now this renews every four months if we've got the automatic renewal on or every time we make a sale. So if I list a product, that's going to cost me 20 cents. This means that we don't want to list 1000 products on day one and just throw it all out there in a bulk manner and wait for the sales to start coming in. We do want to do our product research and we do want to make sure that each product has a high chance of selling following the product research methods that I already talked about. This way we can validate the products and make sure that they have a really high chance to sell before we even list it so those 20 cents will be well spent now if we raise the quantity of the product or add more variations inside the product that's still going to be covered under the 20 cents listing fee so we can list a product have 10 different variations and bring up the quantity to 30 or 50 and that's all going to be under those same 20 cents that we already spent for that product page listing. So that's the first expense to know of. The second is the transaction fee. Now Etsy takes a fixed 6.5% transaction fee. So as soon as you make a sale, you're going to pay Etsy 6.5% as a fee from that transaction. The next is the payment processing fee. So this is another fee that Etsy will take because they're also processing the payments from the customers instead of you having to work with some payment processing company. So this is an additional three three to 4.5% from the selling price, as well as another 30 cents fixed price fee. So this again is estimated. It really depends on the seller location. So it depends on where you reside. I also have a link here that will help you understand exactly what your fee is depending on your location. So for example, Argentina is going to pay 6.5%. Austria is going to pay 4% and so forth. So the average here is anywhere between three to 4.5% plus another 30 cents. And that only happens after you make a sell. So again, the only expense that we have before making a sell is the 20 cents listing fee that we paid to list that product. But of course, that's money well spent once we actually make those sales. And besides that, the rest of the expenses occurs only after we make a sale so we can use our profits to pay for those expenses. And as you saw on my Etsy dashboard, if I go to the finances section, you can see that I don't owe Etsy anything for this month even though I did list products because after I sold products, Etsy used the revenue from that sale to pay for my expenses. So this way I can withdraw my profits and Etsy will not charge my credit card, my bank account or anything like that. The next fees that we may have are Etsy ad fees if we are running ads. Now I'm going to talk about the marketing section soon after we list our first product, but this is optional. It depends on your budget and this can be either before or after you make a sale, depending on what marketing method you chose. Then we've got the offsite ad fees. So offsite ads is when Etsy advertises our listings automatically on websites out of Etsy, like Google, for example. So as soon as you list a product for sale, Etsy automatically enrolls you in the Etsy ad fees. And this can be toggled off inside your Etsy settings. You're going to click on offsite ads and here is where you can opt out of offsite ads. As you see right now, I'm opted in because it is making me some extra sales. But the downside here is Etsy is going to shave off another 15% from the selling price as an offsite fee. So that is relatively high, especially because they're already taking about 10, 11, 12% transaction fee on top of the 20 cent listing fee. So you have to work with high profits here. I'm going to talk about profitability soon, but I always mark up my product prices at least two times the source price. So if the product cost me $10, I'm not going to sell it for anywhere less than $20 on Etsy. And that will cover my transaction fees as well as the offsite fees and still be able to make a profit. And besides that, there are additional optional fees, which I will not dive into because I personally do not use them like the Etsy plus program that costs $10 a month gives you 15 listing credits that's actually worth only $3 and plus it'll give you $5 off in Etsy ad credits. But I don't run pay-per-click ads. I tried it in the beginning and I noticed that I'm just spending way too much without actually making sales. Then I learned the best way to do it is through the organic method and you saw the results on my dashboard. So those are the fees that we have to know about. We're talking again about a 12% break-even fee just to stay on the safe side. And on top of that, we're going to make another 70, 80, 100% profit. So I'm going to show you how to configure all of that soon through AutoDS so that all of the pricing will be automated for us. And that brings us to our next step, which
which is actually connecting Etsy to AutoDS. Now, if you don't want to connect your stores to AutoDS, you don't want to enjoy automation, you can still do everything manually, but at some point you will notice that you're limiting yourself and there's only so much sales and profit that you can make without automation. I've been automating my businesses for over seven years now and it turned out to be a huge success once I learned about the benefits of automation. And here's what we're gonna get when automating our Etsy business. One is the product research system, which I already talked about. We're gonna be able to create drafts from product listings from multiple suppliers, meaning all of the 30 plus suppliers that I showed you, we can work with them, we can create product pages using their products, and we can add more products for more suppliers and even add more variations inside our product page from multiple suppliers, giving us the ability to create product pages that no other dropshipper has. We've also got the quick product importing system, which I will show you now. The prices, the stocks are all being tracked and changed on your store when changes are being made on your supplier's website. So you will never have to lose profit on an order and you will not be selling products that suddenly go out of stock on your supplier's websites. And we'll also be benefiting from order automation. So as soon as an order comes in, it can be processed automatically by the system and more things like analyzing our full dashboard all from one page, a product sourcing system, which I already mentioned, the AutoDS Academy with tons of tutorial videos on how to create successful, profitable dropshipping business, what products to sell, what are the best suppliers, best product research methods, and so much more. All that's included inside the AutoDS system. So let's go ahead and do that now. If you haven't done so, it's just a $1 trial investment, which again is totally worth the money. Find out for yourself by heading over to AutoDS.com and start your 14 day trial for just $1. Through the onboarding process, you'll be able to easily connect your Etsy store to AutoDS, or in any case, just click on add store on the top left. We're gonna click on it on the menu here and we're gonna go ahead and click on Etsy store. The connection process is simple and straightforward. And once our store is connected, we can now easily start importing products from our suppliers to our Etsy store. But one second before that, we do wanna get our policies straight. So here is how to set up our shipping and return policies. On Etsy, we're gonna click on settings and here we've got shipping settings as well as policy settings. So let's go ahead and start with the shipping settings. So here we can see that I've got a free US shipping policy created. The processing time is one to three days, which is how long it takes me to provide tracking information. And I've got the total number of active listings that I've got under that shipping policy. So I can create a new shipping policy by clicking on create profile and have as many shipping policies as I want. For example, I can have free US shipping, I can have paid US shipping, I can have worldwide shipping or products coming out of China, for example, to the US. Let's go ahead and edit this one so that we can see everything that I did here. So I call this one free US shipping. The country of origin, or in other words, where the products are being sourced from or shipped from is the United States. Then I just chose a random zip code in the United States. The processing time again is how long it takes us to provide tracking information once an order comes in. Under shipping service, I'm not going to select a specific supplier. That's because I can't be sure if it's going to be through USPS or FedEx or UPS or DHL. So I'm just going to go with other. Then I've got the delivering time. So this is how many business days it takes for the product to get delivered after the processing time is up. So once I provide tracking information, how long from this point until it actually reaches my buyer. So here I've got the delivery time between one to four business days and I'm charging free shipping. I'm not gonna take a fixed price. I wanna offer free shipping to my buyers to make the listing more attractive. Then I've got everywhere else. So this is only shipping to the United States. But what about if I'm shipping anywhere outside the United States? Do I wanna have worldwide shipping? Sure, why not? Let's get those profits too. So here I'm gonna choose again other for shipping service. The delivery time for here is anywhere between eight to 35 business days, because again, if I have to ship it out anywhere around the world, I know that it will take a little bit more time. And here I cannot offer free shipping because I'm also gonna pay for international shipping in this case, and sometimes it's not very cheap. So here I'm going with a fixed price of $25. And I already did get a couple of international orders and I did end up making some profit on this because I paid around 16 or $18 for my last international shipping price. So I know that I'm in the safe zone here. And that's pretty much it, go ahead and click on save profile and you've got your shipping policy. Now, again, if you want to ship products from multiple locations, some coming from the country of origin, United States, but some, for example, we might want to ship them from China. So in this case, we're going to create another shipping policy where here the country of origin is going to be China. And again, you can have as many shipping policies as you want. And when you're importing a product through AutoDS, you will be able to see the shipping policies that you saved inside your Etsy store. So you can choose it from there, from the drop down menu. So that's about the shipping policy. Remember, 
Remember that your shipping policy needs to reflect what your suppliers can actually offer you. So if your supplier can ship within a week, that should also be reflected on your handling time. So now under settings, I'm going to click on policy settings. And here we've got returns and exchanges. And again, this should reflect what your supplier can do for you. So if you're using Timu, for example, who's shipping from China, create a shipping origin from China for your shipping policy. And for the returns, you know that they're going to offer you 90 days free returns. So if you offer 90 day returns on Etsy, that's going to give you a huge advantage over other sellers that cannot compete with the same policy. So here we're going to create a return policy. Let's review the one that I already have. So here I'm accepting returns and I'm accepting exchanges because my supplier does too. Then we've got the time frame. How long are we offering these returns for once someone purchases from our store? So we can get from 30 days of delivery, 45 days, 60 days, 90 days if you're using Timu or less, of course, if you cannot offer better ones. So I'm going with 30 days free returns. And this is a good starting point to also not lose sales from customers who do not want to buy from anyone who's not offering free returns. Now returns will make up between one to 2% of your business. So it's not that much, especially if we're selling the right products and high quality products, like the ones I mentioned and showed during the product research phase. But that's the main pointers to take from your return policies. Now, of course, you can create multiple return policies and add them here. And when you're importing a product, you can choose whatever shipping and return policy you want to connect to that product and that is pretty much it now the fun part let's add products to our etsy store see how it looks and start making sales so let's say i want to add this product to my etsy store right now this rotating sunflower necklace where we got the idea from the auto ds marketplace so i want to find the best supplier for this product i'm going to keep it simple from now and simply search for it on amazon because i want to find quick shipping to the united states even though if i import it through auto ds i will get it for just one dollar and I can source a better shipping time through the supplier sourcing method, but I wanna show you other methods rather than just easily clicking on the import to draft button right here, which will also do the job. But I wanna see what other spinning sun necklaces I can also sell. So as we saw right here on Etsy, this is a pretty popular product with this seller right here selling this fidget sun spinner necklace for $18.55. And we can see that he's got over a hundred reviews just for this product. This is a seller with over 5,000 reviews on their store. So they know what they're selling. They know how to do the product research search and now it's our turn. So in this example, I'm just going to go to Amazon, one of the many, many suppliers that we can work with. And I'm going to search for spinning sun necklace. Okay, so here we can see a whole bunch of results, but I want the cheaper ones from the bunch because I want to make as much profit as possible. So what I will do here on the left side is I will filter any price up to $10. And here is one for $7.99, but he's charging another $4 for shipping. Let's see what else we can find. So there's this one right here that looks pretty nice. It's for $10. I wanted to find a cheaper one. So let's continue a little bit more. And here we go. Sunflower rotatable necklace for $6.99. And we can also take advantage of the prime shipping, meaning this product is going to reach our buyers within one to two days. So it's going to cost us $7. And we can see this seller who's selling it for $19. We can easily sell this for two times the price. So seven times two is 14. Let's even crank it up to $14.99 and sell at a cheaper price than this seller who's doing an excellent job selling this product. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just copy the product URL and I'm going to head to auto DS and I'm going to click on add products and single product. Then I'm going to choose the Etsy store and I'm going to paste the URL. Now I'm going to click on edit now quick, or I could just publish it to my store right away, but I want to do some optimization first. So let's click on edit now quick. And while it takes a second to load, I just want to show you the long way of doing it. So if you don't want to use animation, you want to do everything manually, just go to Etsy, go to your shop manager by clicking up here on the top, right? Then we're going to click on listings. Then we're going to click on add a listing up here on the top, right? Now we need to fill in a whole bunch of questions. Like, is it a physical item? Who made it? What type of product is it? When was it made? And we're going to continue to the next step. Then we have to add the title. We have to download and upload all the images from your supplier to Etsy. We're going to have to write the product description, price it, and add all of the item specifications, all of the details, your policies and everything else. So this is very time consuming, especially when you want to add lots of products to your store, because that's what you want to do in order to test the market and start making sales. And in the long run, 
There is no way to do this without limiting yourself. That is why we're going to do it through automation. So as we can see right here, the rotating sun necklace is now in my drafts page. And the first things that we can optimize here are the product's title, the category where it belongs in, the product tags so that we can easily keep tabs on our products so that later on we can go to the products page and check specifically how the jewelry tag went for us. Or maybe we have a whole bunch of niches that are for women. So we're going to also use the women tag. You can of course add more tags. You can use the existing ones. And here is where you're going to choose your policies. So you saw on my Etsy store that I have a free US shipping policy so we can see it here. And the more you add, the more you'll be able to select it down here from the drop down menu. Same for the return policy. And we're going to keep all of the monitoring on. So we want price monitoring, stock monitoring and automatic orders. Now the thing here is the product's title. This is one of the most important parts after you did your product research because this is how the buyers are going to find you on Etsy. They're going to search for something and if your title has the keywords that they are searching for, they're more likely to see your product on the first page of their search results, meaning they have a higher chance to enter our stores and purchase the product. So we really want to work on the product's titles and make it really good and relevant for our buyers. And one perfect way to do that is of course not to copy and paste what we have on our suppliers websites. So we want to know how to choose the best keywords to use for our titles and Etsy limits us to 140 characters. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the optimized title with AI. This is going to generate a much better title for the product as well as the product description. So I can go for a title, description or title and description. I want to make it for example sound more sellable. I can choose a different tone so I want to make it maybe let's add some humor to it so make it sound more funny and choose a temperature like balance more creative or more precise. So I'm going to go with the balanced one and then we're going to go ahead and click on AI rewrite. And as you can see it generated a much better title and description even though there's a lot of HTML codes which we don't really need to pay attention to right now because it's not going to show up on our product page but it already did all the work for us. So now we have a much better title than what we're seeing here on the suppliers websites and our description will definitely look better than what we're seeing here which is just brackets and just text explaining about the specifications of the product but not much benefits, not much things that will really make you want to actually purchase the product. And I can tell that the English just isn't that good here. It's probably a Chinese seller. So now it's already going to look better on my store. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And as we can see right here, the title has already been optimized. So radiant sunflower necklace, sparkling crystal, rhinestone pendant for women, perfect for prom, cocktail parties and birthdays. So no duplicate words, no irrelevant words. And if anyone's going to search for anything similar to this, they're going to see our product first. And of course we can add more keywords like for example I can add the word uh, spinning or rotating because that's another feature that this product has so for example I can add that right here and I'm still within my character range so within less than a minute I have a much better title for my product all with the help of artificial intelligence as well as the product's description so you saw a whole bunch of HTML codes but at the end you're seeing the final draft of that text which is what we're seeing right here so instead of this really boring text not really reeling you into the product or, or trying to sell it to you this actually sounds much better looking for a necklace that will make you the center of attention look no further than this sunflower rotatable necklace for women with its exquisite and unique design this necklace is sure to turn heads wherever you go not only is it a fashion accessory for elegant women and yada 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 you get the point but it's much much better than starting off with a whole bunch of sizes and words that simply are not able to sell the product really well to you so this was done for me using artificial intelligence using the ai rewrite tool inside the AutoDS system so for now i'm just going to go ahead and click on save and continue to the rest of the columns next we have variants so variations and this includes all of the variations that we have in this case we only have one variation on the supplier's website so no additional variations were added however i can go to other sellers on amazon i can go to other sellers in different regions I can go to other sellers using other suppliers. I can even mix in different regions and add them all to this product page so I can look for other rotating necklaces that might not specifically be a sunflower or maybe a different color for the sunflower necklace and simply add more variations to this page. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on edit variation because I want to be able to price this the right way. Now on the one hand you can do your pricing on the settings page in AutoDS. Just click on the supplier and the selling channel that you're using. Click on pricing and add in your break even fees. So in this example, about 13 and percent and how much profit you want to make on top of that. So you can do it from there so that every time when you import a product from that supplier, the settings will update automatically. But in this case, let's do it from the variance. So we can see right here that the buying price is $6.99, which is what we can see right here using the supplier. My added fees are around 13 and percent. So I showed you how we got to the pricing. We've got the processing fees. We've got the selling fees and everything else that I went over. So that rounds up to around 13 and maybe a little bit less 
invest, but I always like to be on the safe side. On top of that, I also like to make another 50% in profit because I want to make up for the 20 cents that I paid for relisting the item since Etsy is doing that automatically for us. So after my break even, after the product cost me $7, I want to make 90% in profit. So if I'm buying it for $7, it's going to sell for $15.99. This was done for me automatically because I already have it set in my settings, but I can also change it from here. But this is a great price for the product and I'm still able to compete with this seller who's selling the rotating sun necklace really well for $18.55. Now I'm going to sell it for $15.99. And here include shipping price. I'm going to add that in. So if my supplier charges me for shipping, it's going to be included inside my source price so that I'll be able to offer free shipping to my buyers. I'm going to round my cents to 99 or 0.97, whatever looks good to you. Then you've got the general column, like what is the default quantity that you want? I have it at 10. You can have it at five, but make sure that your default quantity is not just one because some customers will want to purchase more than the quantity of one. And I also have an example from that on my store, on my orders page. We can see, first of all, this customer right here bought two products from my store. So he went to one product, he saw it, he liked it. He searched for a similar product in my store, found it and purchased them both. And here we can see this buyer right here, Emma. So she purchased four units of the same product with a total purchase price of $142 in just one order. So that is why I highly recommend having more than the quantity of one for your products. So again, I've got it on the quantity of 10 and you can see that everything else was pretty much automated for us, like the color of the variation and so forth. And here we can also see that we're going to make $6 total profit if and when we make a sell. Now, of course, this will change according to how many fees I really paid. So if it came out to be 11%, that's a little bit more profit for me. Or if I had to pay tax when I purchased the product, which is another 10%. So instead of costing $7, it's going to cost like $7 and maybe 70 cents. Okay, so our variants are done. Then we've got the product's images. So again, we didn't have to download and upload everything right from the start. We've got all the images right here. And we can also use AutoDS's advanced image image editor to make edits to this product. For example, we can add a watermark. I can remove this arrow right here, which doesn't really look that good. I can add text to the product, shapes, images, and so forth. And that is pretty much it. So that is how easy it is to add a product with the help of automation and artificial intelligence. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and click on import and it will import to the product section of AutoDS as well as my Etsy store. And now we can see product has been imported to your stores and I can see it right here on top of my products page. So here we can see that it was uploaded. I've got one variation in stock. These are, this is the pricing that we saw. This is the profit. This is where I'm getting it from. And this is where I'm selling it at. So let's click on the Etsy link so that I can actually see the product in my store. And here is the product page. So we can see the price. The original price was $15.99, but I'm currently running a promotion, a 5% promotion on my store. So we've got the nice little price slasher here and the price here is a discounted $15.19. We've got the product's title right here, which was generated by artificial intelligence. And check it out. Etsy says arrive soon and returns and exchanges accepted because my shipping policies and return policies are good. And here the customer can add the quantity up to 10 because that was my limit. And here we can see the perfect product description that was written with the help of artificial intelligence. So I don't need to touch anything over here. Everything was done for us automatically. And the only thing that's left is to make our sales and profit. But I do want to go over marketing methods. I want to show you how you can make more sales and bring even more traffic to your store with the help of marketing methods that will not require any budget before you make a sale. But before that, just take a little look at the reviews that I'm getting all positive. And I'm always responding to the customers who are leaving reviews on my shop just to show them that I'm here. I'm glad. I appreciate the fact that they left me a positive review. And of course, when other customers see this, they know that they're dealing with a really good seller. So that's just one way of how you can add products to your store with the help of automation and all of the benefits that come along with that. Now, there are, of course, more methods of doing it. For example, I can go to AutoDS. I can add multiple products. Then I can just add all of the products URLs that I want to add right here, and it'll add all of them to the product section or to the draft section of my store. And another way to do it, if I really want to go crazy, if I found a niche that's selling really well, like let's say the spinning sun necklaces are going crazy on my store. So I can just download and install the AutoDS Chrome extension. I'm going to leave the link inside the cheat sheet so you all will have it. And then you'll see this little circle icon that's going to show up on your supplier's website. So here I can just click on it, click on extract. And now all of these sunflower necklaces, the spinning sunflower necklaces, their product IDs were added to this little extension. I'm going to export it as a CSV file. Then a CSV file will be downloaded onto my computer with all of those spinning sunflower necklaces inside. I'm going to add multiple products, click on upload CSV, drag and drop that CSV file here. And that is all there is to it. You can add hundreds of products all at once to the draft section, optimize it, make them look good, 
and publish them to your stores. Now, at this point, I would like to share this cheat sheet with you by making it this far. It does show that you're serious about this business, but do not skip out to the next parts of this video because I want to talk about marketing. You might already be making some sales by this point by following everything that I explained up until this point of this video. However, if you want to make more sales, this is exactly where marketing is going to come in. But if you want access to this cheat sheet, all you have to do is comment Etsy 2024. Let me know what is your top takeaway? What did you learn from this video? What did you like about it especially? And I will share a link to this cheat sheet with everything that I'm going over with all of the tools and resources and more bonus value. I will simply reply back with a link in the comments below. So again, hashtag Etsy 2024. Let me know what you loved about this video, what you learned about it, and this cheat sheet is yours to have. All right, so marketing to make even more sales with our products. This is everything you need to know about how to market your products well on Etsy in 2024. So if you remember in the beginning of this video, I walked you through Etsy's menus. And one of the bottom ones is marketing and I showed you the search analytics. So in my case, you can see in my store that my store traffic in Etsy has increased 70% more visits to my shop. 17.5% of more visits that actually resulted in a sell, 2% increase in the average order value, and a 104% increase in total earnings through Etsy search, which is, of course, the product title. So if you did a good job on your title, you're also going to notice an increase there too. And again, I remind you, this is only a beginner store with 18 products inside. I've got more stores on Etsy, but this is the one that I wanted to show in this video because it just got started and it should reflect around the same level that you are on right now. So as we go down into the keywords that are giving us impressions, better positions, visits, conversion rates, revenue, and how many listings we have that are connected to those keywords, this is how we can learn exactly what keywords are trending and what people are searching for on Etsy. So that is step number one, and we'll only have access to that after we actually add products and get results from other customer searches that lead to our product pages. So we're not gonna see results there right away. The first things that we can do right from the start is either run Etsy ads or sales and discounts. So I'm not gonna talk too much about about Etsy ads. As I said, I did run it a little bit in the beginning and this will require a starting budget. So the minimum to start is $1 a day. And here what you're doing is you're telling Etsy, hey, promote my products in my store. This is how much of a budget I'm gonna give you every day. The higher the budget, of course, the more people they'll be able to promote your products to. However, this does not guarantee sales. It will get you some more extra sales. But if your product research is not on point yet, you're gonna be spending a lot of money on ads without seeing that much of a return. That is why I don't recommend starting with Etsy Etsy ads and actually you don't really need it to start making sales and to continue making profit on this platform. When you do have enough experience, when your product research is good and you're selling a whole bunch of winning products that you already tried and tested, then you can consider using the profits that you're making from your sales and investing that into Etsy ads where you're paying Etsy in advance before you start making sales. But what I do want you to start with is sales and discounts. Here you can do a bunch of things like run a sell for some or all products on your store or create a special promo code. You can make it public, you can make it private so that you can send it to some specific buyers, or you can let all your buyers know in a public way on your product pages that you have a promo code for this product. And Etsy is gonna help you make even more sales when you don't even notice it. For example, the system can send automatic emails to people who purchased from your store in the last 30 days. And here you can say, hey, thanks for purchasing from my shop. Here is another discount if you wanna come back and purchase again anytime in the next one, two, three days or whatever. Another marketing method that Etsy can do for you automatically is sending abandoned cart emails. So this is for people who added your product to their carts, but they never continued to check out. So in this case, Etsy can send the messages and say, hey, here's a special promo, come back and purchase from my store. Of course, all these messages are customizable. Just click on each one and edit whatever you want, add the promotion or remove it. And another one for favorited items. So anyone who's adding your products to their favorites list, Etsy can also send them a message, giving them a special promo code that you configured in advance. And those are some of Etsy's ways to bring more traffic and sales to your store. Whether it's from people who purchased, people who wanted to purchase, and people who simply favorited your items. So besides that, I do recommend also running a sell for your shop. I always do that on my shops. And what I usually give is a set percentage off. Usually I go with around 5% and I put it everywhere for anyone who purchases from my shop without an order minimum. And I choose a sell duration. Usually I do it for a few days. 
And the reason for that is because the buyers will see a countdown. So if I make it like four weeks long, nobody's going to be pressured to buy right now because, oh, okay, he's going to sell, he's going to run the sale next week also. But if you put it for just a few days, then the buyer will see a countdown, two days left to the sale, one day left to the sale, a few hours left for the sale, and it will put some pressure on them to purchase the product. After the sale is finished, I usually wait around one to two days then I simply run the sale again. So this is something that's been working out for me. Here you can write some terms and conditions, which I usually leave blank. Then just give it a sale name, like midweek sale or weekend sale or whatever you want to call it. So I always do that on my products. And as you saw my products page, I have that price slasher because I'm always running a sale on my products. And as I scroll down, I can see what campaigns I ran and how much revenue each campaign brought in. So as we can see right here on the right side, marketing is working pretty well on my store and I'm not spending any money before I actually make a sale. So that is sales and discounts. Then we've also got social media. So you can connect your social media account to Etsy. So for example, you can connect or create a new social media account. All you have to do is click right up here on social accounts and connect a Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, or Instagram account. Then all you have to do is click on create post and it'll create a post on all of those social media channels on whatever product you want to showcase and give them a special promotion. So for example, I can make a post on my latest listing, which is that radiant sunflower spinning necklace, or I can simply create a post from scratch. And again, this is a nice way to to not only make a following on my social media accounts, but to also drive in traffic and sales to my store. Next, we've got share and save. So this is where Etsy can give you a unique link to purchase from your store. And when you share this link outside of Etsy's platform and you bring traffic inside of Etsy's platform, Etsy is going to give you a little thank you by removing 4% of that transaction fee. So for example, if you're paying 12% transaction fee, then you're going to pay an 8% total transaction fee when you put all the fees together because Etsy is happy that you did the marketing for them and you brought external traffic from outside the platform into the Etsy platform. And you've also got custom web address. So if you don't want your store URL to be under Etsy's URL, you want to have your own custom www.mystorename.com, then you can create a custom web address. However, you do need a plus subscription for that. And quite frankly, I'm not doing that because it's not really needed to drive traffic and sales. And we definitely do not need this right from the start. Now you have links to all of these marketing methods. If you want to learn more about them, of course, inside the Etsy dropshipping cheat sheet. And now it's inevitable. After putting in all of this work, the sales will start coming in. And now what's left to do is to process our orders and send the products to our buyers as fast as we can so that they'll leave positive reviews on our store. And this way we can continue slowly growing our store into huge dropshipping empires. And when it comes to processing orders, we've got two main methods, the manual method and the automatic method. Of course, you know my recommendation. The manual means that we're going to have to go to our suppliers' websites, purchase the product and ship it directly to our buyers, meaning the address that we're adding on our suppliers' websites will be our customers' addresses. Now, of course, we do need to keep our eye on tracking information when it's available from our suppliers and update it manually on Etsy when that comes in. And the more orders we have, the more this is going to be a time consuming process instead of putting that time into product research, adding more winning products, opening more stores, hiring virtual assistants through AutoDS to help you automate even more tasks. All of this will take up all of your time and you will simply not be able to scale your business. That is why we're moving over to automatic orders or fulfilled by AutoDS. These are two order processing methods that are going to help shave off all of the time when it comes to order processing. The difference between automatic orders and fulfilled by AutoDS is that automatic orders will use your your buyer accounts to automate your orders and process them out as soon as they come in. Again, using your buyer accounts on your suppliers' websites or fulfilled by AutoDS, which will fulfill your orders automatically using AutoDS's buyer accounts. So if you're adding products from private suppliers or other retail suppliers, you can have fulfilled by AutoDS use their buyer accounts to process your orders. This way, you don't have to worry about your accounts getting locked on your suppliers' websites or shipping to the wrong addresses or forgetting to update tracking information since tracking will be updated automatically for your buyers as soon as it's available from your suppliers. So the orders get sent out automatically, the tracking gets updated automatically and all you have to do is sit back relax and enjoy the profits and here's what the order screen looks like on AutoDS. so you'll see all of your etsy incoming orders on the order screen and when an order comes in it's going to start in the pending status and if you've got automatic orders set up it's going to be sent to auto order and as soon as the order has been fulfilled by the system it'll move over to ordered with the order id from your supplier as soon as it was shipped it'll automatically move to the ship status with the tracking information provided from your supplier and delivered once it's delivered to your buyers. Besides that, you have the rest of the information, including the order ID, the pricing, how much profit you made on each order and so forth. 
And using Fulfilled by AutoDS, we'll have even more information, including when the product is actually going to arrive to our customers. And if you're using Amazon as one of your suppliers, you'll also get an Amazon screenshot so you can see the current status of the order. And you'll also know exactly when it's going to arrive to your customer. If I hover over this icon, you can see that it says completed by the Fulfilled by AutoDS service. And that, of course, is so that you can know how this order was sent out. All that's left from here to do is to continue doing your product research, adding more products to your store, testing more products and categories, and continue scaling your success. Remove the slow movers by going to the product section on AutoDS, and here you can filter out all of the products that are not selling well for you. So here, for example, you can see that I've got over 2,500 products in my combined stores on AutoDS, and I can add a smart filter system to be able to filter out exactly what products I wanna move out of my store and what I would like to keep inside. So for example, I could filter by a specific tag, like I want to see how the necklaces niche went for me or I can filter by a specific region by a certain selling price by inventory status so for example show me all of the products that are out of stock I want to remove them because there is no stock anyway and more and more filters like the sold date or when it was uploaded or how many sales it has or doesn't have. And this is how you can easily analyze the best sellers on your store, especially once you have thousands of products and you're already making crazy sales and profit. Now, the next section is about returns and refunds, but I already went over it in this video. If you need more information about your shipping policies, return policies, you can find it also inside the Etsy dropshipping cheat sheet. And if you need to send a refund to your buyer, you can do it through the orders page on Etsy. Just open up that order, click on the three dots, click on more options, and you'll have the option to send a refund. But again, that's going to make up about one or two percent of your business and it's not really that important just make sure to be responsive to your buyers when someone reaches out to you on etsy's messages respond to them as fast as possible so that you'll also be eligible to be a star seller like i am like i showed you on etsy and of course take care of your buyers if someone wants to open up a return and they're within their 30 60 or 90 day return policy let them have that return bring out the best when it comes to customer service just like you would want to be treated as a customer now there are a few more bonuses that i want to add before i summarize this video including etsy apps which which is integrated inside Etsy. So if I go back to my Etsy account and I click here on integrations, I can see a whole bunch of apps that I can add to my Etsy store, but which ones do I actually need are the ones that I recommended right here. So one is called E-Rank. It's gonna help us rank higher with our product pages on Etsy search engine. Another one called PhotoFuse, which is good for photo editing. Pinterest, which is of course the social media channel. We can have it integrated inside Etsy. And Tax Cloud, if you need help with your taxes, with filing taxes when dropshipping on Etsy. Then I've got some recommended Etsy Chrome extensions, which can help propel your business even further. For example, the AutoDS Chrome extension. Of course, if you're using AutoDS, then use the free extension that we have that will help you add multiple products to your stores, search for multiple suppliers and do so much more all through the extension. Then we've got Etsy Hunt, an Etsy rank tool that will help you again with your SEO. So this is kind of similar to what eRank SEO can do for you. It's going to help you find insights on how to make your products rank even higher on Etsy search engine. Then we've got Toolsy, which is another SEO tool that you can use and Market Seed that can help you collect your customers email addresses from Etsy because Etsy will simply not give you their email addresses they want to keep the customers for themselves so that they can send them their own email marketing campaigns and as an additional resources I added a basic guide to dropshipping jewelry on Etsy in 2024 which will help you especially if you want to sell in the jewelry niche which is very much fitting for Etsy sellers so the full article is linked inside the Etsy dropshipping cheat sheet and if you click on the main title in the cheat sheet you'll get to the full how to start beginners tutorial article and video on how to start selling on Etsy the right way, which pretty much covers everything that I went over in this video. But if you need it in the written form, it's all there broken down into detail. Last but not least, enjoy the profits. You now have the knowledge to start your own successful dropshipping business on Etsy. I left it all out on the table. All of the strategies that I picked up along the years were included inside this video. And of course, in this cheat sheet, which I will share with you. So again, in the comments below, hashtag Etsy 2024. Let me know what you learned in this video. What is your top takeaway? And I will send you the link to this cheat sheet. Good luck dropshipping on Etsy in 2024, the best year for dropshipping. And I cannot wait to hear about your success story.